Child molesters. Adults who want to have sex with kids. The more, the better. Just trying to impress the coach. You know, got some serious competition with the other guys. Well, no problem here. I mean, look at these muscles. Any coach would be out of his mind if he let you get away. Would you? <laughs> oh, I, I forgot to mention that your mom called and said she's going to have to work late, so that means that you could stay over. <laughs> Sweet. No rules, no curfew. You can stay up as late as you like. If I lose too many more times, I won't have any clothes on at all. I, I want to be in charge. Now, I'm really going to show you something. It's getting physical. Yeah, that's it. it. Are you okay? I gotta go. He's my brother. Tell him to come and pick you up. Let's have a little reality check to make sure we all got the message. If something like this happens to you, know that it is your fault. You did wrong. And remember, being abused by a male does make you gay. Right. And telling someone about it does make you less of a man. The bottom line, if you are molested, you wanted it, you did something to deserve it. That make you weak. No offense. Being molested means you're gay. We all want to be popular. It's great to have friends of all ages. That's what almost happened to Kyle in this next scenario. Take a look and think about what you would have done if this situation had happened to you. He gives us beer, wine coolers, and tarred lemonade. You coming or not? Okay, hold up. Jello shots! Jello time! Quiet. Whatever happens to Steve, stays at Steve's. Come on, Kyle. I'm going to show you my stuff. What's that? The big guy. I'll give it to you. Just like in the boys' locker room. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Take your pants off. Let's have a reality check. So here's what's up about this. Steve was cool. Trust your instincts. You're probably right. Don't be afraid. And remember, college is expensive. Right. Hey, Sean. Hey, Mark. What's up? Well, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, buddy, you skipped your math club meeting. You've eaten about half your dinner the last few nights, and you're quiet. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. Someone giving you a hard time in school? Yeah. They started calling me names like Shortski, or they chased me in the locker room and take my stuff. They're the most popular kids in school. I'm such a loser. Sad, huh? They took pictures of me in gym class without my shirt on, passed them around the school. Well, the whole school is staying away from me. They pass me in the hall, look at me weird. I've got one friend left. You need to tell mom and dad, Sean. Oh, that's great. Then you'll both be in trouble. They yell and laugh about me in front of everyone. They take my money. They've started to push me around rougher and rougher. And I don't know what to do. There are ways to try to deal with the bully on your own. Black teams, in about the last 10 minutes, we understand that the, uh, the shooters and still many students, unfortunately, are probably still inside the school. But this is certainly good news, Tony, to see so many, so many young people be able to get to safety. قلت لك كانك تحبني ابعد عن الشر يا عمري وغني له There is more fallout from the scandal at Dalhousie University 
over those demeaning online messages aimed at women. They marched on the campus straight to the president's office. More than 200 people demanding the expulsion of the 13 male dental students. They are a safety risk. I have a daughter as well, and I don't, I wouldn't feel safe being in a, in a dentist chair. Dal's handling of this all didn't sit well with the protesters. It, it turned me from being a very proud alumni into not being a very proud alumni at all. What is it going to take for action on this campus? Oh, hold on, everyone. Somebody tweeted me a funny cat pic. Oh, look at that. I'm going to favorite that and retweet it. Are, are you kidding me? You know, here's, here's a tip for maybe getting action on your campus. Try not checking Instagram in the middle of your protest speech. It's not like you... What are you doing? Is she Googling the answer to her fucking question in the middle of this? She's up there with a fucking megaphone. She's like, hold on, guys. I've got I've to find out how do we expel the misogyny. Google's not giving me anything. Anybody? Should we start a Facebook uh, page, put a poll up there, see what the most like? Anybody at all? No? Uh, check Google again. No, oh, well, you know, maybe next time have a prepared speech. I, it's crazy. I know. It's, it's bizarre having a prepared speech, but it might help. It's a, little, it's a little tip from me. Now, for those of you not in the know, and I'm going to guess that's a fair majority of you, unless you're Canadian. This happened up in Nova Scotia at Dalhousie University. It's a little incident surrounding their dental program, or a group of individuals in their dental program. I mean, just look at these protesters. They are pissed off. Something horrendous must have happened. These dentists, these dental students, must have done something unforgivable. I mean, just look at them. They are, they are upset. In fact, I, I, I particularly like this sign. This one is, I think, my favorite. No one who thinks rape is funny should have access to sedatives. I want to make that a bumper sticker. That is the best protest sign. No one who thinks rape is funny should have access to sedatives. Nobody who makes a poop joke should be allowed near a toilet. You can tell just how pissed off a protest is by the amount of signs they have. Expel misogyny. And this is another one. Give us the names. They want the names. Well, the names of who? Again, this comes back to the dental students. This has been making the news in Canada since about December, and it's been going all the way up until today. It's been a three to four month process. So we should probably start at the beginning so you get an idea of what the fuck is going on at Dalhousie University and how crazy the reaction to what you're going to see is. To get into this, to really understand what's going on, I'm going to jump right to the meat and potatoes. I'm going to show you what these dental students said. Now, these students were all members of a Facebook group, the class of DDS 2015 gentlemen. And obviously, they must have been posting some pretty horrendous stuff because you can see the, the fervor, the firestorm surrounding these comments, these horribly, horribly terrible things that they've said. So let's take a look at a few of these. Now, they're censored. That's not my doing. That's the doing of every single news outlet that posted these. I can't find the Facebook group. It's not up anymore. And these are the only remnants, really, of what was posted. So I'm going to show you what I could gather. And I had to go and dig through multiple articles, but I've compiled what I think are the ones that people got uh, the most upset at. I mean, after all, people are triggered. They're worried about going to the dentist. I know when I go to the dentist, my biggest fear when I'm getting a cavity filled is brutal rape. So first up, we have an image macro that was posted onto the uh, group. It shows a man and a woman drunkenly leaving a party or a bar, I'm, I'm assuming. And it has the text overlaid, does this rag smell like chloroform to you? With people below making jokes in reference to it. Horrible, I know. How could these, how could these monsters think they could get away with something like this? But it gets worse. It gets worse, so prepare yourself. Here we see a, a woman in a bikini with a skateboard and a beer, and it says, stress relief blank modified method. Bang until stress is relieved or unconscious, and then in parentheses it says girl. Now below it, you can see in the comment section, people start to run with that concept. The first comment is, well, I thought for blank, it was get the girl unconscious first, then bang until stress is relieved, followed up by things like, can you tell me what this chloroform smells like, or does this smell like nitrous oxide to you? My God, this is rape culture, ladies and gentlemen. How these bastards thought they could get away with it. I'm glad that those protests are going on. Clearly, people who would post something like this need to be destroyed. But it gets worse. This, these are just two of the things. Let's look at some more. Let's show you what these rapists think they can get away with. Again, another image macro, and it says, And then Blank asked me to play Hide the Salami. I thought he was talking about the food before I said yes. And then and there's a picture of a girl weeping on a bed. Or this one, a poll asking, who would you hate fuck? And there were two names listed, and all of them are blurred out. 
but uh, I think we can all assume who the winner of this would be. Here we see even more patriarchy at work in a posting by one of the members that says, Penis, the tool used to wean and convert lesbians and virgins into useful, productive members of society. But don't let this innocuous bullshit fool you. I mean, yeah, you may think, I've seen this all over the internet before. This is nothing new. I've seen this on Twitter. I've seen this on Tumblr. I've seen this on Instagram. I've seen this on Reddit. I've seen this on 4chan. I've seen this in every fucking community that's ever existed. People making dumb fucking jokes. No. It's misogyny, you sexist, cishet, pig, motherfucker. Don't say otherwise, or what happened to them is going to happen to you. But it wasn't just shitty image macros and polls these horrible misogynists put up. No, they also put things like this up. A few days ago, one of the girls in my class asked me why there are no girls in the gentleman's club. I said that the gentleman's club is not necessarily for men, but it's just for badasses. And if it so happens to be that none of the girls are badasses, then there you have it. But what I really thought of, but didn't say, was the following. One. The gentlemen aren't a group of men. Two, they are people who do not cry to an instructor, and then the instructor does the prep. Three, they are a group of people who don't cry to the instructor, and then the instructor signs off their prep. Four, they are a group of people who don't make the instructor feel bad for them or their day, and then let the instructor do half of their prep. Five, the gentlemen are a group of people who only have instructors at their cubicles for five minutes, and not 45 minutes, and then complain that they were only seen once. Yeah, but for 45 fucking minutes. 6. They are a group of people who do not casually flirt with instructors and lure them into their cubicles for longer in-clinic talking with a sexy voice to their instructors. Damn honey traps. 6. The gentlemen are a group who cleaned house, there's something redacted there, because they had done all their work by themselves previously. 7. If that just so happens to be men, then so be it. 8. I am fairly certain blank will love this post. Well, goddamn. I haven't been this triggered in a long time, and if you're like me, right about now you want to take these horrible misogynists and line them up against the wall and shoot them in the head. Well, that or maybe start a petition to get them banned and get that petition signed by, oh, I don't know, 50,000 fucking people. Like this particular one. It was posted by Megan B. Expel the students who were members and or participated in the Facebook group called Class of DDS 2015 Gentlemen. And it's got some choice quotes in here. I want to share a few with you to let you know just how terrible it is in Canada right now, uh, such as this. I believe that given the current environment of bullying and sexual violence plaguing our Canadian educational facilities, justice must be done, but it must also be seen to be done. I knew those fucking Canucks were up to something. All that maple syrup and Canadian leaf bullshit was all just a cover. A cover for the non-stop rape by dentists on university campuses. Thank you, Megan, for putting this petition up. I don't think we could have survived without it. I particularly like this line in the, uh, it's the last one in the first paragraph. Not one person who believes that drugging of an individual as a way to have non-consensual sex is funny or a joke should ever have access to sedatives. Well, looks like we know where that talking point came from. Yes, the reaction to the postings on the Facebook are what started the Dalhousie shitstorm. And that storm has been fueled by the ire of different individuals and groups, and that's really what we're going to be looking at as we explore the Dalhousie issue, these horrible dental misogynists. Now, it's completely fucking ridiculous. It should be striking you as ridiculous right now. Now, the university has released three statements. We'll look at them over the course of the video. But essentially, up until this point, what has happened is they've been suspended. But that's not good enough. No, the SJW mentality that is rife on college campuses on universities right now demands that anything that happens, whether significant or insignificant, be turned into a major issue and then be examined from every possible angle until everybody is so fucking miserable that they just don't want to go to college anymore. Now, we saw part of that in the protests themselves. People want their names. They want them expunged and expelled and dealt with. People are out for blood. Now, what's fueling that? I mean, 50,000 signatures, that's a lot of signatures, even for a media firestorm that this has been for the last three months. What dumb fucking group could possibly be helping to further this stupid shit? Oh, I see. Hello, leaders of Dalhousie University. We are anonymous. Anonymous, of course. Or in this case, op expel misogyny, as you can see from their cute little Twitter. Because apparently everything today has to be an operation with them. They're all certified fucking doctors. It would explain their hatred for dental students and the intense rivalry that's taking place right now. Obviously, this is some kind of a, a professional thing, like firemen and policemen. And of course, once that dental scandal made it into the news, here comes Anonymous to demand justice. And how did they do that? Well, they set up a Twitter account, and they released some videos on YouTube, and they did a couple of interviews with people like Vice and a few of the local papers. 
But the majority, the majority of the work was a list of demands, and those demands were communicated through pastebin accounts. Because why not? Let's put up a couple of pastebins and tell the university what we want to have happen. And so let's take a look at uh, Anonymous and their demands and see how reasonable it is. Because I'm sure, I'm sure this isn't fucking crazy. I'm sure it's completely reasonable and completely sane. Now, given the length of a few of these pastebins, I've had to cut and paste a few of it, but I've included the URL inside the actual image cap, and I'll put it in the link in the description. You can go read it yourself. But we're going to start with the first one that was released December 23rd, 2014. Message to the leaders of Dalhousie University. The case is clear. Endemic sexism is alive and well at Dalhousie University, and nothing short of outside intervention will spur you to act. Anonymous, therefore, makes the following demands. The Dalhousie Senate Discipline Committee will immediately begin steps to convene a hearing panel in regards to each member of the DDS 2015 Gentlemen Club. Steps to expel all active members and ringleaders of the DDS 2015 Gentlemen Club will begin immediately, including but not limited to the group creator, group administrator, anyone who participated in the hate fuck poll, <laughs> anyone who encouraged corrective sexual assault for LGBTQT persons, Anyone who encouraged the use of substance to facilitate sexual assault. We want to know why this case was ignored until made public. Dalhousie University will immediately begin a thorough, inclusive, independent, and transparent investigation into the institutional practices of Dalhousie University as it pertains to human rights, misogyny, rape culture, and gender justice. In concert with its existing and notably underfunded gender justice studies at South House, Dalhousie University will immediately begin to work on creating a new, community-driven, inclusive, and ongoing plan to address systemic sexism on campus and beyond. Active gentlemen club members working at the Dalhousie Dentistry School Clinic will be forbidden from returning to practice there with mandatory gender justice training for all clinicians. Dalhousie University will immediately begin public consultation with its students, gender justice center, and staff in order to hear any additional requests and ideas they may have. A public promise from President Florizine that the image and reputation of Dalhousie University will never be placed above the well-being of its students. The clock starts now. If you have not demonstrated compliance by midday Monday, January 5th, the following actions will be taken in the interest of public safety. The names of all 13 members of the Gentlemen's Club will be released. The ringleaders and most active participants of the Gentlemen's Club will be identified. To ensure future victims know where to safely engage, the names of staff members who failed to act on this case were lauded by the gentleman, and the dentistry professors who displayed the bikini video to the class will all be identified. Well, okay then. This seems reasonable. They just want to forbid them from ever going to school again to get all of their names, and then to build a new gender study <laughs> facility, and then institute mandatory gender justice training. Perfectly fucking reasonable. Now, you remember that January 5th deadline they set, because that's when the second pace bin went up. And it's a statement from Anonymous regarding DDS 2015 gentlemen. To the Dalhousie Communications team, we will not make this easy for you. We will embrace your tactical mindset. You will only get ahead of the story if the establishment takes concrete steps to address it. Here are the rules of the game. Apparently this is a game, so let's listen to the rules that Anonymous has laid out. Anonymous will begin releasing its information at undisclosed time. According to a schedule, you can fast forward, slow, or pause in accordance with your moves. Game slow achieved. President Florzine makes a public promise never to put the image of Dalhousie above the safety of its students. A Dalhousie Senate disciplinary hearing is convened. Game paused achieved. Dalhousie University immediately extends the suspension of the 13 members of the DDS Gentlemen's Club to include classes, university events, any activities at clubs or societies. Dalhousie University takes steps to expel the 13 members of the DDS 2015 Gentlemen's Club. Game fast forward caused. Ending, revoking, or overturning any current disciplinary action being taken against the gentleman. Any perceived threats, provocation, or attempt to identify anyone associated with Operation Expel Misogyny. Now that last one's got just a, a tiny little morsel of irony in it. Coming from a group of people that are demanding to know who these students are, and at the same time screaming, Don't you dare try to figure out who we are, or you're going to regret it. Now, the final pastebin that was put up was actually an email, or a copy of an email, and it was put up on January 14th of 2015. You might be thinking that your lives and careers are ruined, when nothing could be further from the truth. This is an opportunity for you to grow, learn, develop a valuable sense of empathy, and decide who you want to define yourself as. Remember that everyone loves a redemption story, but you cannot redeem yourselves while remaining silent or spiteful. You've hurt many people, and it's time to act. It's time for you to own your behavior. It's time to improve yourselves as people. Your classmates' lives have been disrupted, and many will face increased scrutiny when attempting to gain a license. 
Most importantly, you have seriously hurt them. The question is, what do you have to say for yourselves, and how will you behave now that the truth is coming out? Will you stand up and work to fix this while the opportunity still exists? Or will you succumb to your own current low moral integrity and continue to evade, defend, and deny? You need to prepare yourselves, because one way or another, the world is going to learn who you are. Consider this a chance to decide if that will be on your own terms or ours. The choice is yours. We are anonymous. We are legion. The corrupt fear us. The heroic join us. I'm sorry, I must have read the wrong paste bin. I thought this was anonymous, not a group of LARPers. The heroic join us. Kind of all went downhill after Chinology, didn't it, guys? <laughs> but, you know, I'm not one to talk. I've been, I've been a part of some pretty gay shit myself. So, who am I to say things? Who am I to say things? Now, like Anonymous said, they just want to get the information out there and give these gentlemen a chance to redeem themselves. They're not being vindictive at all. But then you read quotes like this. It's important to release the names because it certainly seems very clear that Dalhousie's not going to expel them, he explained. I think the best case scenario at this point, in my personal opinion, is we might see one or two expelled, and I don't think that's acceptable. I think that people have a right to Google their dentist and find out whether they're skilled, whether they're safe. I would hate to see anyone take personal retribution against these guys. I think that would be as morally abhorrent as what they've done. But I do think that the general public has a right to know if these guys are going to wind up as licensed practicing dentists. And so you had the protest march, and you had the petition with 50,000 signatures, and you had Anonymous involved making all sorts of demands, but what did Dalhousie University itself do? Well, it suspended the students. It suspended them, but didn't release their names. It claimed that there was a risk, that they thought that they might self-harm or be hurt if their names were put out in the public. They also included them in something called restorative justice, which is this idea where you make them sit down with people that are offended by what they did, and the people who are offended by what they did get to choose what their punishment is. Now, the dental students themselves released an apology, not that it was accepted, as certain professors decided to kick up some shit about that as well and say that that's just not good enough, that they still need to be expelled, that apologizing is never good enough. This should all sound very familiar to you. It should seem like a retread of something that you might have heard before. You never apologize to a social justice warrior. They never accept it. It's never good enough, no matter what you do. Here we see Anonymous saying, oh, redeem yourselves. Here we see people saying, we want their names so they can redeem themselves. And when they offer up the apology, not good enough. When they take part of restorative justice, not good enough. No, they want them to be given a scarlet letter and forever branded for daring to make stupid, shitty jokes on Facebook. I want to reiterate, we are talking about people who made jokes on Facebook. Now, again, because we're at a university, God forbid, it just dies there. No, we've got to rehash it and talk about it some more. And boy, did the university ever pull out the stops on this. They got the student union involved, they got South House involved, and they got professors and academics involved for a forum on misogyny. I mean, what better way to deal with the issue of this dental scandal than to have all these experts, to have this compendium of academic minds all under one roof to really to deal with the hard issues. They're versed. They're versed in racism and sexism and classism and homophobia and transphobia. They understand the importance of intersectionality. So clearly, these people know what they're talking about. And when they're given a question that's in their area of expertise, they're all going to be fighting one another to answer it first because they're going to be so eager to share their knowledge. So the first part, what's the relationship between misogyny, racism, socioeconomic or class discrimination, and discrimination against transgender people? What do these relationships demand from those of us who wish to see positive change? Any of you wish to take it? No, not, uh, none of our panelists are... I can go to another one. I'll let you think of it. Okay. Um. Or the opposite might be true, and they could all be complete fucking morons. Who knew? Who knew? But let's, uh, let's introduce ourselves to some of the uh, speakers, because they played a part in what's going on with the dental students and the reaction to it, and I think it's important you hear their opinions on things, because it really helps to bring into focus what the fuck is going on at Dalhousie University. So first up, let's hear from Jacqueline Warwick. Because if there's one thing I like to do, it's have music and gender studies together. 
Go ahead. Sorry. Great. I believe I have a dispensation to speak for a couple of extra minutes just so I can uh, contextualize the video I showed you before we officially began. Um, and I want to stay at the outset, make it very clear that I am not trying to single out this genre of music as uh, creating misogyny. Please let me see some nodding heads so you understand that is not what I'm trying to do. Um, I do, however, think that this particular song and the accompanying video uh, employ misogynist strategies uh, in a specific way that is pertinent um, to the conversations I've been having around campus for the last month. And so I do think it's um, relevant to, to our discussion today. Okay, so Playing Skills uh, released this song, Literally I Can't, uh, featuring uh, Lil Jon, Inertia McFly, and Red Fu uh, last November. Uh, it seems I forgot to mention, they uh, showed a music video at the start of this conference. and. Well, you know what, I'm gonna let her explain. Um, the, the song features, uh, and the video feature, a group of young women um, who are depicted as uh, spoilt, whiny, uptight, annoying, um, going to a frat party, uh, peopled strangely by men in their late 30s and early 40s, uh, <laughs> um, and, and sort of representing this idea that uh, because these women won't obey, won't comply with commands, um, they are uh, treated with contempt and, and really quite aggressive hostility. Uh, and I feel like that, that is um, contributing, uh, connecting to uh, uh, the kind of strategies that we see used to create a climate of hostility uh, and contempt and resentment towards women in certain areas of the university and, and generally uh, across, across university culture. Well, thank God. I'm glad she has the professional acumen to separate her two fields of study, that's gender and music, and not make a subjective value judgment based on letting the two cross over one another. Um, now, as a trained musicologist, I feel qualified to tell you that this is just not a very good song. Oh my God! God. Shut the fuck up! Or fuck it, maybe she will. I mean, what? Well, who am I to say? She's the expert after all. She is the trained musicologist. I mean, just look at this. She examines music, gender, and anger. Here's a, here's a quote. The intro course is many students' first forum for talking about their experiences as gendered beings. It was so exciting to be a part of that. One young man talked about being discouraged from playing with dolls. Don't we want boys to grow up to be nurturing? I mean, I know. When I go to a music class at college, the thing I want to talk about most is being a gendered being and playing with dolls. Because that's not a complete waste of my fucking time and money. But her students are in for a treat because she writes books as well like girl groups, girl culture, popular music and identity in the 1960s. And for the low, low price of 120 fucking dollars, it can be yours. How much you want to bet that Jacqueline's pawning that piece of shit off every dumb fucking student that takes her course? Of course, the inability to tell what a good song is or have a good fucking time wasn't the only thing to come out of the forum on misogyny. No, Judy Haven, another panelist that was there, another academic, made headlines as well with one of her suggestions. But I'm going to let her tell you herself, because sometimes you have to hear fucking crazy to believe it. First, I'd just like to um, congratulate the Dell Student Union, and particularly the executive members that have been pushing this agenda forward. And I'd like to thank the Student Union for hosting this event here in this really good hall so that hundreds of us can participate. I want to know what we can do. I'm suggesting here, in the next four points, a method to change this culture. I want to change the channel from looking at the ethics of what the males did and for what the dental students were all up to. We could maybe talk more about these, but here are some solutions, or possible solutions. On media, one, on media, television interviews, on platforms and political meetings, at any presentations, if there's no woman speaker, then the event does not take place. The interview is foregone, the political meeting is cancelled. One cannot get around the rule by using a woman as an MC. That's merely <laughs> window dressing. <laughs> Second, any sports team, group of students, or social club, faculty, where one or more of the members is sexually assaulted, verbally assaulted, thank you, verbally assaulted, sent out tweets, anything misogynist at all, these people get banned from the university and from acting at the university for six months. Any person in public office, if found to have engaged in harassment, assault, or other forms of misogyny, such as the two liberal MPs who their allegations are unproved yet, they must write a letter, an open letter, to apologize to the women or women uh, that they targeted. 
Also, women get to speak first in classroom discussions, in question periods, and at public events. Men should not be allowed to monopolize these forums. I think, I think that I'm doing this right now in my classrooms, in the management department. Women get to speak first. I, I think that that is a primary issue that we actually have to look at, how we do question and answers, and we can start today. Thank you. Well, hey, there's a non-crazy fucking solution. Let's make sure that if no women are involved, no events take place. And if women are there, they always get to speak first. I remember when this was called the Progressive Stack, and it worked out really great for Occupy Wall Street. I see it doing gangbusters in college. Judy's not fucking nuts at all. And that's not a completely dumb idea that didn't deserve any applause. But I forgot, because we live in Klapistan, you need to fucking applaud anything that happens. Now, one might wonder what kind of a professor Judy is. I mean, we could look at Rape My Professor. Let's, let's take a look at a few of the more recent, uh, recent postings there. Well, that's not good. These two look poor to me. Hmm. Dr. Haven obviously knows her stuff, but her personality gets in the way of her being a successful professor. She often seems confused about what she's saying. She doesn't explain anything clearly. She's extremely opinionated and judgmental, and more than a little crazy. Good luck and don't miss a single class or you won't get half a clue. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. She doesn't seem crazy, opinionated, or judgmental to me at all. Uh, let's look at another one. Absolutely the worst professor I've had. She has her moments, but not only can she not teach, she also brings her overly opinionated and snarky comments into her lectures, marks, and everyday chatter. I cannot bear this woman. No redeeming qualities. Do not take. Well, I know what you're thinking. This can't be fair. I mean, these, these two reviews, they're from March 5th, 2015, and January 20th, 2015. So it's very possible they're being influenced by the dental scandal. Maybe people are just taking shots at her because of her opinions, and she's a strong, independent woman, and they're just misogynist shitheads, and who, who knows? So we should go back in time. Let's look at some older, much, much older reviews to see what it was like back then, before this took place. How about more than a decade ago? Here's one from November 19th, 2004. She is frickin' crazy. She wears the weirdest things and makes those two people do all the lectures. I hear her husband was better at teaching the course. My TA is awesome. She's really cool and helps to clarify the stuff Judy Haven screws up. Go Sharon. Here's another review from November 15th, 2004. Terrible. Crazy. Well, I don't know. Unless misogynists invented time machines, I'm gonna have to go with the fact that maybe, maybe she's a really shitty professor who has really dumb ideas. But what better place to share them than the forum on misogyny? Because God knows she fits in with everybody. Like this person. Hey everyone, I really can't see past these lights, so I'm gonna pretend like I'm looking at you, but. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanna thank you all for coming here and engaging with this issue. You're here because you know this is a big deal and I don't wanna say anything that's patronizing or that you've heard before. I think most things have already been said on this issue and it's really frustrating that we have to be here. Um, so my name is Jude, I work at the South House Sexual and Gender Resource Center. Uh, we serve all students of Dalhousie Kings and any community member who needs our services. I'm here to say <clears throat> that there is no way of eradicating misogyny from an institution that refuses to acknowledge the oppression, intersecting identities, and rights of its students. It's like that simple. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to take an ice pick and just jam it in your fucking ear? God, at the very least, she's not throwing in a bunch of buzzwords, because that would be just... And that the issue of misogyny in our campus must be framed within a trauma-informed, feminist, survivor-centered, collaborative approach that doesn't rely on Dalhousie's mandate alone. Okay, I have no idea what the fuck that was. I, I, that was a lot of words strung together. I heard a lot of buzzwords in there. But, you know, God, that's the problem with being a shitlord. It's really hard to educate yourself. Now, Jude Ashburn is from South House. That was one of the groups that pulled together this forum on misogyny. And just, just who is South House, if we were to, to look into that? What do they do exactly? How are they related to the, to the university? Well, judging from their Twitter account, they obviously run a finger painting session for kindergartners, because that must be where they got their fucking art from. But the little blurb tells me otherwise. It says, South House Sexual and Gender Resource Center is Halifax's only full-time gender justice center. Well, I wonder, do they have a website we could go look at? Why, yes they do! About South House. The South House, SOHO, is Halifax's only full-time gender justice center. We are a volunteer-driven, student-funded, gender-inclusive safe space for all members of our community. We are a trans and queer-positive space and are proud to offer a wheelchair-accessible space. 
we offer a resource center, library, and free meeting space for women positive and anti-oppression organization and gathering. Now this is a group that Jude Ashburn is a part of. In fact, she's their outreach coordinator. So just who is she? Well, she's their outreach coordinator and also an anti-Zionist. Oy vey. Now, Jude Ashburn has been working at the South House since January 2013. Originally from Montreal, Jude studied Gender Studies and Aboriginal Justice Studies at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon. While studying gender and queer theory, Jude enjoyed working at the Turning the Tide Radical Bookstore and being a supportive worker for folks who were, who were navigating the medical industrial complex and mental health service delivery system. As the Outreach Coordinator, Jude's responsibilities include maintaining a social networking presence for the Center, interacting with the media, planning and coordinating this year's events and campaigns, facilitating workshops on issues pertaining to sexual, gender, and reproductive justice, and building solidarity between the SOHO and other community organizations. They're the one to get in touch with for new projects. Outside of the center, Jude can be found reading books and zines, supporting the local music scene, and hanging out with their dog. Well, clearly the person who's working at this gender justice center must be a all-inclusive sort of person. I mean, they must want to get everybody's perspective and be open-minded and open-hearted and invite everybody to come talk about the issues. And let's go look at uh, Jude's uh, Twitter account because she is the social outreach person for this organization. Now, Jude describes herself on her Twitter as a facilitator of anti-oppression workshops and co-coordinator of the South House, lover of radical education and media, working to decolonize my mind and my resistance. So let's take a look at what this open-minded person has to say. We're overdosing on the amount of mansplaining this week. It's the fucking age of enlightenment over here. Hashtag infinite eye roll. Just walk past the dude who was manspreading on the one patch of ice-free sidewalk. Jesus fucking Christ, guy, your entitlement almost made me slip to my death. Percentage of people who care about white cishet dudes' opinions on feminism, 0%. White cis straight dudes need to mind their damn privilege before proposing to add critique to a feminist discussion, though. Not your place. And as you can see, Jude was also very active with the Dalhousie dental scandal. I couldn't possibly be more ashamed of Dalhousie University. Hashtag Dalhousie hates women. Hashtag rape culture. Hashtag violence. Hashtag apologism. Well, this seems like the sort of person I want to be the outreach coordinator for an all-inclusive center. Obviously, this center doesn't hate straight white men. They're more than welcome to come there and shut the fuck up and not manspread or mansplain or men lighten anybody. In fact, I think they have a game they play there where they add men as a prefix to any word that you could think of. Well, it seems like a very good decision to have included them inside the debate about misogyny. They don't seem like they have their own political agenda to pursue. And I'm glad they're student-funded and connected to the university. This is the kind of attitude and image and presentation that Dalhousie should be known for. Now, that was the South House representative. But what about the student union? They also took part in the Forum for Misogyny. They helped to organize it and get it together and get the panelists together and all of that. So what, what's their attitude? Are they as open-minded as well? On January 15th, they got together and had a student union meeting. And they came to the conclusion that Dalhousie needs mandatory equity courses for all students. So no matter what your major is, no matter what you're there to study, whether it be mathematics or janitorial services, you need to have a equity class talking about all sorts of issues. But I think, uh, I think the most pertinent piece of information from this entire article is the following. Following the DSU's two confirmed motions related to the Faculty of Dentistry, they then held a debate on whether they should add misandry, the disliked or contempt for or ingrained prejudice against men to the second clause of the union statement regarding the dentistry Facebook group. The original motion said, the Dalhousie Student Union reaffirmed the support for a safer campus free from discrimination and harassment, including sexism, misogyny, homophobia, and sexualized violence. Skip Tunis thought the drawn-out argument on misandry was absurd. That was very inappropriate discussion, she said. That's not to say that misandry doesn't exist. We know it's a real thing, but we also know men are not one of the groups of people that are systematically oppressed. The thing that got me was, even if you disagree with it, the spirit of the motion is, we're dealing with misogyny. It feels a bit shitty to turn and be like, what about them? What about them? The final result was to add transphobia, race and class to the statement, and not add misandry. And was this motion carried? Yes, it was. The student union went along with it. Why add that to the list? Let's add other shit instead. I mean, it's not like it's sexist or anything to exclude men from being protected against persecution. That's what this is all about, right? But as we can see from the South House group, 
I, I guess this attitude maybe is a little deeply ingrained. I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe these panelists and these groups that got together to organize this uh, forum on misogyny might, dare I say, hate men? Could that, could that be a possibility? But if there's anything these people do well, it's hold absurd conversations about ridiculous shit, such as defining racism and sexism, understanding forms of oppression, students, faculty, discuss ways to make university campus safer. This is from March 19th. So just to sum up, the Forum on Misogyny and the Student Union and the South House comments, those are all from January. We're in March now, and they're still fucking talking about it. And what exactly was discussed at this new uh, forum, this new meeting between faculty and students? Well, again, the pertinent part, and I think you're going to enjoy this. A need for designated safe spaces and gender-neutral facilities. Joan mentions that in Entred, every building that is a part of university campus has to be designated safe space for trans students to comfortably and confidently be themselves. Without these spaces at Dalhousie, Trans and otherwise non-gender conforming individuals are hyper vulnerable to discrimination and on top of this, they are uncomfortable in the institutional spaces they are supposed to feel accepted in and be considered an equal part of. Recently, complaints have been filed with the Nova Scotia Human Rights Commission against staff on Dalhousie campus who allegedly discriminated against a trans woman who was a Dal student at the time. One example of the complaint filed by the student has to do with the staff refusing to refer to her using her preferred pronouns thereby refusing to acknowledge her self-identified gender. Well, it just seems like Dalhousie has problem after problem. Now I see why they added transphobia to that list on the union referendum and not misandry. But I'm curious, what was that complaint again about preferred pronouns? That sounds like a, a terribly triggering issue that Dalhousie has to deal with, right behind dental rape. Well, first off, you might be struck by the fact that this is from 2013, the Dalhousie's trans student claims discrimination from cafeteria staff. They said it was a recent event, but this is two years ago. Jessica Dempsey is registering a human rights complaint against Armark because she ran out of options. So whatever came of that, I mean, she filed this human rights complaint, so something must have happened. Well, Dempsey's grievance was sent to the school's Human Rights Equity and Harassment Prevention Office, and Armark's frontline staff received sensitivity training on issues relating to gender identity and gender expression. And this is probably my favorite line in the entire fucking article. It's not my responsibility to educate everybody anymore, she says. That's right, shitlord. Educate yourself. And so here we are, months later, months and months later, with all these different forums on misogyny, with all these different gatherings, with all these new policies put in place, with protest march on the campus and media coverage all over the, I don't know, province in Canada, maybe all over Canada itself. I don't know how far-reaching it was. And what is it a result of? At the end of the day, what did they do? What did these dental students do? They made some dumb fucking jokes on Facebook. They posted image macros on Facebook. And because of that, we've had a media circus. Everybody's talking about needing new uh, affirmations and new policies and new laws and codifying things so that we can protect and have safe spaces for everybody who's marginalized. And you have all these voices saying what Dalhousie needs to do because a couple of people made some dumb fucking jokes on the internet. Now, the dental students themselves probably were blown away by the reaction to this. In fact, you can even see it. You can see them commenting about it. This particular post was actually up on their group before it got shut down. And I love this. I love this excerpt because it really uh, it just it encapsulates how absurd this all is. Boys, what are they going to do, honestly? Kick out every guy of the fourth year? How wrong... <laughs> Dude, if you had any idea <laughs> where this was going, <laughs> I feel so bad for your ass. Because that is exactly what they did. They suspended fucking everybody. But this is the mentality we have on campuses now. Everybody is offended by everything. And when somebody gets offended, everybody and every institution and every organization needs to stop what they're doing and give somebody a hug. And usually the form of that hug is having ridiculous forums on misogyny and instituting policies about safe spaces so trans people can take a piss without feeling ostracized for some reason. You have organizations like South House that are headed up by people who obviously hate straight white people. You can see those tweets. I'm not making them up. You can go look at the Twitter account yourself. You can see how the student union voted. They didn't give a shit about misandry. They added transphobia, racism, and classism instead. This is a SJW mentality to a T. You can't be racist against white people. You can't be sexist against men. You can't discriminate against straight people. Those things don't exist. We don't need policies for them. But we need policies for everything else. Because I got offended somebody made a dumb joke on Facebook. 
So let's ruin these students' lives. Let's demand their names. Let's make sure they can never go back to college or have a career. And let's absolutely destroy them. It's bully tactics against the university and against the students who disagree with this mob mentality that has gone just off kilter. This is insane. And it will not end. Because once they have an issue, once they can capitalize on something, it will continue and not stop. And if you think I'm making that up, take a look at the newest fucking scandal that popped up. Dalhousie deals with fresh scandal. Student acted on explicit image, disciplinary action taken, but no charges laid. So I'm going to sum this up real quick because, well, this video has gone on for quite some time. But the newest scandal, the freshest one in the news, you can see March 27th, so just yesterday, revolves around an Instagram account, from what I understand, Dell Jungle or something to that effect. And on this account, there was a picture of a girl giving a guy a blowjob. And the picture was taken by another student who was doing a selfie portrait of themselves smiling while they were in the background and she was sucking dick. And this has led to a new scandal where people are demanding that all these students be expelled and that uh, anybody associated with the group. Essentially, what you saw with the dental scandal is happening with the Instagram scandal. So first Facebook, now, now Instagram. God help any Dalhousie student that has a fucking Twitter account. Your days are numbered. If you got a YouTube, you might as well just pack your bags and fucking run for America. Now, the most absurd point of this entire new scandal is that people are trying to say these students are guilty of distribution or possession of child pornography because somebody is claiming that the girl in the picture is 17. The cops, on the other hand, have said no charges will be pressed, that that is not the case. How this will pan out in the future, I have no idea. I'm going to guess that this is taking place at a university. She's probably 18 or older. But who knows? I don't. But what you can see happening here is a hysteria taking over Dalhousie. You have an absurd, uh, an absurd event. Dental students making stupid postings on Facebook that has led to a circus where everybody has to get their fucking opinion in about how misogynistic and terrible these people are and how Dalhousie, the university itself, is guilty of systemic oppression and everybody's suffering because of it. We need to reform everything and we need sensitivity training and we need to ban anybody that says anything wrong and kick them off campus and only let women talk and talk about how terrible men are. This is a university atmosphere as it exists today. Speech is no longer free. You cannot say what you want to say because you will offend somebody and when you do, your ass is out the door. Welcome to the new educational system. Welcome to Dalhousie University. This is the poorest class I've had in a long, long time. Most of you have no foundation at all. Now the trouble's with your attitude. Okay, you I'll need to check that. your fucking sister list. You are fucking scum. You're fucking great colleges, insect supporting, woman hating, fucking scum. Shut the fuck up! For the fiftieth million times, people who have been privileged. I'm not touching your camera. I'm not touching your camera. The Men's Center will end up being a place to celebrate hegemonic masculinity rather than being a place to include all different types of masculinity. It is not collaborating with the other social justice groups at SFU. It is, it is, it is a fallacy and a fantasy that there's anywhere in this fucking patriarchal society where somehow survivors have more power than their abusers. Warning! It's that time again. Time for another rape poem. So this group is breaking that silence with instruments of percussion as instruments of change. <laughs> V.
viewers are warned that the next program does not contain scenes of childbirth. Welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. There seems to be some sort of train of thought among some comic book writers that because something is popular in one medium, that will automatically transcribe into quality in an entirely different... <laughs> Saw that episode of CSI, but I've known about your kind for years. I think I'll go ahead and say what's on my mind and how I want to rip off your stupid furry ears. You can stand for enrages me you make my blood begin to brew I want to murder everyone you've ever loved right in front of you you've been
I've known I was a wolf since a really young age. Well, I had a big following because I usually go to the conventions and I meet a lot of people. And um, I, I had got accused of killing and beheading a dog. I did behead him. I didn't kill him. He was my friend. His name was Shadow. Well, you see, she didn't kill him. She just cut his head off, which is, I think, what most of us think of when we, when we picture a wolf in our mind capable of using sharp instruments in anger and beheading other animals which are challenging their dominance. Well, that or the nonstop raping that wolves are well known for. It's very, very problematic. I don't know if Tumblr can handle having wolves on their website. These violent rapists are a danger to everyone, especially dogs, apparently, in this case. Welcome one and all to the sixth installment of Tumblrisms. We're going to be taking a look at other kin as we journey through the land of insanity, otherwise known as Tumblr. Uh, there's no real way to get around this, but buckle up, because this is going to be one hell of a fucking episode. The sheer amount of insanity in this one particular group is off the fucking charts. 
And I've looked at some crazy shit before, but Otherkin really takes the cake when it comes to batshit raving lunacy. So I think it's going to be fun. But, you know, we need to, we need to pin down what that, uh, what that definition is, because we're shitlords. You need to remember that. We are privileged shitlords, and we need to understand how these snowflakes think. We've got to get their terminology down. Because when you go into Tumblr, and when you're looking at other kin, you're going to start to see all sorts of weird shit. And I, I think one of the first things, even be, you know what, even before we go and look up the definition of other kin, we probably need to make a distinction between what is a furry and what is an other kin. Well, it just so happens that I've, I've used my immense artistic skills, which I'm well known for, to put together this nice little infograph that I think will help to highlight the major difference between what a furry is and what an other kin is. A furry is a human pretending to be a wolf. An other kin is a wolf pretending to be a human. Let me see if I can clarify it a little bit more. A furry smells like death because they've been in that suit for five days at a convention, and the internal temperature in that motherfucker is equal to the same temperature your oven would be at if you wanted to cook a pizza. An other kin drags their ass on the ground rather than using toilet paper. A furry will drink far too much alcohol and then nearly die of dehydration when they yiff themselves into a coma in the hotel room later that night. An other kin will piss on their mother's azalea bushes so the other dogs in the neighborhood know who the fucking alpha male is. A furry will terrify children in a costume they've made that looks like something that's been birthed from a nightmare into the real world. An other kin will growl at ground beef in the market because they think that's what hunting is. So now that we know that critical difference between a furry and an other kin, let's, uh, let's pop on by valhallenbadger.tumblr.com to get a better idea of just what this other kin community is really all about. So just who is Valhallen Badger? Well, this is their About Me section. Hello, you can call me Elliot. I identify as androgyny, and my pronouns are Z, Zer, Zers, and Zerself. I'm pansexual and panromantic. I'm a 20-year-old college student majoring in geology. I love to draw and sculpt. I'm a spiritual polytherian, and my stereotypes are as follows. American Badger. Not one of those commie Russian motherfuckers. It's an American Badger. I tend to feel this one most strongly, thus my URL. I also identify as a hurrah bat, and as a black-tailed jackrabbit. In addition, I identify as being cat-hearted, deer-hearted, and fiction-hearted, with Thuruku Tasaki from the book Colorless Thuruku Hizaki and His Years of Pilgrimage. I'm neurodivergent. I have Major Depressive Disorder, MDD, General Anxiety Disorder, GAD, Agoraphobia, and Avoidant Personality Disorder, AVPD. In addition, I have issues with paranoia, some delusions induced by anxiety, and a severe problem with maladaptive daydreaming. So now, for some less serious information about me. Hmm. I enjoy metal, punk, and folk music most of all. I'm always open to music suggestions that fall outside of these genres, however, especially if it's cool experimental music. I like drawing and crafting. I may post some of my creations occasionally. I am interested in taxidermy and bone collecting. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. <laughs> I also... I, oh, fuck. I also enjoy collecting rocks and mineral samples. I'm a pagan and an animist. Oh, I'm Mod Badger at Kin Experiences. <laughs> Holy shit. This is like reading John Wayne Gacy's fucking journal from when he's 10. <laughs> you just, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> you can't read this and not know what's going to happen. Hi, I'm completely insane and think I'm a badger. By the way, I'm really interested in collecting bones. <laughs> what do you step into my van? Let's go for a drive. Holy fucking hell. So now that we know a little bit more about the person that wrote this, let's find out about other canonity. Things that people need to realize about other canonity. Canon I don't know how to pronounce that. Things that people need to realize about other canonity. Seriously, people both inside and outside the community need to get it through their heads that other can means to identify as non-human. Identifying with something non-human is being other-hearted. The two are not the same. A kin type is not a fursona. Someone can make their fursona after their kin type or realize they actually are kin to the creature chosen as their fursona, but the two are not equivalent by definition. Other kinity is not exclusively a spiritual belief. Many other can identify as such for psychological reasons. Other canonity is not a gender identity. We are not appropriating transgender struggles. Some other can are transgender. A fair amount are, in fact. Being one doesn't mean one cannot be the other. They are different types of identities. Stop erasing the gender identities of trans other kin and stop using the existence of other kin to invalidate trans people's identities. Your transphobia is disgusting and blatantly obvious. 
some other can experience species dysphoria, which means they have a strong disconnect with their human body. Trans other can have found similarities between species dysphoria and their gender dysphoria if they have it, and so the two get discussed. They are not the same, but they can be comparable. Other can don't think it's cultural appropriation to wear wolf ears, or that it's oppression to have houseplants, or something ridiculous like that. Stop falling for obvious trolls. Other canity is not a mental illness by definition. Some may identify as such due to reasons derived from trauma or illness, but it isn't in and of itself a mental illness. In fact, a large majority of us who are mentally ill, in addition to being other kin, have confided our identity to mental health professionals who think it's a healthy identity to have. Stop yelling at us to get help. Your ableism is not appreciated by anyone. I'm sure there are other important things out there that should be added to the list, but this is all my brain is coming up with for the nonce. Well, you know, I'm going to have to agree. I don't think wearing wolf ears is cultural appropriation. I'm, I'm fairly certain wolves aren't going to mind. But now we have a better picture of insanity. So going forward, we're going to have a better idea of what we're dealing with. Because there are all sorts of kin types. You might have heard them uh, discuss that, or Therians. Now there's a, a difference between those two, but I can't be fucking bothered to learn it. I can only handle so much crazy in one sitting. And if you're looking for me to go into all of this, it's not going to happen. I'm just dealing with kin types. So what's, what's a kin type? Well, you'll find that other kin use kin as a suffix for pretty much anything. You can be a plant kin, you can be a dragon kin, you can be a fiction kin, you can be a kin kin if you wanted to be, which would be even more insane, I don't know if that exists yet, but by the end of this video or by the time people watch it, I'm sure it's fucking going to exist. Welcome to Tumblr, where anything can be real because fuck you, that's why. Now you may be saying, Jim, come on, there's got to be a limit. But you'd be wrong, as seen in the post by Paranoid Raindrops. Please like or reblog this if you are weatherkin, divine kin of any kind, demonkin, void spacekin. Just want to be friends with this lonely rain cloud. I have to start over from nothing, and I would very much enjoy the opportunity to follow you and have new people in my life. And then it's hashtagged otherkin, we are the kin, divine kin, demonkin, voidkin, spacekin, and raindropkin. That's right. There are people out there that are weatherkin. Apparently Doppler radar is such hot shit that people identify as it. I know Then when I feel a rainstorm coming, I want to find a weatherman and have him hold me tenderly. So now that we have a better idea of just uh, what an otherkin is, let's go out and meet the community. And what better place to start than here? Small deer boy explores the forest of his mind. Hashtag, I'm actually a stag. Selfie, agender, demi boy. They, them, he, him, deer kin, other kin, antlers, reblog my selfie if you love me, pan romantic, demisexual. So, just what are we going to find at castlebeyondthegoblincity.tumblr.com? Well, the Goblin King. The years have not been kind to David Bowie. My name is Imber. I'm a 16 year old nature worshipping agender demi boy. I prefer neutral pronouns, but I'm also fine with male. Part time gentle forest creature part-time ferocious beast, polykin, wolf, deer, dragon, amateur cosplayer and aspiring furry, hardcore feminist, Illinois, I draw, write, sing, act, and play the ukulele, single, I take my not safe for work, I always pick hugs over drugs, and then there's the Instagram and Etsy accounts they use. So just to sum up, it's a 16-year-old nature-worshipping feminist demi-boy who's single right now. So any ladies out there, got you covered. So let's see what uh, the Goblin King has to say. This is from April 4th, 2015. Some yuppie dude bro. Pop music has destroyed my hope for humanity. Me? Really? Not racism? Not sexism? Not the rampant discrimination of the human race by the cishet male white hierarchy? Not war? Not genocide? Not the fact that we're killing our planet? Some yuppie dude bro. Nah, I don't give a shit about that. What really grinds my gears? is seeing young girls listening to music and having fun. Well, I think we found a winner here. Let's, uh, let's delve a little deeper. Now, this next post is pretty long, but I think it gives you an idea of just who the Goblin King is. So, let's find out a little bit more about our dear kin. Day one. I cried so hard that it scared my father. He spent the night outside my bedroom door just to make sure I didn't stop breathing like a newborn in her crib the first week. Day two. I went to work and I cried in the bathroom. Day three, I believe I was cured. Now I think my mind was playing a cruel joke on me. Day four, I told you I miss you, and you replied with thank you. Day five, 
I saw a picture of you on Instagram, and it lit my throat on fire, so I burned your love letters over the flame. Day 6. I smoked weed with a boy on his back porch, and he asked questions you were afraid to. But still, I couldn't kiss him on his couch. Day 7. I couldn't sleep because I kept dreaming of you kissing other girls on your couch. Day 8. I gave you all of your stuff back, and you thought I looked like a warrior, but really, I went home and cried an entire ocean into existence. Day 9. I laughed without you. Day 10. I kept finding excuses to text you, and you kept ignoring me. Day 11. I cried until my stomach heaved itself up, and I slept next to the toilet in case those nasty dreams came again. Day 12. Since when is heartbroken so goddamn romantic? There's nothing pretty about losing feelings in my knuckles after squeezing my hand so tight to keep from texting you. Day 13. I could never squeeze them tight enough. I could never imagine that you would be so good at letting me fade. Day 14. The doubt makes my spine feel less like vertebrae and more like giant icicles. You never loved me. Day 15. I found out you had replaced me and it flicked at my bruises, but my ribs didn't break. Day 16. I told everyone about you, and they said you were stupid for leaving. But I think you were stupid for staying the first time you sliced my heart on the side of the road. Day 17. I didn't think about you for an entire night because I was drunk in bed with someone else. Day 18. What color are your eyes? How big are your hands? Where was that freckle on your face I used to look at while you slept? Day 19. Sometimes all I feel in my chest is my heart trying to break out of its cage. I think it's tired of everything I have put it through. Day 20. I'm sorry I couldn't ignore your birthday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Day 21. This was a shitty poem about a shitty person, but I don't think of you so much anymore. I don't think of you so much anymore. Life is hard for a deer. Well, I cry every time. Well, I don't know about you, but I cry every time. Who knew that deers had such emotionally traumatic lives. Like, apparently Tumblr is the number one website for fucking creatures in the forest. <laughs> you know, Twitter's got to step up its game. All it's got are those birds. But if you've got four legs, if you're a quadruped, Tumblr is where it's at. And that's where all the forest creatures go to tell you about their heartbreak and the sorrows of their lives. Like that one time, the tree bark just didn't cut off right. Or how good that grass was yesterday or taking a shit next to that bush. Well, with all these struggles and hardships in life, like being a deer who happens to be a feminist, or a badger that wants to collect human bones, if there was only a place where other kin could go to release that emotional weight and to just lay it all out there. Oh, well, hey, what do you know there is? It's confessions.tumblr.com, a Tumblr blog set up to allow other kin to anonymously vent about their day-to-day -day frustration. So why don't we take a look at a few and get a, a better understanding of just the kind of traumas that the other kin deal with on a daily basis. Anonymous posts on the 4th of April. Even though everything I feel tells me I'm a bear kin, I don't want to be a bear. I don't particularly like bears. I just feel like I am one. Well, at least I know where to find the answer when somebody asks, does crazy shit in the woods? Anonymous posts on the 2nd of April. I'm slightly irritated at fiction kin in general. I don't hate anyone. I don't have the desire to tell people how to identify. It just seems like fiction kin are a bit less legit than someone who is a cat, dog, or dragon kin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to reread that because my mind melted a little bit. It just seems like fiction kin are a bit less legit than someone who is a cat, dog, or dragon kin. I just don't get it. How do you live your life as a character that isn't real, or could die in the series? I think it's just an infatuation with a series rather than an actual identity. <laughs> Come on. Come on. If irony had a physical weight to it, you could package this post up into a bag and bludgeon people to death with it. It's almost like watching somebody who's on the cusp of self-awareness, but they just, they haven't made that final step over the line just yet. Anonymous posts on the 1st of April. I'm Dragonkin. And I get to travel a lot for work, but I hate flying an airplane so much. Being forced to sit straight up while enclosed in a tiny plane and not being able to stretch my wings out and fly myself makes me feel so sick and dizzy each flight. I wonder how many dragonkin are base jumpers. Probably not a lot. Or probably not a lot that ever make it to the second jump. The ripcord's there for a reason, champ. Those wings aren't going to glide your ass to the ground just as safely as you might think they are. Just saying, pack a parachute, asshole. 
anonymous posts on the 30th of March. I think identifying as a fact kin is extremely disrespectful. Being fact kin of a dead person does not make it better. You are disrespecting real people and disrespecting the memory of those past. It's ableist to claim you are someone else, as they would definitely trigger disassociative episodes and racist to ID as fact again of someone of another race than you. Sincerely, it is disrespectful all around. You see, there's a line you don't cross. If you want to be a deer, go right ahead, but don't you dare say you're Benjamin Franklin. That's a step too far. Anonymous posts on the 27th of March. I'm Demonkin, but a peaceful and helpful demon, so I don't get along with some of the other demonkin on Tumblr, which sucks. I'm really lonely. Plus, it's kind of scary because they tell me I should try and hang around Angelkin instead, most of which I'm anxious of, old habits die hard. I just wish there were more demons like me. So even in the land of special snowflakes, this particular Demon King is a special snowflake. You'd think the fires of hell would melt him, but no, apparently not. He's just a nice guy all around. I wasn't spitting pea soup at the priest because I wanted to spook him. I just was trying to give him a pleasant meal. I was thinking of his health. He needs to eat healthier. Anonymous posts on the 26th of March. I'm a dear Therian, and I really wish I could find a herd. <laughs> it's called hunting. Good luck. Anonymous posts on the 25th of March. As a deerkin, it's very pleasing to hang out deep in the woods where everything is quiet, especially eating berries and reading a book, maybe. I get very depressed in the winter because it's too cold for me to do this. You poor bastard. Unable to eat berries and read books like every other deer out there. I feel your pain. Anonymous posts on the 17th of March. I'm a dollkin, feeling astral horns, and I don't know why. Perhaps it's because you're fucking crazy. Look into that. I don't know. It's a little tip for me. Maybe you're just completely insane. Anonymous posts on the 14th of March. I'm birdkin. When I was little, I always ran with closed eyes and spread my arms out. Tried to jump as far and as high as I could, and imagined I would fly. I still do it when no one is watching. It feels so natural not to feel the ground beneath me. That is, until the moment my face connects with the fucking pavement, and I get sent to the hospital with a concussion. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do it when no one's watching. Because you look insane. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Jesus. There are people like this. Uh, anonymous posts on the 8th of March. I'm Monsterkin, and sometimes I make small growling noises, and I feel special when my friends call it cute. God, it's almost like... Yeah, hear me out on this. I know it's crazy. It's almost like you're doing this for attention. That That's weird, huh? Like, maybe you're not really a monster kin and you just want people to pay attention to you? I, I know, I'm probably probably way off. You uh, you keep you keep doing what you're doing. Hiding under beds and grabbing little kids' feet when they pop out to go take a pee in the middle of the night. Or whatever the fuck it is, you do. Anonymous posts on the 27th of February. When I walk past the raw meat aisle in stores, I get hungry. The meat just looks so tasty and chewy and I drool imagining the taste and texture in my mouth. I can't tell if I'm demon kin or wolf kin or something like that. All I know is is that I want to eat raw meat. Can you, uh, can you picture this? A, let's say, 20-year-old, morbidly obese man in a wolf costume, drooling at the mouth as he stares at ground beef in the meat aisle of his store, as children run screaming because he's furiously masturbating, because that's what wolves do. Don't argue with me on this. I know about this. I've read enough Tumblr to know this. They behead dogs, and they masturbate in the meat aisle at stores. It's just part of what wolves naturally do. Stop being ableist, you fucking shitlords. Don't judge them. They're special. You need to respect that. You know, there was a time, and it wasn't that long ago, and for some circles it still exists, where furries were the worst thing on the internet. It seemed like every week you had another story of another Tumbles the Stair Dragon. And for anybody who doesn't know who Tumbles is, feel free to go check out the dramatic article. It's, it's fucking eye-opening. But every week, it seemed like there was something like that. They were obnoxious. They were everywhere. They were constantly pushing their dumb shit everywhere. Their art was everywhere. And the people that were in the community were seen to be freaks. But something happened over the last seven years. Seven or eight years. Now, don't get me wrong. They're still freaks. But they're freaks with a better image. Now, part of that is because of people like, I don't know, Uncle Kage. I have often said that we are our own worst enemy. Because of, because of the early days of furry fandom, the image that was put forth to the world at large was not perhaps the most positive image that could have existed. <laughs> I've been trying to fight 
that ever since. And what he says is right. They are their own worst enemy. You've got to take back control and rein it in a little bit. Now, is that possible with Otherkin? Can Otherkin rein it back in? Because when you go through Tumblr, when you're looking at this, it is insanity. Pure insanity. You have people that believe that they are everything that could possibly exist. They are dead people. They are living people. They are fictional characters. They are dragons and lizards. They are wolves. They are plants. They are fairies and fae. They are demons and gods. They are convinced of it. You throw in a little sprinkling of mental illness and it, it really takes off. It's like the headmates thing, where you're just, you're facilitating, you're, you're helping along crazy people to be even crazier by letting them buy into this bullshit, by not having a, a division, a line that says, hey, it's play pretend, we're not being real here. It's hard to look through this and to go through the tags, and there, there are so many tumblers about other kids out there. And by the way, I saw this one. Please, God, please make this a thing. Because this is so dumb on its own that it just deserves to exist. I was really disappointed that there weren't more of these. Because that would have been the whole fucking video. If I could have if I could have got this, this should be a fucking thing. But when you break it down to its brass tacks, what are you looking at? Well, you saw in those confessions, right, these anonymous posters, almost all of them repeat the same thing. And if you go and look at that Tumblr, you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's people that want attention. They want to feel special. This has become a badge of honor in our current society. The more diverse, the more unique you are, the more worth you have. You can't just be average or ordinary or mundane. You can't just be a human being. You have to be a demigod, a deer kin. You have to be the system mate of a fucking head star and all this other crazy bullshit because then you can tack it up on your little Tumblr blog and more people will pay attention. And it's not even enough anymore that there are all these bizarre things, that these other kins are all these different forms of nutty. They have to fight amongst themselves. Who's more unique? Go look at that confession page. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling how many of them will say, I'm just the same as this other person, but I'm a little bit different, and oh, woe is me, how lonely I am. Will you come and look at my blog and cry me a fucking river? What the hell happened to the Internet? I mean, there, in my mind, after going through this, there is a, there's a sharp line between furry and other kin. Furries are fun to laugh at, but I don't think they're crazy. Other kin is a completely different thing. It's, it's attention whoring at a level that just is, it's mind blowing. It's, it's boggling, really, when you look at it. So really, at the end of the day, it looks like the other kin community is broken down into a couple of different groups. You've got one group that are people that are desperate for attention and they will make themselves unique in any way they can to get that attention. It's just a way of drawing people to them. The other group are legitimately crazy people that have been drug along for the ride by these attention whoring assholes. Really, I'm so straight I could literally fuck a man in the ass Come out straighter than I was before Then fuck your whore, I'm busting her butt Because vaginas are gross and I ain't touching that shit It's not gay to wanna fuck a man It's only gay if he fucks you back Fucks you back It's not gay that I had a three-way with two other guys Two other guys All my life people used to call me gay They used to tease me about 
sucking cock and asking the popular jocks for a Sacramento turtleneck. Then one day this kid named Jerry told me the Sacramento turtleneck was only for women. I cried myself to sleep that night. Damn it, Jerry. I'm not gay. All right, it should be, we should be on air, I think. But because of YouTube, it's always a fucking delay. So check the room here and see if it's actually going or not. Ah, oh, this fucking thing is always behind. See, I, I was close to being on time. I'm a minute late. It's not uh, not too terrible. If it'll catch up here. I don't know why YouTube can't get a shit to work. You figured Google, with all the money they have, could make a stream start when you click the actual button. But of course not. It's uh, It's too much work. All right, is it going? All right, there we go. Looks like I finally caught up, so I can see the uh, the chat going. Uh, get the shit moved out of the way here. Okay, all right. Uh, welcome to the stream. Sorry, yeah, uh, sorry, I'm a little late. It always happens, and the video too didn't actually get uploaded on Saturday. But fuck, if you've watched any of my shit by this point, you should be expecting that. When, when have I ever been on time? Never. I've never been on time. I'm always fucking late. It's, uh, it's gym time. What the fuck are you going to do? All right, let's see. Oh, God, I'm out of practice. I don't know how to do a stream anymore. Fuck, it's going. Um, all right, well, welcome to uh, Liquor It Up and Live. I, I wanted to call it the Shitlord stream, but I kind of lost its luster. I, I like the name, but... Whatever. You, I, I, I'm not going to rename it 15 times in different languages. Like I did it in English and then in Spanish. And that was kind of that was kind of it. That's where I gave it up. So I, I'm, I'm structuring it like I did the old streams. If, if you remember the shitlord streams, ask whatever the fuck you want. We'll just bullshit and talk. Figure the stream will be about, I don't know, like two hours? So whatever you want to talk about. Yes, gym time is longer than valve time. I'm that fucking lazy. You want your money back. You're never going to get your money back, Mike uh, Mazarone. You can't uh, can't get back nothing. Uh, why is the chat holding up on me? Get King of Cuck. Uh, nope, no guess. I'm doing the stream like I used to do the streams. There's not going to be 48 fucking people in here. It's a clusterfuck. I didn't like doing it before. I'm not going to do it again. Maybe on occasion in the future I'll have like I don't know uh, Andrew in because that you know I, I like Jesse Ventura and I like Alex uh, I, I like his voices essentially is what I'm saying he's pretty funny he's very quick so I don't mind that get King of Pole and Ralph on no not gonna happen sorry why haven't I offed myself yet Jim ah oh, God I just I don't uh, us cucks I I guess are too much of a beta to do it. Maybe would be uh, would be the answer to that. Talk about space Jews. Well, they're out there. They're out there. Mel Brooks warned us about them in his movies, but nobody listened. And so we're all going to suffer the fucking consequences. We saw a little bit of that in the Sony email leaks, which apparently are fucking entertaining. I've been reading through the threads on that. Uh, there's a lot of shit in those uh, email leaks, but I, I don't have enough. I haven't read enough to be able to really talk about it coherently put together something interesting on it. Ralph's a nice dude. Get King of Cuck on. <laughs> Bring Jade on. No, I, I have a exclusivity deal with Bang Brothers. So Jade and I can't do streams together unless you pay. Because that's what Bang Brothers told us. How is Israel? Israel is great. Oh my god. I have all this gold, all these shekels. It's it's paradise. We bulldoze Palestinian houses and then just throw money in the air because it's fun. It's what we do. What's the deal between you and Haberman? When you're talking about Medicare and all of that, yeah, people have asked about that. I'll, I'll give you the background story if you want. I met um, Haberman, or as I like to call him, the Troll Lord. Uh, you know, back maybe five years ago, uh, he was running a site called Medicare.org. Uh, they ran a YouTube channel, Films for the Fustelarians. It was him and Jordan Haas and about four or five other people were the core members. There were a few other people, but it was a smaller group. Uh, and it was essentially 
Retsu Prey had started to get big at that time, shitting on Let's Players. And so Haberman had done Retsu Prey videos, but instead of Let's Plays, he just picked anything, uh, any bad video you could imagine. And you'd talk shit over it. And that was essentially how I found them, was through their, their YouTube account, which was Films for Fustelarians. Um, thought it was, I guess, entertaining at the time. I, I liked it. So went to the website, went to the forums, made an account, ended up meeting him and a few of the other members, and just kind of joined the site. Uh, now, if you go and look, uh, Haberman, I think, still owns a domain. He put up this long, it's like 10 pages of a uh, blog talking about how dark and super secret and CIA-like Medicare was, but that's all smoke being blown up your ass. Uh, essentially, it was mocking people on YouTube. Uh, there was something called DeviantArt Coalition for Quality Control, where we would go and find a, somebody on DeviantArt and critique their stuff and just shit talk them and put up articles about that. There was, um, what the fuck was it? Medicare After Dark, which was we'd go to people's private uh, amateur porn pages and basically do a retsu praise of their porn videos. And we had to host that directly on the site, or he had to host that directly on the site, because you can't obviously put that up on YouTube. That's not gonna it's not gonna go too well. And and that and that's it. I mean, that's that's how I met him. That's kind of what Medicare did. There were a few other things that happened over the course of the time the site was up. Um, there was School Shooter North American Tour twenty twelve, which was a Half Life two mod where you basically recreate Columbine. You could play as like um, uh, Dylan and Eric. Oh God, what was the little Nevada chan or Nevada tan? Was it the little girl with a box cutter who basically stabbed one of her schoolmates in Japan? And there were like two others. Those were the characters you could choose from. You got their weapon sets, and it was just it was a bunch of bullshit. It was it was meant to piss people off. And so uh, one of the people on the site basically started a a studio for it, Checkerboard Studios, developed it, kind of got a couple of demo videos up. And everybody ran stories on it and went ballistic about it for a while. But the whole thing on that was Haberman was going to, um, what was his original plan on that? I think he was going to control Fox News. He got, he, he got to the point where he actually had somebody from Fox call him and want to set up an interview so he could go in. Um, and that interview, by the way, uh, somebody I know, Nervatel, has a copy of that interview with Haberman talking to the Fox News rep about getting on air. He was, gonna, he was going to go on television and debate Jack Thompson. And the joke was going to be, when he got on television, instead of advocating for you know free games and creativity and all that shit, he was just going to totally agree with the host and completely fuck with their mind. But it never it never went anywhere. It kind of died on the vine. But that, that was Medicare. It, it was just dumb stuff. So if you go to Medicare.org and you read what Haberman wrote, it's nothing like that. It was not this severe, horrific group that was uh, driving people to, what did he put up? All sorts of crazy shit, blackmailing law enforcement and uh, you know driving people to kill themselves. It was really at heart making fun of people on YouTube and on DeviantArt. And that's, that's, what, uh, that's what that was. So I left Medicare and ended up uh, running into Haberman again, like, I don't know, a year or two later. And um, oh, one of the other things I should mention, and this is, if you read the Encyclopedia Dramatic article, I, I guess, yeah, I probably should cover this. So at the time, uh, one of the people on Medicare was a sysop on Encyclopedia Dramatica. And Haberman was a user on ED. I was as well, but Haberman and the sysop basically created, I think it was a trolling portal, and he was writing articles. And this is when, this is like at the tail end, before um, Sherrod DeGrippo, before she shut the site down. And there was this group called the EDS Singers. And the Ed Singers were just unfunny, untalented people. But because they, if I remember right, because they were paying money and donating to the site, they were considered untouchable. They were, they had made friends with people in positions of power and you couldn't shit talk them. And if you did, people would come after you. And this inspired the whole troll shielding article. Um, what ended up happening was the Sysop and Haberman and a few others got angry at her um, and wanted to, they thought that wasn't what it should be. They thought Ed should be, if you're, you know, <laughs> you shouldn't be protected, essentially. You shouldn't be troll shielded. So what ends up happening is they start pushing back. We all do. Medicare does. Um, the Sysop gets de desysopped, or whatever the fuck you'd call it. I don't know. And 
basically everything went to shit. Um, the Ed Singers eventually withered away. DeGrippo shut down the site. But again, if you go read the Medicare.org article that Haberman put up, or even the ED article about Medicare, you'll, you know, it, it's made to be more than it is. It really isn't that entertaining. Uh, so that's a little more backstory. But yeah, so I run into Haberman about a year or two ago. And we hang out on Skype, play some video games with a group of people kind of from the Medicare site and a couple other different sites. Get along fairly well. Um, he starts up the Dinner Dates, which the Dinner Dates is his YouTube channel. Uh, just so you know, the Dinner Dates, the reason it was called that, and Haberman himself claims he has a bad memory, but anybody in that chat room or anybody in those calls can tell you, was somebody we know does YouTube reviews, and he reviewed a game on Steam called The Dinner Dates, which is just a shitty indie game. And so we thought it was funny at the time, and that's what ended up being the name for his channel. Um, so he starts it, and I, I don't know, I produced like one or two videos for it, um, but I stopped hanging out in the Skype room that he was in. I just went my own way. If you look at my Steam profile, you'll see how fucking autistic I am. Uh, playing like Ace of Spades for 500, 600 fucking hours. Anyway, I don't know what happens. He gets angry or irritated or he just doesn't like that. And we basically just stop talking to each other. Now, if you go read his, his Tumblr blog, which, by the way, that Tumblr blog is... Tumblr infected him. He started using that site and everything went to shit for him. So... <laughs> He goes from this, you know, self-proclaimed sociopath to, uh, you know, trans-friendly uh, SJW in like the span of three months. That's how much Tumblr fucked him up. But um, if you, if you go read his blogs and he's talking about this, he's acting like I'm. He he acts like I'm Satan. He thinks I'm the devil. Uh, he and Jordan Haas, which was another guy that was on the site, or Jordan Ha or whatever he called. I don't know what his user handle is. But um, yeah, it's just. It's Medicare was dumb, and it was a place to go to make and do dumb things and fuck with people online, and that's all there was really to it. And I think Haberman feels slighted because we stopped talking to each other, and he perceives it like I, I don't know, like I'm the devil, because he he talks about coming out like he's gay now, uh, and says that obviously Jim couldn't handle that, never mentioned it to anybody in any of the Skype rooms, and nobody would have given a shit. It would have been nobody would have fucking cared. So uh, that's that's Haberman. There you go. That's that's Haberman. That's Medicare. Yeah, yeah. There's um, uh, there is a couple of paste bins floating around where people talk to him, and he he called me uh, his Frankenstein monster. He he thinks that um, this I thought I I thought this was really funny. He thought Gamergate was my creation, um, with the sole purpose of fucking with people using right-wing conservatives. Like, he thought I had I had manufactured Gamergate with this intent. Like, it was some 24-hour op. And, uh, you know, I was, gonna, I was going to use it to troll the internet or something. This is some master plan of mine uh, is his idea of what Gamergate is, which is retarded, but that's what he thinks. How many subs will you accept before you quote Hitler again? I don't know. We'll have to see. There's a limit. Maybe, maybe fifty. We'll find a good, a good fucking amount. Is your name James O'Shaughnessy? I've had like ten names by this point. That that ED article and the docs that float around. I've gone from what the fuck was it? Uh, I've been James Tristan. I've been James Alexander. Alexander Tristan, which I, I don't know how they came up with that one. Uh, James Shaughnessy, like 14, yeah, 14 different identities. I've been, what, a uh, farmer, an architect in the mafia, apparently, somebody told me. I was a mafioso. Uh, and now, apparently, I'm an author and a person that runs a brokerage firm. So I don't know. It keeps getting more extreme as we go. Eventually, it's just going to say James, you know, uh, Rockefeller or something like that, or Rothschild. I'm, I'm going to be a billionaire is what they're going to come. That's a conclusion somebody's going to come to it at some point. Uh, so now that you've sold out, are you? No, uh, let's go back. Are you going to start you microtransactions? No, uh, not yet. It's, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to do what? Um, fuck, what was that guy's name? If you go look it up, it's on Slideshow. Uh, it's that guy from EA. Talks about microtransactions and Battlefield Heroes, was it? And uh, talks about how to fuck people over. 
God, I wish I could find it. Ben Cousins, that's what his name was. He worked for EA. He was their marketing guy. He talked about how consumers were idiots and how you could rob them for just insane amounts of money and you didn't have to listen to anything they said and fuck what the forum says and fuck what the game community says. Bilk them for every dollar you can. So I'll follow his example. He seems to know what he's talking about. <laughs> Do I work for Tumblr? No, I don't. Did I kill Jade? I don't know. I'd have to confirm this with King of Paul. Apparently, apparently, in my absence, uh, like uh, as I've been offline for the last five or six months, uh, there have been a lot of uh, King of Paul verified rumors that King of Paul probably didn't start, but people have said he confirmed. Uh, so I don't know. I'd have to defer to him. Do I still live in Minnesota? Yes, I do. Jim is Sarkeesian with a voice modulator. You found it out. It's all been about the money. John and I are sitting here lovingly uh, rubbing each other as we count our gold. It's been, uh, it's been a long, long-term plan, but it's worked. <laughs> I logged into your old PayPal, and that's where I got your name. Okie dokie. What do you think of... Oh, that went by too quickly. Where can I find... Uh, okay, this is going too quickly for me. Is King of Pole dead? King of Pole is dead, confirmed. No, he... Uh, I don't know what he's been doing. I haven't talked to him in a while. I haven't been on Skype in... Uh, I don't know, fuck, two weeks? Three weeks? I talk to him occasionally. I mean, he's got my, my Skype name, so I talk to him every once in a while, but I don't know what he's up to lately. How is Noom? I haven't talked to Noom in... Ah, uh, fuck. Three years? Two years? You'd have to ask Al. Al probably talks to Noom more than I do. Jim, can I rub you? I don't know. You're going to have to pay first. That's how this works. <laughs> can someone bring me up to speed on what, Kara? I, I don't know what you need to be brought up to speed on. What do you think of Hillary and her chances? I I don't know. She'll probably... She might get the nomination. She might run, but I don't. I don't think her chances are very good. It would, uh, yeah. The Republicans would have to fuck up pretty hard for her to win. That's my opinion. I don't know if it's right. Whatever. Notice me, sent by. Okay, see, or Super Leroy. Do I know Sargon? No, I do not. I uh, talked to him in the past, but I don't really know him. What do I think of mundane chill? Are you talking about walking on water? Listen, I like to joke about Matt. I joke about him quite a bit, actually. So does Andrew. Um, I think the thing I find funniest about Matt, uh, people seem to get this idea that I hate anybody that tries to profit um, from the shit they put up. I don't really care. I mean, I like Thunderfoot, and Thunderfoot has a Patreon. I like Justicar, and Justicar has ads up. So, I mean, it's not like I'm opposed to that. Uh, but the thing that I find funny about Matt is if you look at some of the shit, he, I don't know if he filters himself or if it really, if he really is paying attention to what he says, but like on occasion, he'll say stuff that's just absurd. Like the whole, the reason we call him walking on water is that whole uh, thing where he's talking and he goes, well, guys, um, you know, hero's a title that's been laid at my feet numerous times. <laughs> and it's just so fucked up, man. Matt, what are you doing? Why why would you ever say that? And why would you keep it up after saying that? Like it just I don't I don't know. But um that's my thought on Monday, Matt. I think he needs to <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I just find it funny screwing around with him. Um it's entertaining to me. Matt is the best reply girl. Well, that's kind of the model he set up. I mean, he was doing that before Gamergate. To be fair, that was kind of his whole his whole shtick. Is he would put a he put videos up pretty consistently. I think it was like one every day or two, um, and he he kept doing that throughout Gamergate. So he's done that forever. I mean, you know, I mean that's that's his video style. He'd put up a, a nine ten minute video, and there you have it. What happened to the pearl necklace I was going to buy Milo? Well, Milo's straight now, so he wouldn't want he wouldn't want that pearl necklace now, would he? That would that would not be what he'd be interested in. 
what do you think of and that went by too quick why did you change your uh, icon from Haberman <laughs> so originally um, the mr. Medicare the one with the guy doing the the uh, thumbs up pointing at you was um, based on a picture of Haberman from Medicare but every like, nobody liked it. That was the thing. I thought it was funny, but people kept giving me shit. They're like, "Who's this fat Mexican?" <laughs> so I changed it to this. I think it. I think it. It's better. Better suited. It's just face or faceless. It's. It's nothing. It's just. It's a microphone essentially, and I like it. Notice me, Jim. I notice you. Uh, since when is Milo straight? Since he posted that article jokingly. Did he pray the gay away? I don't know. I don't know what um, I don't I don't know what technique he used, but I thought the article was funny. I don't know if people really got what he, well whatever. Who knows? I thought it was a good article though. Uh, why do I constantly close channels and restart them? I just don't like um, I don't like big audiences. I don't know. I don't like, uh, I've talked about, if you go to Ask FM, shit, I answer this stuff on Ask FM a lot. I just don't like um, large followings. I never have. And I don't like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just phobic of success. I have no fucking clue. I, I, I think it's better when it's smaller. It's more interesting. I can say whatever the fuck I, well, I can say whatever the fuck I want when I have a larger audience, too. I, I couldn't tell you. I really don't know. It's just something I've done for years. Read us Woody Got Wood again. Uh, maybe another time. <laughs> Could jet fuel melt steel beams? No, it cannot. Obviously, it was a thermite. Uh, do an interview with Putin. Yeah, I really don't think that's going to ever happen. <laughs> Jesus. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to answer these as they come. Mortal Kombat X or Street Fighter 4? I haven't played Mortal Kombat uh, X. I don't have the money to go around buying new shit. I usually, I've always done this. I wait for something to drop in price, and usually that's why I like PC gaming because shit drops really quickly, especially compared to like the consoles. Um, that and I was worried too. I didn't want to go out and buy the game because I liked Mortal Kombat Nine, but <clears throat> Ed Boon has this tendency to take something that's really good and make it utter shit in the span of two or three games. So I didn't know if Mortal Kombat X was going to be the start of that process or if it was still going to be a good game. It seems like people like it. So, you know, maybe when it drops in price, I'll pick it up. Who do you main in Smash 4? Robin. Am I the leader of the Illuminati? No, I'm not. <laughs> Did I rape and kill Jade behind an Arby's? Uh, I, I, you know, I, I would tell you that, but Glenn Beck and I swore an oath to each other, and we can never talk about that day in Florida. Sorry. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, Mortal Kombat X is DLC fodder. Yeah, I, I saw the um, Easy Fatalities. Which is like they're they're catering to the market that is Dark Side Phil. Why would the fighting game? This I don't get it. Like when I think of fighting games and the fighting game community, I don't think of I don't necessarily think of casuals. I think of people that are more into their into that type of game. So this whole weird fucking thing with easy fatalities. Who's that marketed to? Like if you can't pull off the normal fucking moves when you're playing the game. You're not going to be able to pull off the fatality, so I guess that's who they're thinking they're going to market it to. But here's the thing: if you can't pull off the fucking special moves and shit when you're actually in a match, you're going to get fucking decimated. So what's the point of easy fatalities? Who are you going to use them on? If you're playing Sub Zero and you can't freeze somebody, or Scorpion, you can't spear them. What the fuck? What does it matter if it's a one-button fatality? You're going to get your ass handed to you by the time you get there. So this whole pay six dollars and get thirty fatalities—it's a fucking ridiculous. So why are they catering to the likes of people like Phil? Who you know, I'm pressing buttons, you know. Like it just I don't I don't understand that fucking mentality. Thoughts on Movie Bob? Fuck Movie Bob. I haven't liked Movie Bob for years. Ever since um, 
he fucked with that kid. There's some 17 year old British kid. Uh, I've talked about this. I've got a, a screen cap of it that was fucking with cam whores in World of Warcraft. And Patricia Hernandez on Kotaku had written an article about it. And Movie Bob had seen the article and then wrote a blog post himself. Well, after that, he ends up going on to Twitter and talking to Jim Sterling. And he's talking about how this kid, because he's in the UK, is under certain kind of speech laws and how they basically can get him arrested. So Movie Bob is actively talking about getting a teenage boy arrested because he didn't like his fucking YouTube video. Fuck Movie Bob. Fuck that type of person. Oh, you don't like the fact that he's griefing people in World of Warcraft, so you want to get him arrested? Fuck off, Bob. Fuck off, you untalented piece of shit. $4,000 on Patreon a month to make those green screen videos. Are you fucking, are you kidding me with this shit? Have you seen his videos? That guy with the glasses was doing better content five years ago than he's doing today. And they were doing it on less of a budget. And that guy with the glasses videos are notorious for shitty green screen. So I, just, yeah, I don't like, I don't like Bob. I never have. Uh, thoughts on Divorce Corp. Yeah, I thought that was a good documentary. Uh, then I had a lot of people arguing about uh, whether it was accurate or not. People were talking the the comments of the video and then in the thread that I saw it in, and then on Twitter as well, about how certain things didn't add up. But the thing that bothers me about Divorce Corp when I was kind of watching it is not the custodial bear or you know the custodial bear or battle between fuck battle between parents that's going to happen it wasn't it, the thing that bothered me the most was the fact that judges and lawyers and experts have relationships they're not disclosed at the start it's this you donate to me i donate to you and then i get to choose you as the evaluator in this case and you get paid an absurd amount of money and if we find out that either the husband or the wife uh, has a you know liquid assets if they own something if they have money that we can get our hands on then we're going to charge them you know what it, it, it could the fees were ridiculous it went from 7500 to 11000 to 30000 to 50000 in some cases so you've got this judge who says we need to get a child evaluator or custody evaluator into the home so we're going to charge you to hire that person but i as a judge i'm going to tell you who to choose right and so it, they had specific uh, instances of this happening so the evaluator goes in and then they make a ruling. But the thing is, the evaluator, as it turns out, knows a couple of the lawyers on one of the sides. And, you know, then you look into it deeper and they've been making contributions to the judicial campaigns. And it's just a clusterfuck. It's ridiculous. The family courts are ridiculous. If that if that documentary is accurate in any way, um, then it's a clusterfuck of a situation. Have I ever blocked someone? No. Um, I don't block them on Twitter and I don't block them on YouTube. I don't see what the point is. If somebody's going to post something. Somebody's going to post something. Why would you? It's the fucking internet. You know. <laughs> oh no! Somebody said something I don't like. I need to block them now. I don't. I don't get that. Um, that's my situation. That's that's how I am. Like, I, I guess. I mean, you look at somebody like what is it? Why? How do you mean block them? I don't block anybody in any way, really, at all. Uh, but if you're talking about people like closing off comment sections and shit like that. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe they have the reasons. I know like uh, Total Biscuit does. I think PewDiePie does now too. But I have no idea. I, I, I Like in PewDiePie's case, what has he got? 20 fucking million subs or some crazy goddamn number like that? And I guess at this time, like at this point, he's probably trying to drown out the sound. But how does that even really affect him? It doesn't. It's just people typing shit. What's the point of blocking people? How does Jamal's dick taste? I don't know. Uh, I haven't been allowed that privilege yet. Uh, us cucks don't get to demand things. What is this? Uh, do you think Anita will be the cause of her own downfall? Of course. And these people, uh, SJWs are usually their own worst enemy uh, throughout the entirety of Gamergate, even before it, really. Uh, like, look at people like, um, what was that chick's name? The one who did Cancel Colbert. Was that Suey Park? Or what was the fucking name? I can't remember, but yeah, they, they usually push it to the point of even their own supporters think they're crazy. And I think Anita might be getting close to that point. Um, McIntosh sure as shit is. A lot of them uh, uh, basically are. Oh, uh, fuck. Am I hitting a bong? No, I'm lighting a cigarette. Check Twitter. I don't know why I checked Twitter, but all right. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, there are a couple questions on there, but I'm not informed on a shit ton of stuff. So, Chop Suey. <laughs> yeah, that was their name, Suey Park. Yeah, I did do a video on her, but it was about a year ago at this point, and I fuck, I can't remember her name off the top of my head. What do I think of NeoGAF? I think NeoGAF is shit. I've said that consistently. It's uh, a joke of a website. I'm, I'm trying to pick out questions here. Sorry for the fucking moments of silence. One of my smoking camel cigarettes is the VP of that company. I'm uh, contractually obligated to smoke camel cigarettes. Thoughts on SJ, or SJW Patreons? Oh, they're rolling in money. Are you kidding me? They make so much money hustling it back and forth to each other and their victim complexes. It's a lucrative business for them. All they have to do is scream oppression and harassment and somebody's sending them a check. Uh, it's fucking ridiculous. Especially considering, doesn't Patreon have uh, policies now about who can have uh, Patreons open or not? Uh, people have been kicked off of it, and some of the people that are still on it is bizarre to me. I don't understand. Am I a rapist? Uh, no, I'm not. Pick my question. Sure, why not? What is the origin of Glad I Could Help? It's just bullshit we used to say on Medicare. Talk about Sweden, you shit lord. What is there to say about Sweden that hasn't already been said at this point? It's just ever downwards with Sweden. When the country's on fire, I'll talk about it again. So give it a year. Jim, are you Sweden? No, I'm not. Console or PC? I went out and bought a Wii U. Um, and I bought a PS4. I played the Wii U um, for Monster Hunter 3 and Smash Brothers. Stuff like that. Wonderful 101. And I had a good time. It was okay. But I haven't really touched it since then. Uh, the PS4 basically was Bloodborne. Uh, I regret the PS4, to be honest. Because there's just not a lot to play on it. Um, the Wii U, I probably would have held off on, too. I just... I, I guess at my core, I'm just a PC gamer at this point. There are just more games. There's more you can do with the games you have. You have... It's not... It doesn't cost as much. Um, yeah, I prefer PC. What are my thoughts on Jim Sterling? I don't really have any thoughts on him at this point. I haven't, I haven't been paying attention to Jim Sterling. I couldn't tell you. I don't know what he's been doing. People, uh, yeah, you, uh, I see people asking me to talk about Jim Sterling. I don't know what I... Uh, what, what would you like me to talk about in relation to Jim Sterling? How much money is he making on Patreon? Uh, get Bayonetta 2. Uh, that's one of the games that I wanted to get the Wii U for, was Bayonetta 2. Thoughts on Monday, Matt? Uh, if you jump back about 15 minutes, uh, you'll hear my thoughts on Monday, Matt. This chat is too fast. Uh, it's going by uh, pretty quick, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of Moot leaving 4chan? Who? Oh, I see 10K coming up. Jim Sterling is making $10,000 a month. Oh, that's right. If I, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 he is, isn't he? He's making $120,000 a year on Patreon. And Patreon's cut is what, 5%? And then I'm guessing for your federal and state taxes, you kind of want to hold back about 20% when you report your income. So, ah, oh, fucking hell. So just say $90,000 after taxes and everything else is cut out of it. That is a ridiculous amount of money to be making for somebody who produces videos on the internet. Just absurd. But people will pay for stupid shit. If somebody's going to pay money for it, what can you do? But $120,000 a year to make videos on the internet is dumb. Talk about my dick. Okay, Raul. Uh, Urbina. I'll talk about your dick. Oh, anyway. Uh, moot, moot leaving 4chan. 
Yeah, uh, it, it seems like he was preparing it or getting it ready to be bought out by somebody. I, I don't know who. What is Reddit's uh, parent company again? Uh, I used to know this off the top of my head, but it'll probably. I, I don't know. I think he made a site that was really popular, and then went to venture capitalists and got money to try sites that he could do commercially that were different than 4chan, and none of them worked out. Now he had a, a, an interesting app for was it the iPhone, the kids drawing thing which seemed like it could have made money. But um, for whatever reason, it just wasn't as successful as, it didn't do as well as they wanted it to do. And I think it pissed him off. It pissed him off that the thing he didn't really make money off of was doing really well, and the things he wanted to make money off of never went anywhere. And so you throw in the influence of people like his girlfriend and people he would have met through the venture capitalists and all these different conventions and the XOXO fest and shit like that. And he reached a point where he's like, fuck it. I'll just uh, I'll I'll step back, clean it up, and sell it off. I think that's where it's going. That's my thought. I don't know. Your birthday is tomorrow. Well, happy birthday. Do I have GTA Five on the PC? No, I don't. Uh, I played it on the PS4. Uh, beat the game and was pretty much done with it. I mean, GTA Five is a fun game, but once I ran through it, I didn't really see a reason to keep it or play it again or want to get it on the PC. I mean, yeah, they'll have a lot of cool shit on it and people will mod it and make it better, but uh, I, don't, I don't really have an urge to run out and rebuy it just to play it on the PC. I'd rather play something else. <laughs> thoughts on the Young Turks? Why do people... Uh, I've given my thoughts before on the Young Turks. I watched them... Uh, it seems like six or seven years ago. And at first I thought uh, Sank was kind of interesting. I mean, I liked some of their videos, but the more shit I watched, the more I started disagreeing with a lot of his opinions. Um, and fuck, once you, start or once you start browsing poll and boards like that, you start to dislike the Young Turks a lot more. But um, I, I don't know. It's just a lot of his shit. He, he tries to put himself off as kind of like, I'm talking about Sank Uger. He tries to put himself off as somebody who's you know for the little guy and uh, you know anti-corporation anti-corruption but then you watch some of his videos and they're just some really uninformed stupid shit and I get a lot of crap for my Eurocentrism video uh, or Euroscepticism video and uh, stuff like that and they're like oh you don't you don't understand you don't you know understand the issue enough oh you know but that pales in comparison to some of the videos that the Young Turks have put out Turks did Armenians. <laughs> Apparently, TYT are the left's Fox News from Devil's Advocate. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, I know Sank tried to go to MSNBC, and he had a show on there for a while, but from what I understand or from what I've heard, he wasn't able to... And I don't, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not shitting on him for this. I can understand this to a degree. He just wasn't really good at reading off a teleprompter. He was more comfortable doing it live. Uh, and so that kind of fell through, or at least I think that fell through. I don't know if they're still on MSNBC or not. Uh, no, not centrism. I'm sorry. I meant skepticism. Talk about pissed Pedro. Uh, assert uh, individual, right? Mr. Seven Dollars. What? Do you, I don't know what you want me to talk about in relation to uh, in relation to, to him. You're gonna you're gonna have to be more specific. Who's my favorite porn star? Fuck, I don't know. Whoever I'm looking at at the moment, I don't really have a favorite porn star. I mean, the internet kind of fucked that up, didn't it? It's not like you go out and buy DVDs and VHS tapes anymore. It's just you go to a fucking website, look up a subject, and get your rocks off. So it's really whoever you're looking at, I guess. $7 Sanchez. <laughs> I love the fucking names. Those threads are the best, by the way, where they put a picture of Joe up and then they say, what's his name again? Because the fucking replies are always entertaining. Now, I see people asking about the uh, that guy with the glasses. Uh, a couple of people, too, brought up on Ask FM saying, oh, you should do a video on that. 
that would be a massive fucking undertaking. Like somebody like Linkara, just Linkara alone would be a fucking hour long video. Um, the shit that was found in that, those threads where they dug up Linkara's past were some of the funniest shit I've seen in years. Like the stuff, the stuff that guy had all over the internet was pretty fucked up. It was pretty fucking entertaining. So a, a video like that would be uh, madness. Is your name James O'Shaughnessy? Again, if you scroll back, it would have been maybe 20 minutes ago. I talk about that too. I've got like 18 docs out there at this point. Uh, enraged Enrique, Angry Jose, Grumpy Guacamole. Yep. Am I Ben Garrison? No, I'm not. And I don't like to say his name out loud because I'm afraid he'll find me if I do. He's like Bloody Mary. If you say his name too many times, he's going to come bust through your roof and murder you for not being pure breed enough. Do I go to cow? Yes, I do. I browse cow. But I don't go into their IRC. I've seen a couple of threads where people are like, oh, he comes into the IRC. I don't go into any IRCs. I haven't used IRC in f uh, five, six, seven years. So if you see somebody in there saying they're me, it's not. <laughs> Am I Jim Sterling? No, I'm not. Tell you a story, uh, maybe later. We'll see. We'll see how the stream goes. I'm just trying to trying to answer questions as we go along here. A lot of notice me, senpais. Yes, I I notice you, but your name went by so quickly, I, I didn't catch it. I read your statement though. Talk about Brianna Wu. What what am I going to say about Brianna Wu that hasn't fucking been said uh, a thousand times? That game looks atrocious. Uh, Brianna, he seems insane. Um, what it, His husband got four Hugo Awards, was it? For fan art or some stupid shit? I, I don't know. Brianna Wu is, seems like a head case to me. Stop being a faggot and give you a kiss. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I'm holding out for Milo. Waiting for the day when he returns. Thoughts on gold diggers on YouTube? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Are you talking about, are, are people actually using YouTube as a, a social networking site to get dates? Or are you talking about people that are... <laughs> are you talking about people that are just hustling for money? Am I drunk yet? No. I'm working my way there, though. Uh, where's the video? Late as usual. This, uh, this stream is my amends for that. I'll try to have it up next week. What are my preferred pronouns? Listen, the best way around that stupid shit is to use uh, me, myself, and I. Then when people shit talk you for mocking them about using preferred pronouns, they sound like they're insulting themselves. Me is a retard. I is stupid. Uh, myself, or, I don't even know how you'd say that one, but yeah, me, myself, and I. It makes them look fucking retarded. Drinking is for degenerates. I don't know about that. I mean, I am a smoker already, so it's kinda, I'm kind of fucked, right? What am I going to do? Do I like or visit Funny Junk? Is that what you mean by FJ? Uh, Funny Junk was one of the only sites when Gamergate started that let anybody talk about it. Funny Junk is one of the only sites that really kind of lets you talk about whatever the fuck you want, uh, as far as I know. Seems like a decent site to me. Yeah, I like Funny Junk, sure. I don't I don't use it, because um, I, I, I really don't use a lot of sites, to be honest, but it's a good site. Thoughts on Sargon being a multiculturalist liberal cuck? Um, are you talking about the Pakistani thing? Uh, I, see, I need more details on that. I've seen a couple of people ask me, or they half told me what the fuck will, will happen with that, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Marlboro Reds are for pussies. Uh, let me just look at through finding the question here. Are you asking me what I think about V? I, I've said before I browse uh, pull V, fit, and K. Um, occasionally I'll go to uh, it's TG for a couple of threads. Um, I'll go to TV for Linkara threads because I always find those funny. <laughs> Karkov is juice fed. No, it's paint thinner. That's why I like it. It's fucking cheap. It gets the job done. It's what liquor should be. Quick and dirty. Uh, do I smoke pot? I have occasionally. I haven't in a long time. Um, yeah. Thoughts on MLP pissing off SJWs? It's always entertaining. Whether it's the uh, the show with that equality episode, or whether it's um, the fan base. Is Hot Wheels my senpai? No, he's not. I, I don't have a senpai. Just like I don't have a waifu. Been been over this before. <laughs> Jim, do you masturbate to children's cartoons? Uh, no, I do not. What happened to Mama Kay? Uh, last I heard, her son got taken away and moved in with uh, his father, and she is being batshit insane somewhere in Canada. I don't know. I should do a follow-up on that sometime. Look in to see what she's doing. It really pisses me off when I originally wanted to do the uh, video on that. Yeah, people flagged her videos because they wanted to do the right thing, but flagging her videos took down all this great content, like her yelling at her dying mother in the hospital, um, trying to take baths with her son, just really creepy, bizarre shit, and she put it all up on YouTube, and YouTube never took it down. Thoughts on the Calgary Expo? Are you talking about the people that got ejected? Was that the Honey Badgers? Oh, it seems fucking retarded they'd get ejected. Um, I'm not I'm not completely up on that. I don't know all the details. All I know is they had a poster up about Gamergate or ethics or something to that effect and got kicked out for it, and they cited some bullshit relating to their convention policies, but it seems like crap. They shouldn't have been ejected. That's my understanding. I don't know. I could be completely wrong about this. I, I'm not 100%. I'm not up on it. <laughs> Jim, do you take baths with your son? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have a son, so there's nobody to take a bath with. What are Jews not behind, according to Paul? Oh... Jews would not be behind, uh, you know, I, I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> According to Paul, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Though with those Sony email leaks, um, yeah, uh, and then I saw a thread earlier today too about, what was it, they were, they were talking about some group of dedicated chills for some kind of PR firm, uh, but I haven't had a chance to read it. I, it was actually kind of interesting looking. Uh, Ramsey Pohl, uh, yeah, I've watched his videos before. He, he was linked a lot on Pohl back on 4chan, and I think he occasionally gets put up on 8chan, too. I've watched his videos. I like him. If what's my fursona? I don't have one. Sorry. Thoughts on Nigel Farage? Uh, I, what What do you want to know? I, like, I covered it in the um, Euroskepticism video. Or, God, what the hell was the term? I can't fucking remember it now. I feel like I'm going autistic here. 409 hours of Ace of Spades is going to do that to you. It's going to make you a little fucking retarded. Do, do I use jazz hands instead of clapping? Uh, no. No, I, I clap. That's the American thing to do. We all do. We're taught at birth to do that. It's how you respond to anything. Now let me jump. I'm going to jump over to Twitter and see if anybody's asking anything over there. Because chat's going by really fucking quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, again, people talking about the uh, Calgary Expo. 
you gave me more details on it. Uh, I, I think what I what I've heard, and I think my understanding of it is pretty accurate. And if what I understand is right, it's complete bullshit. <laughs> what triggers me? Nothing triggers me. Well, with the exception of a Colt twenty two. Yeah, because my my trigger warning is trigger because my father was shot to death. It's uh, very tragic. Thoughts on Anna Akana's rape video? I have no idea what you're talking about. Do I ever go to the deep web? What the fuck is the deep web? Just because you use Tor doesn't mean you've gone to some super secret fucking club on the internet. I, I like I like how people treat that like that though. Like, oh my god, if you're using Tor, you're some elite fucking uh, internet user. It's like you, you get a little badge or something because you installed software to uh, use onion links. <laughs> fucking deep web. That's cute. Uh, go to Ask FM. All right, I'll swing over there, see if anybody's asking something. Make a video about Sweden. Uh, not not uh, not interested. Will you ever redo your old Tumblrism after rape culture feminism and Homestuck? No, there's no point. I mean, why redo them or why redo the same videos again? I mean, once you've covered it, you've covered it. Uh, which is a better investment? Paying a few thousand dollars to a Nigerian prince in hopes of getting a few million dollars or donating to Ben Garrison's legal defense fund? Obviously donating to Ben Garrison's legal defense fund. Uh, uh, because he'll kill you if you don't. Jim, would you go back to GG if you feel it gets its shit together? Uh, no, no, I walked away from GG. GG's doing its own thing. Do you have a link to the funny Linkara stuff that was found on the internet? Um, I don't have the archive link on me right now. And not like offhand, I can't pull it up in uh, bookmarks, but I'm sure somebody in the chat will link it to you. When is the video coming out? I will get my ass on it. What is your opinion on Windows 10? I'm still using Windows 7. I'm, I'm, I have no interest in fucking constantly switching OSs. Uh, there, there's no point. Why change the operating system all the time? I'd still be using XP if I could get away with it. Do I read Homestuck or something? No, I don't. Can you have my Skype? Uh, no, you know, I tried that before. I tried having a Skype, and then the same thing with Steam happened, where I was rarely on it, or when I was on it, you know, I was trying to manage it and talk to a bunch of people. If you have something you want to ask me, or if you want to talk, just go to Ask FM, or I don't know hammer me in a fucking stream like you're doing right now. I'm pretty quiet when it comes to Skype. I basically bullshit with Andrew and a few other people, and that's about it. Why is chat so leggy? I have no idea. What's my Sonic OC? Ah, uh, I don't know. It's so hard to choose. Now oh, somebody's linking the Anna Akana video. I'll have to look at it later, or, or check it out when I have some time. Guess on later. Uh, no, I'm not doing guess. Sorry. What do you think of Boogie two nine eight eight at this point? I I don't know. What has he been doing lately? Like I haven't been paying attention to what Boogie's really been up to. I don't know what he's been up to lately. So I don't really have any thoughts. Oh, Shadva or Shadvik the shit hog. There you go. Thoughts on GTA Five? I thought it was a good game, but. Yeah, I played through it, I beat it, and there wasn't really any point in playing it anymore after that. 
Am I looking forward to C to 2015? Of course. Everybody likes a good laugh at people that can't debate. What's my opinion on meth? It's a hell of a drug. Does my software respect my freedom? Of course it doesn't. No software or really hardware at this point does, aside from a few, <laughs> a few very specific things, which anybody on G could tell you about. Uh, pretty much anything you're using now is fucked, so you might as well deal with that nightmare. Thoughts on Ego Raptor? I have no thoughts on Ego Raptor. I haven't been paying attention to him either. Talk about Noah Antweiler. I, I've seen a couple of things uh, Antweiler's posted on Twitter, I guess, but I used to watch Spoonie's videos back in the day. Um, I liked them, a couple of them. I mean, I didn't have any problem with them. But he seemed to have, I don't know what the fuck happened to him. Maybe it's his girlfriend or, I don't know, but he kind of became SW or SJW Light, I guess. Call this number. <laughs> yeah, I'll jump right on that. Did I see Sargon harassing his baby? I have no idea what you're talking about. Have I played Rayplay? I've never played Rayplay. Extra credits have no fucking interest in watching that shit. Am I prepared for the happening? Nobody is. You can never prepare for the happening. Who's Haberman? Uh, if you scroll back, you'll hear the backstory on that. Jump back over to Ask FM here real quick. Chat's kind of going by a little quicker than I expected. Fuck. Okay. People are posting phone numbers. That's nice. Thoughts on Chris Chan? Chris Chan uh, was more entertaining when he was making his comics and was being goaded into. Like, Chris Chan was entertaining when he was doing his fucking YouTube videos that seemed he was putting them out every day with this captain's log shit and then was making the Sonichu comic and just having his own little adventures. And then it seemed like he was kind of, I, I don't know, it seemed like people pushed him too much maybe, and it made him not as fun or funny to watch anymore for, for a long time. Uh, and then the whole Sonic Arms thing happened, and it was kind of like good old Chris Chan again. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen with him, but uh, it'll be interesting to see. Didn't they, put, they put off his court date, if I remember right, till next month, is it? So I, I, don't, I don't know how fucked he is. Would you do prank calls on stream? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Is Patreon hipster welfare? I wish they would have called the service webfare. That's what it is. It's, uh, you know, it's webfare. But uh, right now it kind of seems like it is. Again, I don't have problems with people having Patreons. It just seems like a lot of people that do have them either produce really shit content or don't produce anything at all and really don't seem to have any reason to be asking for money on Patreon. Um, or they're getting absurd amounts of money for doing nothing. It's just weird. People will waste money on the stupidest shit. Have I done the sex? Yes, I have. <laughs> Am I Officer Darren Wilson? No, I'm not. Is YouTube too money-focused now? Um, yeah, it's getting there. I mean, YouTube originally was just a place to fucking dump video content, put up your own home movies and... Uh, yeah, it, it used to be very different. Now everything's commercialized and has ads slapped all over it, and it kind of sucks the fun out of it. Yeah, I think it's getting too, I think it's getting too money focused. Do you plan to shut down your channel again if you get too e famous? If so, what is your mindset mindset on e fame? Um, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't even know what the fuck e fame is really. It's somebody that has a lot of subscribers, I guess or somebody that gets a lot of attention online. Uh, I just, I don't like it. Um, and I don't like having a large audience, which is why I shut down my channel. What's my opinion on guns? Love them. Am I an Aspie? No, I'm not. Uh, let me 
refresh chat here. Froze up on me. Keep that muted. Pause that. Uh, why is this freezing up on me? Oh, there we go. Am I a manlet? No, I'm not. I'm 5'11", 6 foot. Well, I mean, by fit standard, I'd be a manlet. If you're under 7 foot 2, you're a manlet, according to fit. Uh, check Twitter or ask. I, I've been doing that off and on. I'll take a look at Twitter again in a second. Can you call me Jimmy? Feel free to. Is Lankara gay? Now that is the million dollar question. I think Lankara is gay. I think he just can't come to terms with it. And I think um, he probably won't be happy until he does. Do I watch Total Biscuit? Uh, yeah, I've watched a couple of his videos on occasion. Yeah. Like, there, like, there's certain videos he does that I find entertaining, yeah. Thoughts on Spagma King? Uh, funny as shit. Books are great. Twitter comments are always fucking great. YouTube videos are great. <laughs> do you like Little Boy Butts Jim? Uh, no, I do not. Where did I bury Jade Fox? In the cornfield. She's out amongst the corn. With the other with the other uh, crops needing harvesting, I couldn't I couldn't really risk it. I had to put her with the corn. Am I a uh, meme master? No, I'm not. Do you think this is a stupid question? Yes. Do I want to touch Cox? Uh, no, I'm sorry. All right, let me pop over to Twitter here. I probably should have had shit prepared, but <laughs> again, I'm so fucking lazy. What do you expect? Oh, yeah, there, okay. There are questions on uh, Twitter. All right, let's see. Let me fuck up everybody's name, because I'm so great at pronouncing shit. Waste Dith. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Wasted Yeth? <laughs> I don't know. You know who you are. What's your opinion, uh, or what's your opinion on downloading cracked games? Eh, I, I, I don't really... I don't pirate, to be honest. Um, I'm one of those retards that pays full price. Shame on me, right? Uh, the only games that I've really downloaded are like ISOs and ROMs of really old shit or really obscure shit that you just can't find. Um, like I wanted to play Guilty Gear Online, uh, and this is before all the shit went up on Steam. I don't even know if that really can be played online on Steam. I don't think it can, but uh, yeah. So the Japanese version, for whatever reason, had it so you could actually do that. You could play multiplayer online, but the American didn't. So there's no way I'm going to get a hold of a fucking PC copy of the game. That's something... I, I download it, that kind of stuff. But for the most part, I just, I, I buy my games. That's why I wish more people put out demos. I think part of the thing with like downloading crack games and pirating and shit like that, if you put out demos and people could play the fucking game, they they might be more, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I, I just, I miss demos, I guess is what I'm saying. This is unrelated to your question. <laughs> Do I want to... When? Do you want to fuck the green M&M from Roy Mustang? Uh, no, I don't. No, I'm sorry. Craft more Steam badges or delete people that haven't been on in 100 days so you can have more friends. Uh, I, I've tried that. And then I get angry messages from people saying, why did you delete me? I, I, my Steam video, I still stand by it. Fuck it. Having to pay 20 cents to get another person to add, you know, what was it? 20 cents per person is what I think the breakdown was. Is fucking stupid. But the people were right. Having too many friends probably was retarded on my point or my part, because uh, I can never get into multiplayer with enough people. And then when I do get on, I'll get like a thousand fucking messages in a game, which is always entertaining. But yeah, I saw somebody too post a screen cap of this was fucking funny. Where is it? If you go to my Steam profile and look at uh, previous usernames, <laughs> you'll see a bunch of shit uh, just trashing on King of Pole. But what people don't understand is. When King of Pole would do a live streams on like Hitbox playing Steam games, he doesn't turn off his notifications. So I changed my name to like King of Pole is gay, and then I changed an application on my desktop to something absurd like Red Pill My Ass Really Hard, and then I'd constantly go in and out of it. 
so what would end up happening is on his stream while people are watching, it would pop up and say, King of Pull is gay, red pill my ass really hard over and over and over and over again. And he's so oblivious, he never noticed it. I could do it like fucking a thousand times. Or at least until people on my friends list yelled at me enough to tell me, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, long time no see, Jim. What have you been up to in the past few months from uh, Emmer? Hey, Emmer. Uh, not much, man. Uh, just the same dumb bullshit, same day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, let's see. Stream question. Opinion on Finland and the recent elections there. I haven't been paying attention. I've been kind of caught up in a few things. Uh, my private life, so I've kind of been off and on, man. What are your thoughts on the destruction of the traditional family values and how it will affect Western civilization? Probably not good. I'm, I'm going to say probably not going to end up well. What do you think about Sargon of Akkad and Nero saying GG is one? I haven't been keeping up with GG, so I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what the, what the criteria for winning is or what they would consider a victory. Uh, is Gawker bankrupt? Is Nick Denton in the street? Have all the journalists been fired or held accountable? I mean, were those like the, were those the bars or were those the limits that were set? Um, I don't know. I don't know what's, I don't know what's transpired for the most part. So I couldn't tell you whether it's an accurate statement or not. And I'm probably the wrong person to ask. How long till someone uses Patreon to launder drug money and the Fed shut it down? I'm going to guess that's probably happening right now. Do you want to play video games? I always want to play video games, Mark. If you could have more than one dick, how many would you have? As many as humanly fucking possible. As many as my heart could support. Will I buy, play Final Fantasy XV? Uh, yeah, that I will play. That, that's one of the other things I've been looking forward to. What do you think of Paul Blart 2? I have no fucking idea who would have greenlit that piece of shit. I, 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 the first movie didn't even do that well, did it? It was such a horrible fucking movie. At least it'll make for a good uh, episode of Half in the Bag. That's the only thing that I can say I'm thankful for as far as Paul Blart 2 is concerned, is it will make a good Half in the Bag episode. Why do I care so much about the internet? Uh, I don't know. You mean making videos? It's what I do as a hobby. It's fun. Are you talking about like shit posting on Twitter or on image boards? Again, it's entertainment. Final Fantasy 15 will be gay as shit, though. You're probably right. But hey, I like Final Fantasy 12, and nobody else does. We play Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yes, I will. Will you play Deus Ex Mankind Divided? I don't know. I mean, I've seen a little bit of, uh, like, uh, like, the what was it, the leaked screens or whatever magazine covered it. I don't know. I, I saw screenshots of it. Eh, maybe. Was it you shitposting on the IA accounts? Uh, depends which ones you mean. Um, the Like, the Twitter account, the YouTube account, was pretty much me throwing it off to a couple of different people who wanted to fuck around with it because I really didn't care at that point. Or are you talking about like other YouTube channels or uh, you'd have to be more specific. Jim, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Jeremy. You want me to say this really bad, don't you? I hear, holy shit, gooks did it. There you go. Uh, oh, I hope you're happy. Favorite Final Fantasy game? Final Fantasy Tactics. Not even really a Final Fantasy game. Type Zero is pure garbage. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't played Type Zero. I was kind of uh, interested in actually playing it. How is the feet calendar? Are you talking about... Um, oh, what the fuck was that guy's name? Yeah, see, on Medicare, we'd have different threads on different people. And there was this one guy. <laughs> There's this one guy who had a YouTube account. 
where he'd, he'd make his own game shows and then star as the host and the contestants. It was really, really bizarre shit. Um, but he also had uh, a photo studio. And if you go to his photo studio, his website, he'd be like, I can, I can you know, take your picture. I can put together calendars for you. But then when you looked at all his photo sets and all the pictures he took, it was nothing but feet. The man obviously had a massive fetish, but he couldn't admit it. So I made a bunch of Michael Tiller. That's what it was. Michael Tiller. So I made a bunch of videos mocking him. I don't know if he's still making foot calendars, but I'm sure if you look him up, he might be able to hook you up. Uh, he's also done some amazing, amazing artistic work like Hand on Hip and Bridge. Oh, uh, let's see. People talking about Bravely Default. I've only started playing that a little bit on the DS or 3DS, whatever. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how good it's going to be. Do you own any older consoles? Uh, occasionally. I, I owned a, a few. Like if you looked up, I used to have, what the fuck was it, Backlog account? Backloggery or whatever the site was. I owned a lot of shit, um, a lot of the older consoles, but, you know, college is expensive, so I sold a lot of them. What's the new video going to be on? Uh, you'll have to wait and see. It's going to be a Hogbox one, though. <laughs> going to go back to Twitter here. If your if your dick cured cancer and your mom had it and you could only save her by fucking her in the ass, would you do it? No, I wouldn't. That's just no, I wouldn't. I'd I'd wish her a fond farewell, but I would not uh, I would not use that power to fuck my mother in the ass. I'm sorry. Uh, Leigh Alexander got fired. And now she's poor and runs a site nobody goes to. So there's that for a GG victory. Well, I'm glad. Um, she got fired. I'm glad she got fired. Fuck Leigh Alexander. Why not embrace your e-fame? Obviously, people like you. Eh, I think people watch videos I do on occasion and come by streams to shitpost, but I wouldn't say that's e-fame. Uh, also, do me a favor. Call Ralph a faggot. Uh, Ralph, you're a faggot. There you go, Mark. What's your opinion on John Hank Green? Uh, I know one of them is like a fucking SJW. I can't remember which one at this point. How many EDS ones does it take to sell out of McDonald's? Just the one. Which is why we talked about sending her horse feed. It's a, another story for another day. <laughs> Sex with a clone, is it gay or a form of masturbation? How about, what is that fucking movie uh, that... The one where the guy, it, it, the movie's plot is, it's a hermaphrodite who travels back in time and fucks himself and makes a baby. So he's his own father and own lover. So you tell me, is that gay I, or form of masturbation? It's the dumbest, it's, it's yeah, time-traveling masturbation. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but apparently that's a movie now. Thank you, Hollywood. It's a... Uh, that's what I needed. Have I seen any good cows worth of milking lately? Uh, yeah. Yeah, a couple. Do me a favor too. Call yourself a fag. I am a faggot. There you go. How did Hayrimen become such a huge faggot? It's Tumblr. That's the only explanation I can come up with. He was one way and then started using that website and then became a completely different way. The only thing I can point to is Tumblr. The movie is called Looper? No. 
<clears throat> uh, it's not it's not Looper. It's a newer one. I I actually made like a fake a fake poster for it too. I just can't remember the name off the top of my head. Who's my favorite serial killer? Oh shit! I don't know. I'd I'd have to give that one some thought. Yeah, Tumblr mind control. That's that's what I would consider it. Jim, my ex girlfriend is an SJW. What should I do? Consider yourself lucky that it's an ex girlfriend and not a current one. That's what I would do. Thoughts on SMT XFE trailer? I haven't seen it yet. Link it in the chat and I'll I'll take a look. Invite Sargon? Nope. Not uh, not having any guests on. Sorry. I'm doing this like I used to do the uh, shitlord streams. Just me talking like an idiot in chat, saying ridiculous shit. <laughs> Invite on Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, that would be quite the fucking feat. Uh, I I don't know if I could uh, I I don't know if I could get him. I'd have to invent a time machine. How sexy is your avatar? I don't know. Uh, it's a tiny little fucking box at this point. Thoughts on Unfriended? Isn't that that dumb fucking movie about somebody getting unfriended on Facebook and then murdered for it? I, I'm almost certain somebody did a shitty uh, independent college budget fucking YouTube video that that was the exact fucking premise of. They stole that movie idea from somebody's YouTube account. Uh, say Turkey is a faggot country from Leader Revolution. Okay. Turkey is a faggot country. There you go. The movie, oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Predestination is the name of the, the movie I'm talking about. The one where the, the person goes back in time, fucks himself, and then and then creates himself, and then raises the baby. In some, It's really fucking weird. Do I have a fedora? No, I don't. Yeah, predestination. How did I choose my major? Uh, I chose the major I thought I would enjoy and then found out that I didn't really enjoy it because the thing I was going to do with my degree ended up being broken and corrupt. So I ended up going to the university I was attending and told them I quit. And I took my credits and got probably the gayest degree you could get without having to complete uh, the thing I was going to college for. That's a that's another longer story for a different stream. Do I own a dragon dildo? Uh, no, I don't. Pop over to Ask FM here. See if we've got anything over there. Damn it! I should have. Why do you like Ace of Spades so much? Uh, I've noticed people say this, and I, I think it's true. Some people say they like my videos because it's white noise. You know how when you want something on in the background but you don't really want to pay attention to it. You just want something you can occasionally look up and go, oh yeah, huh, I get it. And then go back to what you're doing. That's like white noise. Um, that's what Ace of Spades is to me. So when I want to play a video game, but I can't really think of a specific title I want to play, I play Ace of Spades. It's like my white noise. It's white noise the video game. I can go and play classic Capture the Flag for fucking hours and not even realize it. Because it's just, it's, I zone out. I completely fucking zone out. Uh, do you have a Netflix account? If yes, have you seen House of Cards? I have not seen House of Cards. Why do people discriminate against pedophiles, Jim? I don't know. But I think social justice warriors should make that their new campaign. I think uh, they need to focus on inclusivity. So we'll see if they, uh, if they address that in the future. Will you do an interview with us? It's just a drunken interview. We can do it now or later or any time. Um, yeah, I, hit me up with uh, some details, and I'll, I'll do a drunken interview with you. Might be entertaining. Since you're independent of the whole GGAGG thing now, do you plan on starting something more SJW-only focused? You seem like a guy. You seem like the guy to start something like that. 
Um, I just like making fucking videos. So I, I don't have any specific plans other than making videos. Jim, uh, jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Well, there we go. It's the thermite that does it. Would you, would you sell a child for a million dollars? No, I wouldn't. Favorite video game? I, I get asked that, and it's a different answer every fucking time. And the more games you play, the harder it is to answer that, because you're always going to have something pop up in the back of your head later on that you're like, shit, I should have gone with that. Like, when I think of games that I really liked, uh, I really liked Ace Combat um, up until a point. Uh, like The PS2 games are really good. I liked a lot of them, actually. Uh, I liked Front Mission 4. It was a really good game. Final Fantasy Tactics was a really good game. Uh, Vagrant Story was enjoyable. And, and see, that's a problem. I could start listing off shit. I can't pick a favorite game. It's just, there are too many. There are too many good games. It's just a shame that a lot of them are, at this point, uh, five to ten years old or older. How many Amiibos do you own? I'm not retarded. Why would I own Amiibos? I, I, this is what I don't get. I understand what Nintendo is going for. They saw the Skylander thing and they thought, oh, hey, shit, we can make a fuck ton of money selling Nintendo figurines that have minimal interactivity with our games to people that like to shit money out for nothing. So we'll make little plastic statues that they can swipe across their Wiimote or their gamepad or whatever the fuck and, you know, make, make cash. It's a money printing machine. But the problem is... It has no appeal to me. Like, I get it. Okay, maybe you collect figurines. Maybe you're, like, into toys and shit, so you buy them fine, but I'm not buying them. The, what What does that do? It's like, what is my Amiibo going to do? It's not going to fucking do anything. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a fucking flashcard. It's a flashcard with the shell of a character on the outside. Would you fuck a trap? Uh, no, I would not. Oh, and ask if I'm shit the brick on me. What the fuck? <laughs> Thoughts on CGR? You're talking about classic game room? Uh, Mark is in, in Mark. I think is the guy's name. If I remember right, classic game or game room is great. Uh, their really old stuff is good. His stuff is good. He just He's a guy that likes video games. If you like video games and you like somebody that's fun and laid back and drinks beer and reviews video games, Classic Gamer would be good. Uh, you promised hug ages ago. When are you going to deliver? By next Sunday. Okay, Jim, have you stopped fucking children? You can't stop what you haven't started. Call me a faggot, Jim. Uh, you were a faggot. Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. What podcast do you listen to? I haven't listened to podcasts in a while. Um, God, there was a guy uh, that used to post... Oh, fuck. Let me see if I can... Something reads the internet. Is it Lou reads the internet? Uh, he's, he was a something awful user. Basically what he'd do is he would go into really fucking shitty forums and he would read their posts. Lou reads. Lou reads the internet. Um, that was funny to listen to. I haven't listened to that in a long fucking time. Am I Ken Ashcorp? No, I'm not Ken Ashcorp. I heard he's getting a lot of shit. Somebody was mentioning that he's getting fucking slammed for some reason. I have no idea why. What what Ken Ashcorp has done to get slammed by SJWs, I have no clue. He he made a song. He made his burger song. He made this fucking song before Gamergate ever started. It wasn't ever about Zoe Quinn. It just happened to be really funny, the timing involved. So I don't know why he gets shit for that. Jim, repeat after me, President Paul. President Paul. Fuck ten bucks. 
yes, I understand the hatred for something awful. It's turned into a shithole. I, I've said that time before. Anybody who used something awful can tell you that something awful became a shithole after about, I don't know, 2005, 2006. Um, but then again, I mean, Lotax did allow Gamergate threads for a long fucking time. Because, as he put it, he didn't give a shit one way or the other. He just thought it was dumb, but he didn't really care. Which is more than you can say for somebody like Moot. Moot fucking shut it down, didn't he? Ask FM link. Uh, Ask FM would be the same as all the other accounts, just Mr. Medicare. Uh Repeat after me. I am a glorious faggot. There you go. Ray or Azuka? Uh, neither. I'm not. I'm not touching. Uh, fuck Shinji. Fuck everything. Uh, no. No waifu shit. You're not getting an answer out of me. Transhumanist party of 2016. What in the fuck? Am I autistic? Uh, no, I'm not Batman. Why is Paul always right? When is Paul ever wrong? <laughs> Thoughts on Moot leaving again? I, I talked about that earlier. Sorry, man. If, if you scroll back a little bit on the timeline, you should find it. Can you get a refund for Starbound? I have no idea. I don't know if they do refunds. <laughs> do I like Dindu muffins? <laughs> oh, let's see. Actually, you know what? Fuck. I should check Ask FM, I guess. Uh, well, okay, Ask FM is shitting up on me. Let me try Twitter. That oh, looks like there are one or two questions here. Hey, Mr. Medicare, can you please call me and Black Trick Faggots? Uh, I'm sure you're both faggots. There you go. Yeah, predestination. Okay, all right. Looks like they're older comments. A Bloodborne is a shit. Uh, yeah, I really liked it. I played. Uh, I've been playing it quite a bit actually. Um. I'm trying to think like where it would rank against the other games. Uh, it, it, it's weird, like Demon Souls and Dark Souls. I, I could see you argue either either way for which one is superior. I like them both a great deal. Dark Souls Two, I didn't like very much at all. Um, Bloodborne, I'd say is like it's behind Demon Souls and Dark Souls, but it's definitely way above Dark Souls Two. Um, it's just it's a fun game. It's a really 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 fun game. It was well worth the money. Bloodborne was well worth the money. Yes, yeah, shitposting is strong in the chat. And would you have it any other way? Makes the chat more entertaining. Do I suck dicks? No, I do not. How old is my dick? You'll just have to guess. Say Vodka Haze is a faggot. Vodka Haze is a faggot. There you go. What do you think of anti-smoking campaigns? I have no opinion on them. I've seen, what are those truth ads that are fucking ridiculous? They try to make it look like it's a hip-hop party and shit? I've seen some really fucking bizarre anti-smoking campaigns. But that's the American ones. I know, like, uh, in certain countries, they put, like, the horrific pictures on the uh, boxes of cigarettes. So, I, I don't know about that. They haven't done that over here yet. Bloodborne, a.k.a. Lovecraft uh, Souls? Yes. That's essentially what it is, but it's fucking great nonetheless. Okay, I'll repeat that. All I want for Christmas is my PSP, which was the best viral marketing ever created on the internet. Watching some fucking 40-year-old guy in a warehouse with a spring hat on a ladder rapping about PSPs, Sony should be ashamed. That was, what the fuck were they thinking?
Like if you're going to viral market something, at least put some effort into it. All I want for Christmas is my PSP was probably the most embarrassing marketing campaign I've ever seen any company do. And that that's fucking saying something. Thoughts on Adblock? I use Adblock uh, Plus all the fucking time. I use Adblock, NoScript, and Ghostry, but people have been telling me Ghostry is maybe iffy, so maybe I'll stop using that. Am I cut or uncut? I'm cut. You want me to say your name, the GMAC 101? So you're saying Dark Souls 2 was the B team. It's kind of like, um, oh fuck, what was it? Silent Hill. Like how Silent Hill 4 was it? Was the B team kind of thing? What's with the new logo? Why not? Am I a wizard? No, I'm not. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, people were saying something about Ghostry somehow selling your information or gathering some kind of marketing data. I don't know. It could be complete bullshit. I haven't seen it do anything weird, but how the fuck would I know? But yeah, I use Adblock, uh, no script, and Ghostry. Do I want to dock with you? No. I'm sorry. I can see polls in the chat um, based on the answer of saying I was cut. <laughs> Jesus. You missed the wig. Yeah. People seem to like that picture. Again, it was just a costume company. Uh, it was a Halloween costume that went, and I think the company went out of business. It was one of the first results for wig aristocrat on image search. That's why I picked it. And people were talking about the uh, little fucking channel trailer I put up, saying that what music was that? Again, that was like one of the first searches for free music. I am a cheap, lazy asshole. You can usually find the stuff that I use by just doing a simple search for keywords that you would think relate to it. How do you get an Asian girlfriend? You obviously put rice in the middle of a trap, and when one comes by to eat it, you take them home. Eight chan or four chan? Um, I'm mostly on eight chan, but I, I still browse four chan's poll and V. And then you know I like to go to like I said fit and K. I, I use both, at least until moot completely sinks it into the fucking ocean. Am I a lizard alien Jew? No, I'm not. Now if. King of Pole were on, he could elaborate on why you should be afraid of them, but sadly he's not here. Thoughts on health at every size and fat people. I agree with fit as far as the bullshit with health at every size. You're not healthy at every size. If you're out of shape, you're out of shape. Um, that's all there is to it. Uh, the whole fat pride shit and fat shaming stuff is just dumb to me. Yeah, I get it. You're once in a while going to have some person that has some weird fucking medical condition that makes them predisposed to being fat, but that's like one in 10 million people. The majority, the fucking, you know, other 9,999,999 just eat too much shit and don't exercise enough. Eat less and move more and you won't be fat. It's that fucking simple. It really is that fucking simple. I mean, if you're big, I don't give a shit. But don't don't try to tell me that you're healthy because you are, or that I should find it attractive if you weigh 600 pounds. I'm not going to find that attractive. Am I a lolly a lolly com? No, I'm not a lolly com. <laughs> we use fat people to feed the poor. I don't I don't think that would work out as well as you might imagine. Can I pronounce your? Can I pronounce your neck, uh, Matthias? Probably not. I butcher words and names regularly. What do I think of a dose of Buckley? Um, I've seen a couple. I've I've seen some of his videos on YouTube. I know he does like a podcast. If I if I'm right, I think. Um, seems like good stuff. But I haven't watched I haven't watched a lot of his stuff, so I don't know. 
like people ask me shit like what do you think of this person or that person if i haven't watched enough of their stuff i couldn't really tell you avgn movie thoughts didn't that turn out to be a fucking disaster he got a ton of money and then made the world's worst fucking movie and then to top that off didn't all the people there like people who were extras on the set of the movie talked about how shitty it was Uh, Hugbox5, were you laughing at the fact that someone committed suicide or that you didn't believe it? Are, are you kidding me? Don't take shit people write on Tumblr seriously. They're fucking retards. Uh, the people that uh, you know I focus on or the blogs or the posts, the person saying that somebody called them up because they were triggered and killed themselves, no, I didn't believe that for a fucking second. It's the dumbest shit. That's why I was laughing. Because it's just such petty fucking attention whoring. And it just, I can't, that's fucking Tumblr to. Uh, that's the problem with Tumblr. It's just there's it's such massive attention whoring, the the most unique special snowflake. I hate that fucking mentality, and you know they'll always go for the one upsmanship of, oh I'm the most oppressed or I'm the most oppressed, and it usually ends with I'm gonna kill myself or I did kill myself until they pop up a fucking month later or a day later. And act like, oh, well, it didn't really happen, but I've got all these bruises from, you know, trying to off myself by, I, I don't know, the ridiculous methods of suicide. Probably taking a hammer and breaking their bones or some dumb fucking shit. Yeah, and I know people use Tumblr for other stuff. Not all Tumblrs are, are shit, but the website on a whole isn't really that great. Because um, it seems to be fucking just infested with crazy assholes. Would I fuck a Tumblr girl? No way in hell. No way in hell would I fuck a Tumblr girl. What are my thoughts on Quentin? <laughs> yeah. Does this uh, rag smell like chloroform? It absolutely does. Delicious. Yes, you can be a gym, Ken. Knock yourself out. Tumblr is for porn. See, that's what I don't get. Why would you use Tumblr for porn? What what could Tumblr offer that any other porn site couldn't? I, I, I don't... I just... I don't get it. I, maybe... Yeah, I, I, I get that people would look anywhere for porn, but I just don't like Tumblr. I just don't. How old are you? How big is your deck? <laughs> You're just going to have to keep guessing. Just uh, plug away at it. Check Twitter. All right, I'll, give, uh, I'll check Twitter. See if there's any fucking questions over there. It's pretty dead the last time I checked, so. Jim, you seem not to care what you say online, but what's a line you wouldn't even cross? I, I don't know. I haven't... Uh, I, I'll tell you when I come to it, I guess. Uh, Willie, why are you ignoring my ass? Uh, what What have you asked? I haven't been on Twitter in like five, ten minutes, so I'll look and see if I can see something. Uh, do you look more like the logo you have now or the one you had a few weeks ago? Again, that was... Uh, <laughs> you talking about the one people were saying was a fat Mexican? That was Haberman. That was based off Haberman. That wasn't me. Thoughts on Anita Sarkeesian being on Time's Top 100. It makes Time look like a fucking retard. If Anita Sarkeesian is in their Top 100, it's just a fucking joke. Uh, let's see. People in YouTube chat are curious on your thoughts on Stefan Molyneux, if you, or if any, if you know who he is. I don't know much about him. I saw a video that Thunderfoot had done on him. I've heard people occasionally talk about him on poll. The whole defooing thing seems kind of psychotic to me, but I, I don't know enough about Stefan Molyneux to tell you about him. Uh, if Thunderfoot's video was on point, which I, I don't see a reason to doubt the information he put forward, the defooing thing seems really weird. <laughs> Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Shit, Piss, Dark Souls 2. Yeah, I, you know, I might go with that. I really didn't like Dark Souls 2. It felt disconnected. It felt like the entire game world was like, I, I don't know. Dark Souls 2 is just fucking weird on a lot of levels. 
people asking about Filthy Frank, I'm unfamiliar. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Uh, did Zoe Quinn peg Jim Sterling for publicity? <laughs> That's a question for the ages. Uh, thoughts on Doug Walker. Do you think Walker's an SJW? I think Walker's a business... Well, no. Now Walker wouldn't be a businessman. Um, what the fuck is the guy's name? The one who the one who thought Bar Fiesta was a good idea. <laughs> oh, shit. The stuff... I wish I could go into... De Listen. Uh, how do I say this? I, I know somebody that worked with the people uh, at that guy with the glasses. He... he yeah. I, I can't... Again, this is a long time ago. And if I could go into the details of it, that's why the video series would be so long and the episodes would be so long. Because the stories that I found out and the information I found out makes them a bigger joke than what most people know. But as far as Walker being an SJW, I don't know. I, I don't watch enough that guy with the glasses to tell you. A thoughts on Battlefront 3? Hope it's good. I hope I hope Battlefront 3 turns out good. SJW are they all toxic? Don't use the fucking word toxic. Why would you use their language? They come up with this weird language of um well it, it, yeah, that's a thing. I it's just I hate their language. I hate the shit they say. It just it bugs me. And when you start adapting their language, you humor them and make it, them think that it's not completely stupid. Like SRS, uh, you know, shit Reddit says, and Tumblr and SJWs like to use that kind of word seriously. Um, I saw a lot of people use Signal Boost too, which they use a lot. Uh, signal Boost, toxic, privilege, any ism or phobia. I just don't want to use their. I don't want to use their words. It makes me feel dirty. Do I know Helsing nine twenty? You mean uh, Emmer? Yes, I do. I haven't talked to him in a while, but I, I know who he is. I've talked to him before. Thoughts on... Oh, I went by quickly. You're asking me about Kosovo. I, I, that'd be a long conversation that would bore half the stream. Now the fucking chat again is freezing up on me. me. Refresh here. All right, there we go. Yeah, problematic's another one. It's fucking ridiculous. Thoughts on amaz or amazing atheist? Uh, TJ, yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't... I, I don't really watch his videos. I mean, the banana thing and the leaked picture shit was embarrassing for him, and it was funny to laugh about, but I, I, I don't know how he handled it. Like, his reaction to it, I don't know very well. I think he took it well, if I know right, but... I could be wrong. I know he does. Is it Drunken Peasants? Is that the name of his podcast? Again, you, like when people ask me, what do you think of somebody? If I don't watch a lot of their stuff or if I'm not current with them, I wouldn't be able to tell you a, a real decent opinion. So like with Stefan Molyneux or Amazing Atheist or uh, Filthy Frank, that kind of stuff. Like I don't, I don't know enough to be able to give you a decent opinion. Thoughts on Linkara already went over it. Um, Link <laughs> Linkara is that fucking thread was... Uh, was great. Those threads were great when they dug up his past. What do you think of Red Letter Media? Red Letter Media is fucking amazing. Mike and Jay are perfect. It's great. Thoughts on the film? It follows. I haven't been able to, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, a lot of people said that it's really good. I don't know if that's true or not, but I can give it a shot. Watch it. Ellen Powell, uh, I'm doing a video on that, so you'll find out when I put the video out. What the fuck happened to your old account? I shut it down. You have a golden voice. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, and, uh, you know, I probably should address this too because a couple of people have brought it up. Um, somebody on Ask FM had said, would you do voice acting uh, or would you, would you do a voice part for something? Not, 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 well, another person recently asked that just like in the last 10 minutes, but I'm talking like a couple of days ago. Um, no, my voice is okay-ish. Uh, but even that, even if I had the world's best voice, that doesn't mean you can voice act. 
like I have no fucking range. I, if I read lines, it's going to be deadpan. It's going to sound like shit. So to the people that were asking me that a couple days ago, find somebody else because I would fuck up whatever you're trying to work on. What does Medicare mean? Uh, methodical in Turkish is what it means. Did the Goyam know? Uh, Oyve, yes, they did. SJW trading cards? I don't know about that. Uh, you could try to do an SJW game. Uh, you know, some kind of card game where who can be the most offended, maybe? Or you start out with a certain amount of privilege points and you have to get rid of them through various acts of condemning the other players. Just make something where everybody just shits on each other for being the most privileged. Stop calling them social justice warriors. No, they're SJWs. Listen, it gets up their craw. It gets right up their ass when you call them that. That's a stupid little term they chose themselves. Now they don't like it because they're associated with it and everybody makes fun of it. So fuck that. I'm totally calling them social justice warriors. I love it. It pisses them off because it's such a fucking joke at this point. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, essentially, who can be the most offended version of Cards Against Humanity. But um, you'd have to rework it, make it interesting, come up with some kind of unique angle. Yes, Cards Against the Patriarchy, there you go. <laughs> Am I a Nordic American Ubermensch? No, I'm just a dumb motherfucker that makes videos on YouTube. How autistic am I? 409 hours of Ace of Spades. I think answers that question for you. Thoughts on Lacey Green? I can't stand her videos. All right, let me pop back over here real quick. Trying to answer questions as best I can. She kind of goes by quick, though. Uh, okay, question from the stream. What are your thoughts on Hanson versus Predator? Kickstarted to catch a Predator successor? Uh, back when InstaSync was around, or not InstaSync, SyncTube, when SyncTube was around, um, there were, somebody ran a to catch a Predator SyncTube room, which was, I enjoyed watching it in there, and that was funny because you're watching with like a hundred people all cracking jokes about the fucking episodes. I I don't know. I have no fucking interest in watching Hanson do more of it, though. I didn't even really know he had a Kickstarter for it. How much money did they raise? Probably a fucking stupid amount. Well, and why would he need to kickstart it? Wouldn't the TV network let him do it? He had to rename it, I guess, maybe to get around what trademarks and shit like that. I, I don't know anything about it, so I, I guess I couldn't really tell you much. Uh, you mentioned half in the bag. What are your thoughts on Red Letter Media in general? Plinket Reviews, Prereq. Uh, I just like Red Letter Media. I, I watch half in the bag a lot. Uh, Plinket Reviews are always fucking good. I haven't watched a lot of Prereq. Uh, a couple episodes, it seems okay. But Red Letter Media just is entertaining. It's one of the things I watch. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'll check Ask FM. Somebody's mentioning that. Thoughts on Reddit? I don't use I don't use Reddit, so there's nothing there's nothing to give my thoughts on. Well, actually, no. You know, somebody had mentioned this. There's a YouTube user by the name of Teal Deer, I think, who does a series called TLDR, I guess. And uh, somebody was saying, oh, you can't you can't make a video series on Reddit because he uses that as his video title. Uh, I was unaware of that, I guess, but I didn't know he did videos on subreddits. Uh, the only my only thoughts on Reddit are going to be in those videos. Um, I want to look at shitty subreddits. I want to basically do a Tumblrisms version of Reddit and look at the most ridiculous shit there. Uh, SRS would probably be a very long episode though. Uh, let's see. Thoughts on Gawker? Fuck Gawker. Uh, have you played Cave Story? Uh, yes, yes I have. I like Cave Story. Let's take a look. Ask FM. Fuck, that's a lot of questions. All right. Oh, oh, that's what's fucking it up. 
Okay, that should fix it. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, so you've played uh, 3,500... I'm getting some weird food deck. you played 3,500 hours in Team Fortress 2. That's fucked up. That That's way more than my 409 hours. You're right. I need to get good. What is the one true justice? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that, man. Uh, best food you've ever eaten. Oh, shit. I really like... Um, oh, fuck. Teriyaki salmon, I think, is probably the best shit I've ever eaten. Like, teriyaki salmon with some rice. It's fucking really good. Uh, how drunk are you, Test? Hold up your hand. Uh, I'm just slowly drinking, man. You want me to say your name? Okay, Jack. Pro gun or anti gun? Pro gun. No problems with gun ownership. You can't. You can't browse fucking K and be anti gun. I don't. I don't know how that would work. Thoughts on Peter Coffin? That guy's. Uh, people were asking like it with internet insanity. Uh, when I did the first one, I felt bad because once I started getting a bunch of subs, you can't really fucking talk about legitimately crazy people without everybody going to fuck with them. So how would you do internet insanity if actual people are watching, if you get more like 10 viewers or something? Um, that's the kind of shit I wanted to focus on, where people like that, like people like Peter Coffin uh, and his fake girlfriends. Um, yeah. So I'll probably talk about him eventually, just not not now. You want me to pronounce A. Lamau? Uh, a. Lamau. There you go. Would you accept fan art? Uh, go ahead. <clears throat> Here's the thing with fan art. Like, I, I got, uh, I had people draw pictures before uh, on the Internet Aristocrat channel, and I like, you know, I was flattered. I liked it, and I always saved them um, because people, you know, put the effort in and stuff. But I felt weird posting them because it felt like I was, I don't know, it felt egotistical to do that. Um, like I'd be a little bit too close to walking on water. If you catch my meaning. Uh, but if you want to, go ahead. I, I, I guess I got over it. Uh, I'll hold on to it. I'll save it. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I can't say your name because it went by too quickly. I saw your statement, though. When did I touch my father's dick? Ah, oh, and that's painful memories. You've triggered me. I'm going to have to go blog about this on Tumblr and then start a Patreon to get donations. Thoughts on bronies? I covered. I talked about bronies before. I'm not. I don't watch the show. I have, it doesn't really hold an appeal to me. I just like the fact that they kind of shit on SJWs and I, I don't know. Don't let them push too far into their community or try to fight back against it. Um, yeah, I, I, it's really a non-opinion, I guess. What is my kin type? I don't have one. Thoughts on Maddox? I, again, I don't really have thoughts on Maddox. Thoughts on Review Tech USA? Uh, I heard the cucumber story and the two hundred dollars story. That's about it, though. What are the YouTube channels do I watch? Uh, shit that you wouldn't be interested in. Like I'm still watching fucking. Uh, oh my god, what is the kid's name? There's this guy that used to do Resident Evil uh, playthroughs where he'd play for twenty four hours and try to play every Resident Evil game that exists. Um, it was him and a friend, a British kid. He even had a website for it. Fuck, I can't remember the name. That's buried somewhere. I gotta. Like, when I started the new channel, I lost all the shit I was subscribed to, so I got to build it back up. Stuff like that. I like stuff like that. Like, people that play through or do challenges, that shit's interesting to me. What's the cucumber story? F uh, from what I understand, um, you know, I, never mind. Uh, I, I, like, it was vaguely explained to me that there's a video floating around of him uh, filleting a cucumber. This is how it's been explained to me. That was released by somebody he owed money to, but I don't know. Tits or ass? Uh, tits. F 
Fuck, how long has this been going on for? Surely you must be bored by now. It's been fucking, yeah, it's been quite a while. Probably do the stream for another half an hour and then call it quits. So if you got any good shit to talk about, now's the time to bring it up. <laughs> Volkish the Edgelord? Is that how you say your name? I don't know. Yes, I know it's a it's a fucking contradiction, isn't it? I like Asians and I like tits. Hey, but I, I got a, a, a Asian girlfriend that's got enormous tits, so that worked out well. MICA? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm trying to bounce around between multiple things here to get questions. Have I played Project M? No. Uh, have I? No, I don't think so. Who's your favorite lol cow? Ah. Uh, Again, Christian, when it was uh, when it was still new, and when he was still doing his comic, and when he was still making YouTube videos, was really funny to watch the shit that happened to him. That was just a very long, drawn out thing, but it just kind of stopped being entertaining. Currently, I I don't know. I I guess I've been trying to fill that void. Recommend you some good books to read. I haven't actually had a lot to read lately, so I couldn't. I couldn't really go into that. Would you ever go on the Drunken Peasants podcast with the Amazing Atheist? Seems like something up your alley. I would guarantee you they don't know who the fuck I am. And so there was probably zero likelihood I will ever be asked to go on to that podcast. Thoughts on the Sarkeesian Effect clusterfuck? I heard a little bit about this. Some kind of spat between uh, between Jordan Onan and uh, or Jordan Owen and Arini. Uh, over the money from the Kickstarter or uh, from the Patreon or whatever the fuck it was. I don't know. You, you'd you have to fill me in on the details on what the fuck happened with that. I know they were some kind of argument about it and it was holding up production or the video didn't get made or it was going to get made. There were going to be two cuts of it. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I need more information, man. You'd have to fill me in. Are you a weeaboo? Uh, no. Thoughts on Peter Coffin's wife? <laughs> you mean the one with the removable head? I, I don't know what to tell you. Will SJWs take over? Uh, no. They'll get close to doing it, though. Am I still fucking Jade? Yes. Uh, let's try Twitter. Have I read Elliot Rogers' Manifest? Uh, no. Isn't it some huge fucking tome? Like, I, I haven't read it. Um, so, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Linkar wants to fuck the green M&M. That is fantastic. What do you think of SJWs now literally blaming Gamergate for everything? Well, they'll take anything that's hot or topical um, and anything they can say they're being oppressed by and make money off it. So, it would make sense. Until they move on to their next target whatever that happens to be. Uh, you know, you saw that kind of with the Hugo Awards and other things. Have I ever played Bad Rats? No, but I think I own a copy of it. Uh, let's see. T.L. Deer is just his name. Uh, okay. Not a series. He just includes his name and his titles. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any plans on appearing on any other streams in the future? No, not uh, not really. I, I I'll just do you know liquored up streams occasionally, and stick to videos. Stick to my little fucking corner of the internet. May we please have thoughts on Bob Chipman's "Let's federalize all local police" tweets? <laughs> it sounds like something his stupid fucking ass would say. You know, I enjoy shitting on uh, Bob daily if I can on Twitter because um, he's always posting something fucking retarded but it's just 
<laughs> Movie Bob is ridiculous. He's just fucking ridiculous. You know, sometime what I'd like to do um, is just get a. Well, I think InstaSync is still around now. Do an InstaSync stream or something, or stream his videos, and just let you know however many people show up to the stream shit on it simultaneously. That might be entertaining. Okay, all right. Do you plan on posting these streams on your channel for later? They should be automatically posted. Uh, from what I understand, YouTube just does that automatically. If it doesn't, I'll figure out whatever button I've got to click to make it do it. I don't know, you know, Movie Bob, you say lol, or lolcow, but he... Yes and no, I guess. He he doesn't get as spastic as you'd hope he would. Make a video on Bob. Uh, maybe for Internet Insanity. Depends. <laughs> What's so bad about Movie Bob? I, again, I've gone over my distaste for him. I don't like the fact he tried to get a boy arrested for a YouTube video. Fuck him. Oh, yeah, you keep saying, say your name. Noob Love Lady Gaga 773-887. There you go. I, I hope you're satisfied. Make a follow up on Mama K. I don't. I don't know if there's enough information to do a follow up. To be honest, I haven't seen Razor Fist uh, video dismantling Movie Bob. I'll, I'll check it out, uh, but I haven't seen it yet. Any thoughts about the cotton ceiling? I don't know what the fuck that is. You'll have to post it on, uh, I don't know, Ask FM or Twitter or something. Am I hyped for Killing Floor 2? Uh, nah. I mean, the first one was... was I, I played it with friends and stuff. I enjoyed it. I'm sure it'll probably be good. But I just am not interested right now. Uh, okay. Uh, you want me to call you all faggots? You're all faggots. Oh, uh, what is that one? Did I ever run Crying Red Faggot off the website? No, but from... Uh, what happened was I left that forum um, yeah I mean the story up and after the video is I left the forum and then the forum itself started bleeding members and then it shut down and from what I understand a few of them still get together and talk through alternative you know services and shit but it, it imploded which is kind of sad because for a while it was pretty fucking fun Thoughts on Splatoon? I'm looking forward to it. That's that's actually the reason I got a Wii U, was to play Splatoon. How drunk am I now? Well, I'm slowing down. I, I don't know. It's hard to fucking read through all this shit. I'll move that out of the way. Why is the video late? When is it ever not late? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to him. I don't know what site he went to or where the where he went. I only know a little bit kind of of the after story. Do I want to fuck the Splatoon lollies? No, I want to play the game. That was one of the uh, one of the only games I've seen in a long time that actually got me interested. It just, it looks stupidly fun. That's why I want to play Splatoon so badly. 
do I know what a tulpa is? Yes, I'm familiar with what a tulpa is. If you ever go on to X, in between the 485 fucking threads they'll have about how to summon a succubus, they'll occasionally talk about a tulpa. Thoughts on K-pop? K-pop's good. What is my favorite form of tentacle porn? They're all fantastic. Uh, Atheism Plus, I covered that in the stream with Thunderfoot and Justicar. I, I think they summed it up really uh, rather nicely. I notice you. Uh, thank you from the love from Bosnia. Oh, what time is it? Holy shit, the stream's gone on. Alright, I'll give it about another 10 minutes. And then I'm going to go play Ace of Spades. Because I'm that fucking dumb. Uh, Cotton Ceiling, it is wrong to feel negative emotions over being tricked by transsexuals when engaging in romance and sex. What? It is wrong to feel negative emotions over being tricked by transsexuals when engaging in sex. So it's wrong to be upset by the fact that somebody lied to you? Why would, why would it be wrong to feel upset that somebody lied to you or was deceptive about something? I mean, isn't that the whole point of a relationship, uh, sexual or otherwise, is that you're upfront and open about things? Have you checked up on the welcome to the South guy from your first internet insanity video recently? Uh, no, but people do occasionally send me information about him. Uh, it seems he kind of fell back into the whole gang stalking bullshit. I feel bad for him. He's a legitimately crazy guy that uh, is just in a bad situation. Where did the rumors of you moving to Taiwan come from? Uh, that was originally a plan of mine. I was going to move to Taiwan. Something about, oh yeah, this shit's going a little quickly. Let me go back up to that one. That was a rather long one. Fuck, now I've lost it. Oh, fuck me. Did Jade steal my shekels? Um, yes, yeah, she's currently got them buried in the backyard. Any plans to do any more failed fifths? Uh... Yeah, there, there's really no point in doing that. Uh, the whole thing was going to be about games journalism, and Gamergate happened, so there's uh, what's to focus on. I mean, the original videos that I did, the conspiracy stuff, uh, didn't just talk about Zoe Quinn. It talked about people like Hernandez and Grayson and other people and brought up the shit they did, Totello and all of them. So it'd just be, it'd be rehashing shit. I'm sure they've done stupid shit since then, but it would just be rehashing too much stuff. How do you bro how do you browse poll with a Asian girlfriend, you degenerate? I know, it's shameful. Stream your ace of spades. Um, that would be terrible. Nobody would watch that. I know uh, Steam has the built in streaming service now, but it would just be boring. Oh shit, I think that's uh, okay. Jim, do you think the positive effects of your videos and your talent for pulling apart the flawed logic of SJWs and the crap they say outweighs you not wanting to be e-famous people like your work? I make videos on YouTube, man. I wouldn't call it talent. Um, and it, it's not... I, I just, it's something... I, I dislike SJWs. I, like the, I dislike the shit they do. Um, no, I wouldn't. I, I, it just feels weird. I don't want to... My videos are okay. Um, anybody could do them. There's nothing really that fucking unique about them. Uh, I'm glad people like the videos that I do, but yeah.
Uh, people keep asking about Jeremy Clarkson. I'm out of the loop on that, so I couldn't I couldn't tell you. All right, I'm going to check Twitter and then ask FM, and I'll read a few more stream uh, questions, and then that'll be that. Uh, what exactly were you pissed off at to make you take a break? Why, I just took a break. Uh, you're talking about, well, it's two things. Are you talking about me leaving Gamergate, or are you talking about me shutting down the channel? Uh, I shut down channels all the I mean, that's just shit that I do. There's usually like a six-month gap after I shut something down before I start up a new channel. I've, I've done that for seven or eight years now. Um, as far as GG, I mean, I cover that in the Vokaroos. How drunk are you, Jimmy Boy? Uh, feeling it, definitely. Uh, what if it's wrong? Oh, what is this? it's wrong if it's with a trans? Apparently, for a famous example, look up Pillars of Attorney or Eternity scandal. I think I'm aware of that, but yeah, I'll double check that. Uh, let's see. Uh, thoughts about Bro Team? Uh, I they were tweeting shit about what the fuck was it? Fuck, I'm trying to remember now. Something in a relation to information about Quinn that was getting out, and they were laughing about it. Like, I've seen some other tweets. They tweet funny shit occasionally. That's that's my... Again, you're asking me shit. I don't really know how to answer. <laughs> Would you say Jade is more of a semen demon, a fluid druid, or a mattress actress? Ah, uh, semen demon would be my... W w that's what I'd go with. I like the ring to that. Uh, Jim, I'm jacking off to you now. Uh, well, have fun with that. Uh, I hope you enjoy. What's the best type of candle, or what's the best type of camel brand cigarette? All of them. Every type of camel is the best kind of camel. You can't go wrong with camel cigarettes. It is the brand you should buy. All right, I'll give it a few more minutes here, take a couple more questions, then uh, call it a night. Uh, I've been checking Twitter and Ask FM. I, I, I went through them, answered as much as I could. Am I still with the Gambinos? Uh, you can never leave the family. La Costa Nostra, once you join, you can't leave. That's how it works. It's like that shitty movie, Blood In, Blood Out. If you try to leave, they'll drop you on a fire hydrant and crack your back in half. Did I have a gag order placed on me? Of course not. And even if I did, do you think I'd abide by it? Uh, no, he is not dead. Uh, Baby Metal is obviously the, the better choice. It's a fantastic fucking band, group, act. I don't know how you describe it. <laughs> Thoughts on ag or anime? Um, I, I've watched anime. I mean, I've wa I watch anime. Uh, what the fuck was the... Let me see if I can find the series name. It was the shit I was watching most recently that was actually, I thought, really good. Make sure I get the right fucking name. Yeah, Log Horizon. I, I watched Log Horizon, and then I watched all of season one and part of season two. Like people upload it on YouTube. Uh, I prefer subtitled, so it works perfectly for me. I really fucking liked it. Uh, Mary fuck kill Anita Zoe Lacy. I, I just kill myself and then be able to ditch out on having to choose fuck or marry anybody. Thoughts on hentai? Hentai is entertaining. People asking about what my thoughts on guns are. I already said I'm I'm pro-gun. If you want to own a gun, knock yourself out. Jim confirms shit taste. You don't like Log Horizon. I don't know how, how that would be shit taste. Listen to this. Wow. Yes, I like Log Horizon. <laughs> Why are people offended by that? How do you not like that? It's a fucking entertaining anime.
thoughts on Nintendo DLC and Sony remasters? Uh, I, I just, I generally dislike DLC because it's not like, I liked it better when it was called expansion packs. Back when they actually made content that was worth the money. DLC today feels like shit that was chopped off the main game and then sold to you later. Or dumb features that make the game easier because they, the person that produces it thinks you're fucking retarded. Like Easy Fatality DLC, that kind of stuff. So I'm not a big fan of DLC. Sony Remasters feels the same way. It feels like they're taking something, especially the shit they did with, God, was it like PS2 and PS3, where they were taking like every fucking PS2 game and, you know, uh, quote unquote, making it HD and then re-releasing it on the PS3. It felt kind of shitty as well. Oh, uh, yep, I've watched Last Exile. Ghost in the Shell, I watched it. People, I, I, it, the majority of the shit you've probably watched, I've watched too. <laughs> Log Horizon is sword art online for plebs. <laughs> have you played Monster Hunter? Yes, I have. Uh, the real Silent Hill experience, I think. Uh, let me see. Trying to think of the right thing. Oh, by Twin Perfect? Yeah, I've watched that. Uh, a lot of people shit on their opinions uh, regarding the series. I, I think they're pretty, pretty accurate. I agree with the majority of what they said. I really like Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. I wasn't a big fan of 4, and it seemed like everything after that uh, really fucking sucked. I never played the PSP title, so I couldn't give an opinion on that. And I didn't play the Wii version, so I couldn't give an opinion on that. But like the two or three games that were released um, following Silent Hill 4 were just kind of... <sighs> yes, Cory in the House is the best anime. And it's also the best fucking handheld game. I, I watched a little bit of Gantz. Uh, Gantz, however the fuck you say it. Uh, Haberhaus. Do you want me to say that, or? Oh, shit. This is going by quick. Have I watched Ergo Proxy? Uh, no, I haven't actually seen that. All right. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, stream went on for yeah, about two hours, <clears throat> two plus hours. Hopefully it wasn't complete shit. You got a, a few questions answered. I'll try to have the next video up on, what would the date be? Sunday the 26th or Saturday the 25th, next weekend, essentially. It'll be a hug box video. And then after that, I'm just going to cycle through the shit. So it'll be a hug box uh, this upcoming weekend and then a too long didn't Reddit the weekend after that. So if you know any really shitty subreddits, uh, feel free to send me a link because I'll be looking at a lot of them to find something to start that off with and see if it, it's worth it or not. If it turns out to be a shit idea, fuck it. But um, yeah, thanks for coming out. Uh, I hope it wasn't too shitty of a two hours, and I will see you shitlords later. Okay, we should be live and on the air. Sorry about the... Uh, Delaying the start of the stream, I just wanted to watch the press conference while I was having a bite to eat. Apparently, the mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, is giving another another impromptu speech to the city that she had basically allowed to burn uh, with her wise words of wisdom that uh, she gave, what was it, a few days ago? About giving, giving protesters the space to destroy shit, which is a brilliant, brilliant statement to give people. Uh, yeah, giving them carte blanche to run around and cause property damage and uh, be confrontational with the police because she wanted them to be able to exercise their freedom of speech. So uh, that's, a, that's a good idea, Stephanie. You're not the dumbest fucking mayor on the place, uh, planet of the earth. Uh, I, I, I don't even know where to start. There's so much shit that's been going on in the last, I'd say, two days. And I'm sure it's going to go well into the night. But just, just watching this shit unfold today, it is just a repeat of things we've seen uh, God, uh, three times, four times by now in the past year, where it, it just seems like they, well, I, I, you know, I, I should probably start like this. 
uh, think of this as a complimentary stream. Okay, uh, I I am technically inept, so if you're expecting me to overlay video on this, it's not going to happen. I'm just uh, terrible with that kind of shit, and getting YouTube streams to do what you want to do uh, is impossible to begin with. So even if I knew what I was doing, that's not going to happen. So just kind of move it off to the side. Watch watch whatever streams you want to watch. We'll you know I'll try to uh, post them as we go. If you find a good live stream, tweet it at me or put it in the uh, YouTube chat and I will try to pin it up so people can watch it. But move this one to the side. All you really need is a chat window so people can spam ridiculous shit at each other because that's that's what you want to do. That's what makes streams fun. So, uh, yeah, God, where to start with this? Uh, let me think because, like I said, there, there's a lot of shit to cover. And, I, and again, I'm sorry, I'm kind of half paying attention at the moment because they're just they're finishing up the press conference, and I think this is the chief of police that's giving a statement about why they stood around like idiots for three or four hours letting people vandalize the shit out of the neighborhood. Now, if you were paying attention on TV, uh, CNN, Fox News, whatever channel you watch, you probably saw reporters dodging left and right today, which was fucking great. There, there's nothing better than watching a field reporter who is scared shitless because bricks and bottles are zinging by their fucking head. And that happened on both channels. I, I've been flipping through watching TV and then watching live streams uh, simultaneously. And in each instance, people were getting shit thrown at them. And they didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to respond to that. And they'd cut back to the studio where they'd say that it's a peaceful protest and our reporter will be just fine as they're running for their fucking life because people are hucking bricks at them. So that's, uh, that's always really entertaining. It's been a, just a massively peaceful protest. Yeah, god damn. It's, it's Ferguson all over again. It's every single one of these is the same fucking thing. It's going to be a peaceful pro or protest. That's what you're told in the beginning. And then what ends up happening? Shit gets looted, shit gets destroyed, cars get lit on fire, people get assaulted. I mean, just today they said there were, uh, what was it, seven injured cops. One unaccounted for or unresponsive. Multiple police cars have been burned. A CVS got looted and lit on fire. There were pictures of 7-Elevens getting uh, looted. There were a couple other stores that were getting attacked. You saw uh, motorists in the street basically being accosted or having people go after them. Uh, there were a couple peel-outs, too. I think it was on Fox probably about three hours ago when they were showing some of their live footage. Uh, people were driving like crazy to get around uh, people that were just that were coming after them. And this is just a few feet away from the fucking police. So it, it's, it's mind-blowing watching these cops kind of stand around. So listening to the police response, and, and you know they've been ordered. That, I guess that's the, probably the best place to start. So you have a mayor who knows that her city is upset about something. And in this case, it would be Gray. Gray's arrest and death. You know, what happened to that? I was watching, I think it was Shepard Smith last night, talk about it and saying, or no, it was today actually, saying what, what were his crimes? What did he do? You know, he, he made eye contact with the police and he ran away. No, you know, people have dug up his criminal uh, history, his, you know, criminal record. And what, what does he have? A bunch of drug arrests, uh, uh, you know, I think there was one robbery on there. Now, I can't confirm that. I don't know if that's legitimate or not. I mean, it's been posted and reposted. But that day, what did he do? You know, that day and only that day, he made eye contact and he ran away. And Smith was saying, that's bullshit. You know, him and I think Napolitano, there was no reason for him to get arrested. So whether or not he had, you know, whether or not there was a justifiable reason to arrest him or not, what happens after that? Well, he gets put into the back of a paddy wagon and somehow mysteriously gets his neck severed or his spine severed 80% which is really fucked up. I, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. So you have all these people, you know, reacting to this event. Oh my God, this is terrible. You know, the police didn't get a medical attention in time. Oh, they didn't, they didn't do what needed to be done. So I, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. But this is a reaction to it. And so you have the mayor come out and give this ridiculous statement saying that we want to allow protesters the right to vent their anger. We want to allow protesters the ability to express themselves. And if that's in a destructive manner, they need to be accorded enough room to do that. Which, that's mind-blowing. She's the authority figure in that fucking city, and she's saying, if you want to destroy shit, go ahead. And you look at the police response, and what are the police doing? They're doing fucking nothing. 
they're letting these people run rampant through the fucking streets. And she has to have been the one or her office or somebody under her authority that told them, don't, don't do anything. Just, just stand there, create a little you in the middle of the street and let them throw bottles at your fucking head. Let them throw bricks at you. Let them burn and loot stores because they're expressing themselves. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? When you look at Ferguson, what happened? You know, they have all this outrage. They're talking about institutional racism and how the police force and, you know, they, they hate all this stuff and it's, they're so oppressed. And what do they do to show their, you know, their reaction to that oppression? They go loot at McDonald's. They burn down fucking stores. Well, they're, they're not the ones that did anything. So what the fuck are you doing? It's the same thing here. Explain to me how CVS fucking pharmacy is responsible for Gray getting his spine severed. I'm pretty sure, you know, none of the CVS pharmacists snuck out, got past the police, cracked his neck, and then ran back as part of their diabolical scheme to sell more medication to retards. So I don't understand what the, the fuck protesters are doing by going and burning that to the ground. Uh, you know, walking around the mall. What, what was it uh, that was going around the school? If you've ever seen the, the shitty fucking, um, the absolutely shitty movie The Purge. There was a, apparently flyers going around talking about that. You know, the night of the purge when, when, you know, the premise of the movie is there's one night in America where there's, you know, crime is completely legal. You can do whatever you like. So this was getting passed around the junior highs and high schools. And that's why you saw like all these uh, younger males, these youths running around the streets, uh, hucking bricks at people. You know, they got, they've got footage of people running around the malls and it, it's been fucking crazy today. It's been absolutely fucking crazy today. And it is the exact same shit that keeps happening. And here's this mayor going on TV now, uh, just literally within the last 10 minutes, basically saying she's shocked that, uh, you know, in her words, thugs are doing this. Well, what the fuck are you talking about? How are you shocked by that? You're the one that gave him the okay. You gave him the go ahead. And I really look forward to um, anybody that gets arrested during this fucking debacle using her as a, a defense in court and saying, well, the mayor said it was okay. She, she said we had permission to go out and destroy stuff. And since she's the, uh, the mayor of Baltimore and the police work under her, we, we just assumed that she meant that was okay to do. So that, that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go destroy shit. So now here she is on TV saying, no, that's idiotic and you know these are thugs doing it. No, mayor, these are the people that you told to go out and destroy shit, that you told your police force was okay to go loot and fucking burn shit to the ground. Because that was their expression of freedom. Their, their right to express themselves. Fucking mind-blowing. And then throughout the day, uh, within the last couple hours, there were stories about fire trucks going to put fires out and how um, protesters, looters, whatever you want to fucking call them, were hucking rocks and sticks at the firefighters. Uh, there was one report that they actually cut the fire hose when they're trying to put out a blaze. How is burning down your fucking city, your hometown, how is burning it to the ground and destroying all the shops going to get you justice. What what sense does that make? H how does that, in your mind, sound or seem fucking logical? It's just I I don't know what the fuck to say. It's it's just stunning. I've never really seen, I guess, somebody in authority like that do something that fucking stupid, and then be surprised with the reaction. So now you have pictures of like militarized vehicles going down the streets. Anybody that remembers like the uh, the Boston bombings, anything like that, kind of similar, you know, where they had uh, these these really armored up vehicles, these SWAT vehicles, rolling all over the place. You got police, you know, geared up. Uh, from what I understand, the governor declared a state of emergency, and the National Guard is coming in. And the, that was the other thing too. The mayor goes on TV. This is her solution, by the way. I, I don't know who voted for this this dumb fucking retard, but her solution to all of this is uh, enforcing a curfew. So if you're, if you're under 14 years of uh, age, you need to be in bed by nine o'clock. And if you're over 14, well, you're an adult. So you get an extra hour. So enjoy 10 p.m. That's, that's when you need to go back in the house. So burn police cars, loot stores, destroy property, attack the police, attack reporters, cause a mass disturbance. And you're gonna have a little bit earlier bedtime. Bravo, Mayor of Baltimore, that's not, that's not retarded. What in the fuck is this woman thinking?
it's just and the governor's response it's like he didn't want to he didn't want to interfere maybe he was just maybe he was shocked too maybe the governor thought there's no way there's no way the mayor is that fucking dumb obviously she's going to intervene at some point and do something oh trigger word uh trigger warning sorry about that uh oh, too many too many uh too many uh references to retard i'll call her autistic how about that is autistic work she's pretty fucking autistic Sorry if I'm rambling. It's just, uh, I, I, it's so much shit to take in. If you've been watching the streams, if you've been reading threads, particularly on a poll, the amount of information just constantly shooting by. Um, yeah, it, it, this is this is the same shit again and again, and people are, are surprised by it. They think, what if they don't if they don't react to it, that it's going to go away? Did the did the mayor think she could just ask them kindly not to burn the city to the ground, and that was going to be okay? I mean, they had fucking pictures on the news of people jumping up and down on cop cars and lighting them ablaze. But she was hoping that everybody would be on their best behavior. The honor system, maybe? Is that how Baltimore runs with uh, the criminal fucking underbelly? Is just the honor system? Like, hey, guys, you need to you need to calm down. Don't make me put you in a timeout in the corner. That's how we do it in Baltimore. Now, you're on the honor system. So I expect that you're going to return all that shit you stole from the pharmacy. And why... Why CVS of all fucking things? Were they having a weave sale? Like what? What compelled them to go to CVS as opposed to anybody else? Then uh, was in one of the threads I was reading. Somebody said they were going to a bank. I don't know if that's true or not. I think that would be the first time I've ever heard of it, though, that they actually went after a bank. So it, it'll be entertaining to see what the fuck is going to happen tonight with that 9 p.m. curfew and then the 10 p.m. curfew following it. Though I think she said that's not enforced till tomorrow for some reason. So, absolutely, uh, absolutely brilliant, Mayor. Just absolutely fucking brilliant. Okay, sorry, a little bit, a uh, little bit rambly. I don't know how many people in the chat were watching the uh, Fox Ten and Phoenix live stream, but that was the best shit I've ever watched. Uh, Fox had set up. A live stream on their YouTube channel and combined it with on-air footage and then had a couple of their anchors basically covering the riots and what they were doing is they were switching from multiple sources and then they were taking questions this is where they fucked up a little bit they were taking questions from the chat but because they're oblivious and they don't understand what's going on people in the chat were getting them to say the most ridiculous shit and eventually uh, I think it was Sammy and Troy figured out oh hey wait a minute we're getting fucked with now, they brought up Ben Garrison, which is brave of them to do, multiple times. So they shut down the chat uh, on YouTube and then thought it would be safe to go on Twitter instead and take questions. And that turned into a clusterfuck of just monumental proportions until they ended up having to shut down their, their Twitter. They weren't accepting them anymore. And Samia, the, the female host, was so fucked up over this. Uh, she kept going on air, off air, on air, off air. She'd read something. And in the background, you can hear tech people or you can hear the producers laughing because they know she's an idiot. And then immediately she'd go off air and cut the audio and then come back on air and it would do it over and over and over again until finally she just gave up and refused to take any more questions. Uh, that was that was great. I still want to know if Jeff was involved with Ben Garrison in the Montana movement. Troy refused to answer that question. I think he's covering something up. But if anybody did watch that stream, if somebody can make a highlight reel of that because... It's, it was fucking great. I wish, I wish more news stations did that, had interactive streams rather than just this passive watching experience where they're just, I don't know, talking at you rather than with you, even though they kind of had a, a meltdown uh, about middle, you know, midway through towards the end. Still was fucking great. Made, uh, made the rides even more entertaining. So good, good, uh, good going, Fox 10. It was really, really nice. I'm just reading chat here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did. They mentioned Ben Garrison quite a few times on uh, television. She she Googled him. I think the first thing she said was, why is he wearing a swastika? And then she referred to him as anti-Semitic cartoonist. So <laughs> it was it was a really, that was very brave of Samia, especially knowing how uh, Sue happy Ben Garrison is to go on television and say that. But she's she's not afraid of him. She'll stand up to the uh, Montana movement. She she uh, she's not afraid of nothing. 
yeah, they're, they're still playing footage on television of this shit. Just cops getting pelted over and over again. Fucking bricks and bottles. I don't know where they're getting all of this shit from. Is Baltimore like Detroit? I mean, there, are there a lot of like dilapidated buildings and shit falling over? Or are they going out and destroying fucking brownstone buildings just to have shit to hurl at cops? And, and my favorite, I think, so far, too, is I've seen a lot of people do this. They take a bunch of garbage and they shove it in plastic uh, plastic trash bay or like pa- or uh, plastic trash cans, light it on fire, and then throw it like two feet. Uh, is that supposed to intimidate the police? Because it's too heavy for them to really get it towards the cops. It's not like a Molotov where you can huck it half a block away. So they get it like two feet in front of them, and then it just kind of putters out, and it rolls a couple of times, and all the shit spills out, and the cops just kind of look at it like, what the fuck are you doing? So yeah, they've been doing that, and then uh, <laughs> and then hucking fucking bricks and bottles. There's so many cars that are fucked up just all over the streets. Anybody that parked on the streets in Baltimore where the shit is going on, your car is fucked. I mean, good luck get insurance to cover that because it is, it is decimated. Broken windows, fucking stores screwed up. Which reminds me of the uh, city paper, by the way, which is this, I don't even know what it is, really, or how you describe the paper itself because I really haven't read a lot of the content. But uh, one of their, uh, was it an editor or a writer at the city paper, had basically, he, he'd taken yesterday what ended up happening was a bunch of people went through the streets and were, again, destroying shit, like usual. And a couple of people in the, there, there was like this bar, right? And there was a woman in front of the bar, and she had her purse ripped away from her. And then she was trying to get people to stop attacking. Like, she kept saying, no, 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 stop. And they were hucking bricks and fucking uh, just anything they could get their, their hands on at windows and destroying shit left and right. And there's a picture that was put up on Facebook by this editor that said, oh, if you saw this picture of us uh, pulling this woman away, it's because she was antagonizing the protesters. She was spurring them on, and we were trying to make her stop. So what ends up happening is there's a video of that exact moment. And if you go watch the video, it's blatantly clear. It's fucking completely obvious that's not at all what happened, that she was trying to make them stop attacking these buildings and people and trying to get her fucking purse back, and they moved her out of the way. Well, so this guy... Let me let me go find his name here so I can tell you who the fuck he is. I saved a bunch of these uh, these screen caps. Let me see if I can get them here. Uh, where the fuck is it? What's his name? Oh, Brandon Soderberg. Oh uh, yeah, he posted up on Facebook. Uh, there are the pictures of me and my friends trying to move a woman away from provoking protesters. It's being used to or suggest we were with her and protecting her. And he's saying that's not at all what's going on. He's he's trying to make her stop. So this video comes out, and it shows that that's complete bullshit. So he, who's the editor I'm talking about at the city paper, um, is friends with other people that work at that paper. And they're basically just, they're trying to spin this bullshit narrative. And it, it's unreal. Like, they're, they're completely lying about it. And, you know, the paper itself is, like, defending them, and it's fucking ridiculous. I'll, uh, I'll throw this shit up on Imager and try to link it to the chat here in a second. But, uh, yeah, he, he, he got caught in the act of doing it. He was completely full of shit because uh, there's too much video evidence. And in fact, there wasn't just the video of the, this happening on the ground. Apparently, there was like a, uh, a television uh, aerial shot of it happening, too. So there are multiple angles showing that he was full of shit and showing them attacking people. And, you know, uh, he, he and the woman that was helping him do this shit. Let me see if I can find her name, too. Fuck was it? I think it was. Yeah, or I should say, what what is it? Her Twitter account is at Trust Punch. Caitlin Glo- or Goldblatt was um was trying the same shit. Was essentially saying that this woman was not having her purse stolen from her, but that the gentleman taking the purse was actually uh, defending his own property. So I don't know what guy's running around with a tiny black purse and a giant pink shopping bag. But you can look at the pictures, and again, I'll post them later. It's pretty fucking obvious he was stealing from her. And then, you know, um, Soderbergh is backpedaling, saying, well, maybe that happened. You know, maybe I should clarify, deleting his original posts that he was trying to put forward. And they're talking about, like, narrative spinning. And this is a, this is a paper. These are reporters who aren't reporting the truth. They're with the protesters. 
and what spurred all this on? Well, one of their one of their friends, and it is a friend. You can I'll post that shit too. Got arrested for reporting on what was going on. Ended up getting in a scuffle with the police. Got bumped up a little bit, and so it's just it's just a clusterfuck. Everything coming out of Baltimore is a clusterfuck. It's like one bad decision after the other. The press doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. The government doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. The police don't know what the fuck they're doing. The only people who seem to know what they're doing are the people going around looting and burning shit. Like, they've got their objective in mind. So they, they know what they're doing. They're going to ruin everybody else's night. You know, that's, that's brilliant. That's, that's, uh, that's really fair for them to be doing that. Oh, fuck, my chat just, uh, just froze up on me here. Give me a second. That always fucking does this. Okay. I unfucked it. There we go. Yeah, and they're they're still out on the street. It's 8.30 p.m. right now in Baltimore, apparently, and they got a half an hour before they got to get their asses in the house. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, and this Soderbergh guy, too, and I've seen this this tweet going around, this uh, screen cap of, like, all these gangbangers standing together. You have, like, Bloods and the Crips and uh, the Nation of Islam and, like, all these different groups standing together talking about how this was a great... Uh, you know, a moment of solidarity. And then what comes out today? What what gets announced? Oh, there's a credible threat against law enforcement. Uh, gang members are going to hunt them and take care of them. So when you started hearing shit like, um, you know, police officers are unaccounted for today, it, it put the fear of God into, I think, people in the police force and maybe got them to start acting. I don't know. Maybe when they figured they really were getting targeted, they decided listening to the retarded mayor was a bad idea. <laughs> yes, Chad. What 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 are your thoughts on this? I'm reading through this right now. Oh, let's see. Echo Foxtrot. Good. Fuck the pigs. Yeah, see everybody says that. Nobody, you know, fuck the police, I don't like the police. Until it's your car getting broke into, or your store getting burned to the ground, or your head having a rock chucked at it. Like, nobody likes the militarization of the police, but this is fucking dumb. You know, it's collateral damage targeted at people that have nothing to do, nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the police department or with what happened to Gray. So how, you know, how does vandalizing their car how does burning down a local business or, you know, tearing apart the streets and fucking them up with bricks and glass and all this other shit, how does that accomplish anything? Because it's none of these, none of these people are doing anything. And, and there's so much footage of it. It just doesn't fucking end. It's from so many sources. You know, this whole peaceful protest line is bullshit. It's on television. It's on live streams. It seems like no matter what piece of the coverage you were watching, this shit is happening everywhere. And yet they still try to spin it as, oh, it just got a little out of hand. Or it's thugs that are infiltrating it. No, it's thugs perpetrating it, but they didn't come at the end of it. They were there the whole way through it. The, these people are tearing apart their city and destroying shit for no reason and accomplishing nothing. What, you think this is going to make the police force reform itself? No, it, it, what this is going to end up accomplishing is it's going to make the mayor look like a jackass for letting it happen. It's probably going to get some people uh, sued, would be my guess. I mean, I, I don't know if you were the business owner of that CVS, if it was a franchisee or whatever. How, what are they going to do? They're going to argue with their insurance company, and then are they going to go after the mayor? Are they going to go after that administration and say, well, she incited a riot, so the city should be responsible. They should be held accountable for the damage that happened to my business. The mayor should be held accountable for my car damage. The mayor should be held accountable for the, the scratch I have on my head because somebody threw a fucking brick at me. Tanks in 30 minutes. Uh, horseshit. Yeah. I, I don't know if they're going to send in the tanks. The National Guard isn't, isn't going to be there tonight, are they? I mean, I know they're, they're saying the governor activated them, but are they going to get there in time? <clears throat> it seems like they're going to have an entire night tonight where they're not going to have enough 
forces basically to hold this back. I mean, the police couldn't really do it today. The, the police couldn't handle this in the daylight. How are they going to handle it at nighttime? How many helicopters with thermal vision do they have? You know, how many uh, armored vehicles do they have? Because these people are everywhere. It's not like one. That's the other thing. It's not like there's one centralized group that's that's doing all of this. They're kind of interspersed throughout the city. So you'll see an incident report. You know, it's happening at the mall. It's happening at this business. It's happening in this neighborhood. But they're just they're everywhere. So how are the police going to manage that? How are they going to maintain it? How are they going to keep a line of people? In place to push back against this shit. The National Guard is under curfew too. If I were the National Guard, I wouldn't want to deal with this headache. Why would I go in and save a city that has basically been thrown to the wolves by an administration by uh, by this mayor who just doesn't give a shit? Yeah, why am I going to go stand there and get bricks thrown at me? Because she couldn't get the police force mobilized earlier because she didn't go on television and say, don't loot, don't riot, don't burn things down going on TV and saying, yeah, yeah, you should have a, a space to protest where you can destroy things. What an asinine statement to make. Just, just ridiculous. Yeah, they're still reporting several officers hurt. Yeah, again, last I heard it was seven, not several, but seven that were hurt and one, I don't know if it was unaccounted for or unresponsive, FBI monitoring Baltimore standoff. Well, yeah, they, they would be monitoring that if people are going after banks, but I'm not seeing that anywhere else. So I'm guessing that person was full of shit. Yeah, CVS had a fire sale. All their, <laughs> yeah, they had a hell of a fire sale. Uh, yes, Akuma, the mayor is a dumbass. Uh, let's see, take a couple questions, get the, Get the conversation going. You you tell me what you want to talk about. Somebody's saying one cop is dead. You're gonna to have to give me a link for that because I'm not I'm not seeing that yet. I'm I'm trying to keep up with all this shit. Al Sharpton plans to march. Yeah, I'm sure he does. He'll wait a couple days until it dies down, then he'll go down there and agitate, make a couple of shekels, and then be like, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why the, they're suddenly violent again. I'm going to get back into my Mercedes now and drive away. I'm Al Sharpton. I don't give a shit about anybody. I just like money. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Which stream am I watching? Well, I was watching the uh, Fox 10 in Phoenix one, but that, that petered out. And before that, I was watching, um, what was the guy's name? It was like uh, Ruptly or something like that. He uses the uh, RT from Russia Today, the same exact logo. Or logo. But um, yeah, his stream was really weird. He was at an intersection where the cops were, and the protesters were about half a block away, and they kept pushing back against each other. And the protesters started uh, hucking shit at the cops. And then he followed that for a while, and then they dispersed. He wandered around for like 30, 40 minutes, and then set the camera down. So I jumped over to the uh, Fox 10 stream. And then that ran for about, God, like three hours of them just getting bombarded with people fucking with them. Uh, and that eventually died down too. So I'm, I'm currently looking for a stream. So if you have a good stream, uh, link it in the chat or send it to me on Twitter. Because I, I plan on watching this shit all fucking night. <laughs> oh, apparently, okay. So the curfew is week long. See, that's the punishment you get in Baltimore. Remember that, criminals. If you come to that city and you rob and you loot and you light shit on fire, it's one week of early bedtime. That's how that's how Baltimore's gonna handle this. That's that's fucking brilliant. Oh yeah, and it is it is confirmed by the police. Rioters did cut the hose of a fire truck that was trying to put out a fire. So that that's that's even more retarded than Ferguson. I don't think they did that. They got in everybody's way, and they, they caused a ton of damage, but I don't think they actively stood in the way of firefighters trying to put out blazes by cutting their fire hoses. That is the dumbest fucking thing I've heard of. Okay, well, what's this? You got a Ustream one? Anthony Cumia? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I'm looking. Uh, that's the thing that sucks about this. And I, I, I you know what would be great? Because these seem to be a common occurrence now. 
if somebody could get a couple of drones together and then use social media to find out where all this shit takes place when these riots happen and go out and get footage that way, then we don't have to have some guy in a shitty cell phone camera uh, you know, that's all shaky on the ground. He's half behind a cop. People get in his way. You always got the, uh, you know, the fucking black guy with his pants around his fucking ankles throwing up gang signs in front of the fucking camera and shouting as loudly as he can, fucking up the stream. It, it'd be nice to get drones out there and just have a couple of people, you know, uh, stake out locations where all the shit's going down. And then getting kind of like, you know, not not super high up, but kind of, I, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 feet off the ground footage of just shit going on. You know, have a nice 360 of the area. I mean, yeah, somebody could take it out with a rock or something, but these people have horrible aim. If you if you watch protesters try to target police, it's like really rare they ever hit them. That's why I was really shocked that that many cops got uh, injured today, because they, they almost never connect with those rocks. I mean, even the reporters were fast enough to dodge them, and they don't have police training. They were just kind of standing there doing their newscast, and you'd see bricks going by their head. Yes, drones. Why not drones? You can go buy a consumer version. I don't know, what is it, a couple hundred bucks? A thousand bucks? Just get them out there. Start filming it. I mean, we're going to have enough of these, right? This is the third or fourth time we've had one of these stupid fucking riots. It seems that's the response now. It's becoming a learned response. Anytime something happens, uh, and it seems it's always with a black man dying now, the response to that isn't, let's go after law enforcement. And, and when I say go after, I don't mean physically, but I mean, let's go after law enforcement. Let's go after the administration. Uh, it's let's go burn shit down and loot. That's our, that's what we're going to do. So it happens once people see that's the reaction. And then, you know, they go and do it again and they go and do it again and they go and do it again. And it keeps fucking happening. And yeah, this is the fourth time in a year or two. So, you know, more of these are going to happen. So why not get really good footage of it? Why just why be on the ground with a shaky, shitty cell phone camera? Go buy a drone. People people will pay you to do that. Go out and get some good footage. Get uh, get really get really in there. Then you don't even have to be in the crowd. You can be on a fucking rooftop, you know, two blocks away, doing it uh, remotely with a camera. Of course, there are no consequences, or so they think, Captain America. Well, that's the way a lot of these people are acting. It, it, it's just, they don't give a shit. Yeah, because you're right. They, they don't think there are any consequences to these actions. What's going to happen? Do you think the mayor's going to have any of these people tried? You have all this footage of them breaking the law. All these people breaking the law. Uh, what have we seen in, the last, in, in this country in the last decade? We've seen all these databases built. We've seen all this technology put in place. All these different police forces militarized. So you know that they have the infrastructure to basically take this footage and be like, we can identify all these people. We can identify everybody here that's throwing bricks, that's doing all this shit. And, I, and nobody's going to get charged. They're not going to take that footage and prosecute anybody. So there are no consequences. They've been given a blank check to go out. They've been given carte blanche to go out and fucking destroy the city. And nobody's going to be held accountable except for the one or two idiots that trip and end up getting caught by the police. Uh, you have to you have to be the slowest, dumbest asshole on the block to get caught by the cops during the Baltimore riots because they're they're just standing there. You have to fall into them to get arrested. That actually happened on one of the streams. A guy fell into the police. That's how he got arrested. Nobody else did. People standing a foot away from the police, they wouldn't touch him. The one guy that actually tripped into the police lines, he got arrested. So aside from one or two people like that, Nobody's going to be held accountable for this. How many pictures have you seen, and not just here, but in Ferguson or any of these other incidents that have happened in the last year? How many of these people have been arrested with all the evidence they themselves put up on social media? How many Facebook posts have you seen? How many Twitter posts and YouTube videos and World Star Hip Hop videos have you seen of people showing off the crimes they commit and openly bragging about it? talking about how they're looting places and talking about the fucking new pair of sneakers they got or the new fucking big screen TV. They, they're, they don't give a shit because they know nothing's going to happen to them. Even when they put the evidence out there themselves and hashtag it at the fucking police, nothing happens to them. So aside from one or two people, there will be no consequences. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. 
they're going to use the footage to prosecute them. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. Oh, and here, here we go. Baltimore Orioles postpone game after talking with the the police and the mayor. So that's great. You know, pay pay tickets to go watch a game. You're not breaking the law. You're not you're not doing anything wrong. But your game gets fucked over. You can't go watch, and the team can't play because these assholes want to run rampant in the city. Yeah, that that's that's really good because I'm sure the Baltimore Orioles. I'm sure they're responsible for what happened to Gray, right? You know, they that's that's probably what happened to his neck. I'm sure it was one of their you know hard hitters took a bat and swung away. So we can't let them play baseball. And these pictures are amazing. There's one of an armored van, a Maryland uh, police vehicle, Ma or what is it, Maryland Transit Police, just up in fucking flames, just burned to shit. <sighs> I know when Ferguson was going on that uh, there was an app, or somebody had, had created basically, they'd taken all the police reports, and they'd taken uh, all the footage, and they'd put it onto a program and then put it into like Google Maps, so you could look at updated information, like there are cars burning here, this store's been burnt, uh, you know, there are assaults happening over here. Has anybody done that with this? Because I'd love to be able to watch it in real time and just kind of see the the flow of people going around destroying neighborhoods. Yeah, Freddie, Freddie Gray's spine was nearly severed after his arrest. 80%, yeah, I'd say that's nearly severed. I have no idea what happened to that van, but whoever the fuck's responsible for that is sure as shit going to get fired and prosecuted. Because look at all the fucking destruction. They'll go after him. I, I'm sure, or them, or whatever the fuck happened. It, it, you know, if most police cars have dash cams, wouldn't that van have a, a camera in it somewhere? How is this a mystery what happened to him? There, there should be footage inside there, right? Showing what happened to Freddie Gray. Yeah, uh, due to the curfew, bar owners must be pissed. Uh, yeah, I'd say so, Riley. Could you imagine the amount of business they're losing because of this? Not even because of the curfew, but the game was canceled or postponed. So what? I mean, what happens after a game? People are going to go out and drink, or they're going to drink before the game. They're going to go spend money. It's going to be good for the uh, local economy. Fuck that. That's gone. They're not. They're not going to be doing that now. All because these assholes want to go, just make everything look like shit and burn it to the ground. <sighs> yeah, they fucking jumped on this cop car. They're showing footage right now on the, on the news. They jumped on this cop car for like. 20 fucking minutes and nothing happened the cops just stood there it's just yeah it's surreal the lights are still going that means somebody was in that car the car was running and they somehow started destroying it and the cop in the car i guess just decided i'm gonna get out of the car and walk away the fuck it the taxpayers are the ones that bought this i don't need to you know protect it it's only fifty thousand dollars it's gonna go down the toilet let the taxpayers uh deal with it Oh, even better. Baltimore City Public Schools to be closed tomorrow. Well, you know, that's that's going to really teach those protesters. Hey, kids, if you don't behave yourselves, we're not going to let you go to school. That's that's brilliant. Larry Hogan. It's a uh, that is a good idea from the governor of the great state of Maryland, telling kids that if they don't stop looting, they're not going to be allowed to go to school. I'm sure, that's going to have a, a positive effect on the situation currently taking place. I'm sorry, I'm just digging through digging through multiple streams right now, trying to find a, a good one to watch. Where can I find Freddy's criminal record? Uh, hidden fixtures. Uh, that's, that's a thing. That's why I don't know if it's accurate or not. I've read a couple of news stories like on CBS, ABC, that kind of stuff where they talk about it. And if you go look, I don't understand Wikipedia, but they have the death of, um, the death, the death of Gray, basically what happened with him. There's one reference, I think it's citation four that says it links to his criminal record. But when you go to the article talking about it, they don't actually list what he was, you know, tried and convicted of. It just talks about multiple drug offenses, but there's no actual record. I've seen people post what they say is the record, but I, I haven't seen it myself. So I don't know if it's accurate or not. The only thing I do know is accurate is that he has been arrested and tried for some drug offenses. 
oh, what the fuck? How did he get a spinal injury? I don't get it. Uh, neither do I, Rena. I have no idea how he would have got a spinal injury. Uh, people saying he was thrashing about. I, I don't know if you can really sever your spine thrashing about. I'll be honest. Otherwise, every metalhead that ever went to a Metallica concert would be would be a fucking potato today. Because, <laughs> I mean, think about it. How is he going to do that damage to himself? Again, I would think they would have a camera in the van that he was put in. But I could be wrong. Uh, sending in the National Guard, yes, they are. I don't know if they'll be cr cracking skulls, but... Uh, it won't be probably till tomorrow. So who knows? Who knows what they're going to do? Oh, what is the live map from Ferguson is now the live map of Baltimore? Really? Okay, see that I'll check out. Whoever did that, uh, thanks, because that was really cool. Um, with the Ferguson rides being able to actually see as the shit happened, see where all the crimes were taking place. So it'll be interesting to kind of see where this is breaking out in Baltimore. You figure, I mean, enough people are listening to police scanners and watching live streams. They can compile the information and put it up for people, especially if you live in Baltimore. Fuck, I wouldn't want to be around this shit. Who, who wants to go to the grocery store or, God forbid, the CVS pharmacy and get a brick thrown at your head? Oh, the police updated their numbers. At least 15 officers hurt during violence in Baltimore. 15 police officers hurt because somebody in authority... Somebody in the administration told them to just stand there and take it. Unfucking believable. Just unfucking believable. A SWAT team is mobilizing near Baltimore's Camden Yards. So I'm guessing Camden Yards is where the majority of the shit is taking place right now tonight. Uh, if are there any live streams? Does anybody know if uh, are there any good live streams of Camden Yards? Because apparently that's where everything is going to go down. Uh, let's see. Somebody said uh, criminal record plus sources tweeted to you. Uh, let me go take a look at this. Okay, this is an article from heavy dot or heavy dot com. Let's take a look. All right, why is it doing that? Let's try this. There. I just I want to be able to read, or read what uh, Freddie Gray's criminal record is. So if heavy.com has it, I'll, I'll take a look. If it'll fucking do what it needs to do here. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, for some reason it's not... Article is not loading for me. Oh, my computer's going to shit, isn't it? Really? Try this. Really? All right. I'm being fucking autistic here. All right. You know, fuck it. I can't get it to, uh, can't get it to work. Just, uh, screen cap it and send it to me if you can. I'll take a look at that and trust you that that's what Heavy wrote about. Jim in charge of streaming. Yes, I know I'm terrible at it. I'm just I'm just terrible at it. I tried using Archive today, but it gave me a cross scripting uh, warning, or no script did, a cross scripting uh, attempt or some shit like that. So, what are you gonna do? And before virus, my computer exploded. Five thousand National Guard troops, huh? <laughs> I'm 
drug-related offenses. All right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 what it is. Oh, uh, let's see. Somebody had another another link. Disable no script. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, there we go. Uh, Baltimore County Clerk of Court website. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. Case searches. Oh, it's up on HN poll. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll go look at that too. Drugs shouldn't be offenses. Well, I don't know what he was doing. Is the guy selling weed or has he got a fucking cocaine factory in his house? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, gunshots heard in Baltimore. Do you think? I I'm sure that's going to be all fucking night. All right, let's go take a look at these records. Yeah, my autism won't allow it. Ferguson live map. First result. Oh, let's take a look. I'm trying to find like a decent quality stream. I know people are linking to it, uh, like a few different ones, but try to find something that's uh, entertaining to watch. It's going to be hard to top Fox 10, though. They did a, a bang-up fucking job. All right, where is it? Yeah, both, both uh, 4chan and 8chan's poll are just fucking flying through threads right now about this. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what in the fuck? Somebody saying a crime in progress, armed robbery, hold up. Shots fired, huh? Internalized misogyny. Yeah, I figured that, uh, Tyler. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not going to the YouTube ones. Yeah, I know Anthony or Anthony Kumi is doing a stream right now. Andrew uh, linked it to me earlier. Apparently, he's doing an after riot stream or something like that, which probably is fucking entertaining. Probably more entertaining than this one. So I don't know why you'd be watching this rather than that. But I figure I'd do a small stream and talk about this because it's fucking ridiculous. I don't know, chat. What do you think? You think by tomorrow this is going to calm down? Because if the pass is any indicator, this is going to go on for weeks. Weeks and fucking weeks. It, it's just another one of these. It's becoming old fucking hat. How many cities does this need to happen in before people say, you know what? We might have a fucking problem here that really does need addressing. Because this kind of reaction when people are unhappy about something is fucking ridiculous. It doesn't do any good for the community. It doesn't do any good for the outraged protesters. It doesn't do any good for the you know victims, family, or any of that shit. Just just wanton destruction for no for no reason. 
and actively encouraged by a mayor that is just out of her depth, that, that apparently doesn't know how to perform her mayoral duties in any capacity and would go on and actually publicly state, yeah, go ahead and destroy shit. That's fine. That's uh, just brilliant. Uh, now, oh, what is this? Is this the person in charge of the National Guard that's going to be going in there? Oh, fuck it. It already shot by. I was trying to watch that, but okay. Well, yeah, state of emergency in effect. Curfew in place. No school tomorrow. So if, if you're, <laughs> here's what else I don't get. The police and the mayor and the news have been saying that, oh, it's a lot of youth. You know, it's all these young kids that are causing the trouble. You know, the purge flyers that were going around the schools and it, it's all these kids chucking bricks. So if that's what you're saying, if you're saying it's all these children that are causing the problems, why would you shut the schools down? Because then all those kids that were causing problems don't have anything to do tomorrow. So wh what are they going to do instead? Oh, yeah, they're going to go chuck more bricks at your fucking head. And all their friends are going to join them because they're not going to be in class anyway. So now you've doubled or tripled or quadrupled your initial problem by making all these kids have nothing to do all day except talk to each other online and plan how they're going to fuck with the police. What a dumb fucking plan that is. We're going to shut down the schools. Yeah, that, that's not going to backfire spectacularly on them. That, that's going to turn out really, really well. I have a feeling Baltimore is going to see what a good idea that is tomorrow. Yes, I, I noticed that too, uh, Psycho Chaos. That if you've watched or if you followed any of the, any of the troublemaking in Europe, whether it was in, well, particularly in Sweden, but, uh, you know, in London, uh, when they had their riots going on, and, and really anywhere in Europe, the what they're doing now is they refer to people causing trouble as youths because they don't want to specifically say any particular group because they don't want to offend anybody by being accurate and reporting what the fuck is going on. So when they say youths, I mean, you can go watch the live streams. You can watch the television footage. You tell me what you see. What group are you seeing out on the streets causing trouble right now? But that's not anything the reporters are ever going to say on live television. Hell, Fox 10 and Phoenix, as they're showing live streams of all the shit going on, are talking about white privilege. Somebody actually got them to talk about white privilege. And the guy that was uh, the anchor, Troy, I think it was, had said, yeah, yeah, these people are oppressed. They have an excuse to go do this. But then as he saw how big the destruction was getting and people backing vehicles into buildings to knock walls down, he kind of changed his tune a little bit. But he still chided the chat for being racist, for, you know, saying, <laughs> well, they said a lot of things, let's be honest. But, yeah, it, it's youth or boys uh, or, you know, anything not to specifically name a group. I'm sure if you go watch Anthony Cumia, he, he will tell you what that group is because he doesn't have to worry about uh, anybody coming down on him anymore. Uh, I got a question. How fast is Al Sharpton speeding down the highway to reach Baltimore? Uh, as fast as his BMW will take him. Uh, or is it a Ferrari he drives? I don't know. He's really rich. Every time one of these happens, he shows up, does his photo op, gets his money, and then gets the fuck out of there. So as fast as his high-end car will take him. Oh, yeah, but going back to the youth thing. Yeah, so you, you see that happen, or you saw that happen a lot in Europe. It's starting to happen over here. Newscasters don't want to specifically say a group. It could be any group. In this instance, it's blacks. But they won't say that. Instead, they'll say youths. Like, for some reason, your eyes can't see what's happening on the screen. So you need to be informed by them that this is a nondescript group of people. But that nondescript group of people seem to be a specific group of people that newscasters are scared to death to say. I have no idea why, but that's the way it is. Two buildings burning in the east or on the east side. Well, lovely. Let's let's go burn more shit to the ground. Uh, these these looters, these protesters, these people have to understand that they live here, right? I mean, you can't just claim that these are all outside agitators. Because a lot of the footage with the police doing standoffs shows people on their porches or you know on their balconies looking out into the street 
and looking at all the destruction that's taking place, and they're cheering it on. I mean, you guys are the ones who are going home tomorrow and have to deal with this shit in the morning. It's your neighborhood that's getting jacked up. What, what are you accomplishing by doing that? Letting buildings get burned to the ground, uh, letting cars get lit up, throwing bricks and bottles everywhere. What the fuck are you doing? You're the ones that are going to deal with that. You're going to be tripping over that shit and driving over that shit and looking at that shit. You, you're going to turn Baltimore into, god damn, look at that fire. If you go on Fox right now, holy shit, how big is that fire? It's going to be like three or four buildings. That is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, you're going to turn it into Detroit. It's going to look it's going to look terrible. And granted, I don't know much about Baltimore, so I don't know. Maybe it looks like Detroit, where you've got a bunch of abandoned buildings. Maybe that's the areas that this is happening in. But it's just, my God. Where, where is this fire happening right now? Anybody know? I've got the volume muted on the TV right now. But that looks just massive. Yeah, it looks like they've got five or six fire trucks. Property value in Baltimore. No, this doesn't look like the CVS fire. This is... I, I, I can't imagine it would be the CVS fire because that would be burning for too long. This looks like something new. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people are saying, yes, Baltimore does remind them of Detroit. I've never been, so I don't know. Uh, cities burning in the east side. Building on fire in northeast Baltimore at the intersection of Federal and Chester Street. Not clear if it's related to the riots. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, you know what? Yeah, that's probably related to the riots. Unless buildings in Baltimore spontaneously combust for the fucking fun of it. It would be really coincidental for this particular building to be blazed up that much for no reason at all. God, and there, it just, yeah. Again, here you've got the reporter. Oh, you know, I wish, I wish Hannity were on right now. Hannity, the funniest shit I've ever seen is, like, if you watch, uh, if you were watching earlier today, they were sending out reporters who were asking very tame questions and were staying well back of the main groups of people. Hannity sent people out. I think this was in Ferguson. He took the whitest, pastiest guy you could ever see, like this, this, like, what was his name? Tim or Steve or something like that. And he's actively telling them, go into that group of people and ask them loaded fucking questions. I want to see you get your shit kicked in, Tim. Go into that group of people and ask them, uh, why are black people so violent? Like Hannity was just pushing them out there. That was fucking entertainment. That guy was fucked. But yeah, you watch TV now, they're all, they're all half a mile away. They don't want to get anywhere near it. But all you see are these, you know, people with like masks on their face, and not like the chinology mask. I'm just talking like hoodies or whatever the fuck it is. Can't <laughs> what is that about anything? Can't wait to see her blame this on gaming. Uh, I, I yeah, I don't know. Is she gonna blame this on Madden football? You know, this many Maddens is obviously what's driving these people to destroy their own neighborhoods. We need to end football video games. Uh, obviously, sports games are just too much for the community to handle. Oh, now they've got... Oh, they're fighting amongst themselves. Oh, that's great. What happened to that solidarity? What the fuck is this guy doing? Again, I'm watching Fox right now. That's what I've got on in the background. Credible threat out from gangs to take up police. The same shit that's always going on. Hannity is a shitlord. I never said Hannity was a great show to watch. I just found it funny how he didn't give a shit about his field reporters. It would just, he'd propel them into dangerous situations and just not give a shit because he's sitting in the studio. Hey, Tim, go ask that group of people why they're so fucking stupid. Yeah, no, go do it. Trust me, it'll be all right. It'll be good television. Come on, go do it, Tim. And, the, and this poor motherfucker would go out and it, it just the look on his face, like you could tell he hated it. He hated Hannity for making him go out and do that. But what is he going to do? He, he can't bitch at him. He's getting paid. That's his job. Yeah, point and click adventure games. That that's that's what's doing it. <laughs> yeah, too many too many black youths in Baltimore are playing uh, point and click adventure games, and it's turning them horribly violent. 
Uh, Kharkov Jim. No, not to, not tonight. I want to be sober to watch this. You don't need to get drunk to enjoy this. Because eventually people have to learn that something has to be done. I don't, I don't know when somebody's just going to call this out for what it is and talk about what the issue really is. Or if they're just going to dance around the issue and be like, yeah, it, it's just protesters burning down the cities. God damn, that's a big fire. You know, they probably could have taken that out and taken care of it earlier if assholes weren't cutting their fucking hoses earlier. But, you know, and that makes sense. That's a good job. It's like nobody explained to them the concept that fire spreads, so you need to put it out quickly. Otherwise, every building around it's going to go up. Uh, you know what? Keegan, I agree with you. Obviously, this was caused by Revolution 60. Clearly, that game is responsible for the destruction we are currently seeing take place in Baltimore. Oh, they've got this. i got to turn the volume up on this. This little reporter is like two feet tall. Uh, they have no idea what's going on. Yeah, WJZ. I don't know if that's an affiliate station or just whoever's feed they're picking up, but it seems like WJZ has a lot of people on the ground right now. If WJZ has a live feed, that's the one I'd be watching. Because they have people on the ground, they have people in the sky. They're, they're getting shots from just everywhere. So they've got this little tiny reporter who looks like a Oompa Loompa. Like she's two feet tall in the ugliest jacket you've ever seen. Standing standing and watching the firemen try to take care of this. And they're obviously having a tough time about it. Oh god, are they whipping shit? The firemen too? Why would you go after the firefighters? Like of all the people to go after, you know, why them? Why the fire department? What did they ever do to anybody? They are not. They don't arrest people. They run into burning buildings to save your ass, and they put out fires so your house doesn't burn to the ground. Why would you assault them? Why would you throw things at them? The fire department is not the police. Even the staunchest person who hates the police. Uh, how are you going to justify hating the fire department? Fucking idiots. Just trashing their own neighborhoods. Do, do you really think... Let's, you know, talk realistically here. Do you really think that people that did civil rights marches, whether that was for the nonviolent form or even the violent form, whether you're talking about people like Martin Luther King or Medgar Evers, whether you're talking about people like Malcolm X, do you, or, yeah, do, you, do you think that their advice was, hey, if you're angry about something, if you're angry about the treatment that you're receiving from your, you know, uh, perceived uh, oppressor, that you should go out and destroy your own neighborhoods? I sure as shit don't remember quotes from any of them saying, yeah. Uh, when something bad happens to you and your rights are violated or you're upset about something, you go down and burn down the local grocery store. Uh, go take out the fire department because they deserve it. Uh, go rob a bank. Uh, go destroy your neighbor's car. That's going to solve your issue. What the fuck is the matter with people today? How, how is this going to accomplish anything? You're, you're not hurting. You're not even hurting the people that you're angry at. You're just hurting innocent people. You're destroying unrelated businesses and homes. These people are... I just, I don't get it. It makes my mind shut down when I try to process what the fuck I'm watching. You could be right, uh, the Great Indoors, 1979. They trash their own neighborhoods because they don't own the houses. I mean, maybe that's why they don't care. Maybe they're burning down houses and buildings. Maybe they're going after businesses and cars because they don't have anything they have to worry about getting destroyed. Or on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have people like those from the city paper, all these, uh, you know, smarmy, college-educated, uh, SJW cunts that, you know, oh, well, if their Mercedes gets damaged, mommy and daddy can buy them a new one, so it's not really a big deal. So property loss to them isn't a big deal because they're rich enough to afford it. Or you don't own any property, so you don't care if shit gets destroyed. So who ends up getting fucked in this scenario? Well, it's a middle class. And that's that's the middle working class. Uh, that could be black or white. It doesn't fucking matter. They're the ones that suffer. They're the ones that lose all their shit. But these fucking assholes on the streets don't. And these SJW morons that basically facilitate and, you know, egg these people on, they don't have to worry about anything. I mean, daddy will buy them something new. Money is nothing to them. So who gives a shit? He's just expressing his diversity and multiculturalism when he takes a fucking tire iron to my Ferrari. But don't worry, daddy's got money. He'll repair it. 
Go ahead and express your rage. Fucking ridiculous. Right, give me a second here. Uh, Michael Wollen, speaking of which, where are the SJWs? Oh, they were out there yesterday. They were out at, the, well, they were out during daylight yesterday. Um, and they were taking footage and you saw one or two of them uh, kind of interspersed within the crowds. But I haven't seen any of them tonight, I'll be honest with you. If you watch the uh, the live streams, if you're watching television, you, you point them out. I, I, I don't really see a lot of them because... I think now they're legitimately scared that they're going to get hit in the head with a brick because those sh that shit was flying everywhere. Now it looks like they have somebody gathering. Uh, stop lethal force. That's the protest sign. These people are standing in the middle of the street with a giant yellow sign that says, stop lethal force while buildings burn around them. The night sky is choked with smoke right now, and they're saying stop lethal force. How about stop burning down your neighborhoods, you fucking morons? Look, if you're watching uh, Fox News right now, these people are in the street with broken glass and bricks all around them scattered at their feet, and smoke is choking the air, and they're out there bitching saying it's, we need to stop lethal force. That's the thing they're upset about as their community gets destroyed around them. That's the thing that bothers them. Brilliant. Just fucking brilliant. Ah, uh, massive building fire. Yep. <laughs> Bullying for behave. That's a great fucking video, by the way. Federal and J Street was a center set up to bring services to the community. Are you kidding me? That's where the fire is? Oh, that's just fucking ridiculous. God, the streets of Baltimore look like shit. Oh, yeah, they got a guy climbing out of a building right now. Got shit in his arms. He doesn't even care. He's on fucking television. Right down the street from the people saying stop lethal force. They're looting a store right next to the protest talking about the police being corrupt. Oh, that's great. That That's really good. That doesn't make you look like just jackasses at the highest fucking order. Oh, are you kidding me? It's, it's 10 feet away. They're robbing a store 10 feet away from the community gathering of, for solidarity. They're just walking out of the fucking plate glass window like it's nothing. Arms full of shit. They don't even care what it is. They're just grabbing whatever they can. If you remember the uh, the London riots, people sealing bags of rice. They don't fucking care. Whatever's not bolted down, they're just going to take. Everybody's laughing and having a good time destroying stores and taking shit that isn't theirs. Fuck the police. Who, who cares, right? Uh, they're just standing there with their thumbs up their asses as everybody gets together for this ridiculous photo op of a group of 10 community leaders and one religious official who want to stop lethal force. Yeah, they'll stand, they'll stand that uh, intersection for about a good 10 minutes while the cameras click away. And then once everybody's done filming, they'll fuck off somewhere else. And people will continue to loot and burn things. Yeah, that's really going to save the community, guys. You're doing a bang-up fucking job. These are the community leaders saying stop lethal force. And right in front of them, stores are being robbed. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, it's not a stream, man. I'm watching this on Fox News. I, I don't know if this isn't from... I don't know what, what stream they're getting this from. I know one is a local affiliate, but I think that's... They've got two videos up. I think that's the right side, uh, which is filming the fire. The other one is... Oh, now somebody's sweeping. Oh, look at this. Look at this asshole. He's got a broom, and he swept long enough to, for the camera to film him. Once the camera stopped filming him, he stopped sweeping. Are you kidding me? These assholes. This is the kind of shit Sharpton and Jesse Jackson do. They show up and make it look like they care. They show up and make it look like they give a shit. But the second people stop filming, or the second they think nobody's looking, oh, they're done. Oh, look at He brought a trash can right in front of the camera. Look at me. Look how, <laughs> look how much of a community activist I am. I'm, I'm picking up a little bit of glass. Hey, everybody, look at this. I really care about the community. Oh, is that a store being robbed right behind me? No, I don't care about that. Let me get this little piece of glass. Are you filming this? Yeah, get my good side. 
want to put this up on Facebook. I want everybody to be able to watch this so I can tell them how great a guy I am. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, they need a couple of Koreans down there. Some fucking rooftop Koreans. That would end this shit real quickly. Those guys don't play around. Be unloading their magnums and rifles in them. And the, the thing that's even crazier, CBS, okay, you could say that's a franchise. The store they were robbing live on Fox News, that's not a franchise. That's some little mom and pop store. They broke into some little business that probably had to struggle its ass off to get that shitty location and to fill it up with merchandise. And they broke into it and looted it in the span of five minutes. They don't give two fucks about the people that struggled to make that store a reality. And they ruined them. So I, I hope to God whoever that was has fucking insurance. I hope to God whatever business that was can get reimbursed. Otherwise, they're done. That's the end of their livelihood right there on live television as the community leaders do their photo opping bullshit in the intersection and a fucking uh, skyline is choked with smoke behind them. Unfucking real. Yeah, yeah, you, you dumb little reporter. That giant purple building to your right, that's the one that got robbed. Oh, no. Yeah, walk past it. Let's not film that. Good job, Fox. It's really good in Baltimore. Whoever that affiliate is should get his head kicked in for not filming that some more. It's just, it, it, it's infuriating watching the shit. It's just such, it's such bullshit. These people don't care. This is what always happens. You get, you know, quote unquote, community leaders who show up for a photo op and then they, they fuck off somewhere else. But they'll always come, they'll come back the next day to tell you that, oh, no, we gathered. We gathered for a whole 10 minutes in front of news cameras and it was totally peaceful. So every other protester, they must be peaceful too. But they're, they're not connected. They're not, they're not paying attention to what's going on. They don't care. And it happens every fucking time. And then the news media will portray this like, well, see, these community leaders said that everything's peaceful and, you know, terrible things aren't happening. Yeah, terrible things aren't happening to them during their photo op, but they're not sticking around to see what's really happening a block away, or in this case, 10 feet away. 10 feet away with national press there and the police department there, and nobody stopped them. They looted that place in front of that many people and nobody stopped them. That's why what I said earlier about nobody, you know, somebody was saying they're not afraid of consequences. Of course they're not. They'd have to trip into the police to get arrested. What a joke Baltimore is. The mayor is who allowed this to happen. The chief of police allowed this to happen. The governor allowed this to happen by trusting the dumb fucking uh, mayor of Baltimore to make the right decision to do the right thing. And what did she do? She put a curfew into effect and told school, you know, kids they got a free day off school tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to stop them. What a fucking joke. What a fucking joke. What, why try in this country anymore? You bust your ass. You struggle to make it somewhere. You, you work and you work and you work. And you get a little business set up. And this scum, these fucking thugs, these pieces of shit, come and destroy it. And they don't give a shit. They're laughing and having fun. And nobody stops them. Not the press. Not the civic leaders. Not the people assembled there. Not the police. What a fucking joke. It's, it's just fucking disgusting. But I'm sure the mayor of Baltimore is thrilled because they got to express their First Amendment rights and, you know, breaking into a business and stealing everything that wasn't fucking bolted down. Uh, 10 p.m. curfews for anybody that's an adult. 9 p.m. if you're under 14 or if you're 14 or under, from what I understand. And then people wonder why I smoke. I'll tell you, right now the only thing that's going to calm me down is a, a nice comforting camel cigarette. There's nothing better than smoking, kids. Remember that. From the VP of Camel himself. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I'm not fucking with you, chat. Yes, that was your solution, was putting a curfew into place and giving kids uh, school off tomorrow. That, that was her solution. The governor's the one that declared a state of emergency. The governor's the one that responded to the request to get National Guard out there. So they're saying 5,000. 
I, I, they're not going to be out there tonight, obviously. I mean, you're still watching this. It's, it's still going on. It's 9.30 right now. Uh, buildings are burning. People are looting. It, it's still going on. The fire department still doesn't have this under control. God, I'm fucking real. Uh, yes, Arctic Commando. I am a camel shill. Actually, let me go take a look at Twitter, see if anybody posted any good links. Find a, a good stream of this shit going on. All right, let's see. Three minutes ago, uh, from Poke Dude 750 Code 13 shots fired at a liquor store. What a fucking surprise. You mean they're they're looting a liquor store? What? I thought that oh you know they were going after Barnes and Noble, and the job center. Isn't that where all the looters are going? All the rioters, all these protesters. You know they're they're going to go to Barnes and Noble and steal themselves a, a nice uh, Encyclopedia uh, Britannica collection. Almost said Dramatica. Oh fucking hell. Oh somebody posted up a link to the WJZ news thing. Oh, this is a uh, Baltimore CBS local. All right, that's the WJZ stream. Okay, perfect. Here, let me. I'll retweet this on uh, on Twitter if you want. If anybody wants to watch WJZ, and I think that's the one covering the fire right now. That giant building burning, or the giant building burning right now, is a senior center. That can't be right. They're burning down a senior center. Are you fucking kidding me? What next? Are they going to go after the orphanage? You know, maybe maybe a vet somewhere needs to be taught a lesson. Are they going to go light dogs and cats on fire? Are they responsible for you know Gray's death and his spinal cord? They they're burning down a senior center. You've got to fucking be kidding me. Unfucking real. Just unfucking real. Yeah, for anybody interested, I, I retweeted the uh, link the guy sent me to the WJZ feed. Good God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, let's see. Blackface Kermit Andrew, what's up? What's more is most of the local government and law enforcement are black. So where is this institutional racism they speak of? Uh, yeah, somebody, a uh, news reporter mentioned that earlier, um, that the breakdown, uh, the demographics of the police force in Baltimore was was very close to being evenly split between black and white. I think it was like 46% white, 43% black, or something like that. Uh, again, I'm half remembering this, so I could be completely off on that. You'll have to look into it yourself if anybody listening wants to verify that. I don't know. Maybe King of Pole can pop in and verify it for us. But from what they were saying, it's pretty split down the middle. So yeah, institutional. Yeah, how do you have institutional racism in a city that's run by a black female mayor and a police force that is, you know, uh, essentially 50% black? So what, what institutional racism are they facing exactly? Uh, let me see if I can find this, uh, the stats of this shit. Baltimore Sun reporter saved from mob by store owner armed with gun. Armed with shotgun. Oh, here we go. It's uh, Okay, we've got Breitbart. Article, let me retweet this. Wait, who wrote this? Oh, R. Hawkins, all right. Sorry, I'm just taking a second to read through this. No, oh, okay, they're talking about a CNN story from earlier. Fenton was on the streets of Baltimore and ran towards a location where an officer was reported to have been injured by the rioters. He said, I ran down and got in the middle of everything. Fenton said he was inside the area of Pennsylvania Avenue and North Avenue where a lot of things were taking place. 
He was near a cash checking place that had been broken into. What a shock. And he was being protected by a group of self-identifying Crips gang members. But he turned away from them to take a photo, at which point he was approached by a man with a hoodie pulled right over his face. Fenn says the man holding a container the man was holding a container of mace. The man in the hoodie allegedly demanded Fenton's phone and shot him in the head with mace. Fenton took off running and made it to a store where he was protected by a business owner who was guarding his property with a shotgun. Probably one of the more intelligent residents of Baltimore, deciding not to rely on the fucking police to protect his business and instead doing it himself. Which, at this point, is what I'd be doing because it sure shit is not looking good for anybody that's relying on local law enforcement to protect them. I retweeted that. That's a that is a article up on Breitbart. So uh, no rooftop Koreans, but shot co or shotgun toting local businessmen. So <laughs> God. Okay, let's see. Somebody's watching CBS uh, from Poke Dude Seven Fifty again. Four fires confirmed. Nursing home, truck, warehouse, and houses behind one of the other buildings on fire. Yeah, so, uh, why? Why would you go after a nursing home? I, You know, I'm so sick of seeing people, especially on social media, tweet out stuff like, you know, you shouldn't be offended by property damage. You should be upset that somebody died. You should be upset by what sparked this off rather than the reaction to it. All right, so you're, you're okay with their uh, protest, including burning down a fucking nursing home that makes sense to you this is who who's gonna watch this and think it's a, a compelling argument in their favor who's gonna watch this and think it it, it I don't get it burning down senior citizens home burning down businesses looting businesses letting cars on fire destroying streets chasing after people robbing people it reminds me uh, there was a Ferguson live stream <laughs> was this really liberal hippie asshole, right? Kind of SJW light. And he was out with the Ferguson protesters. Or was it a, it was a woman or a man? I can't even remember. It was a while ago. But they're talking about how everybody, you know, this is a great gathering. It's a peaceful protest. And then right while they're live streaming, somebody, a, a black guy runs up and yanks the phone out of their hand and runs off with it. And that's how the stream ends, is the guy stole their phone, stole their iPhone so they couldn't do their stream anymore. Just... <laughs> It's, it, it, I, I, I'm just kind of speechless. I don't, I don't know what to say, I guess. I'm burning myself out here. I'm getting uh, just tired of it. I can't be the only one who's getting tired of it. You can't, you can't watch this shit and not just get beaten down by it. And not just be fucking sick and tired of it. And don't take this as like some defense of the police force in this, is, or in this case. Don't, don't take this as me saying, oh, they were totally justified. I'm not saying they were at all. They could be completely culpable and responsible and have committed a crime and killed this guy, uh, injured him severely for no reason. But this sort of reaction is bullshit, and it's not directed at who it should be directed at. You know, my problem with the police force in America was with, with its militarization over the years. That's, that's what I'm upset about. I, I don't want a police force that's armed to the teeth. But then shit like this happens, and that's the justification they need. You know, these people are like, oh, you know, the police are out in full presence. Why do they need shields? Why do they need batons? Why do they need armored vehicles? Maybe because you're throwing fucking Molotov cocktails at their head, hucking bricks at them, and threatening to have gang members kill them. Maybe you're the ones justifying this shit happening. It, and as a passive observer, as somebody sitting on the sideline watching this shit, who do, who do you root for? Are you rooting for the police that are being, being turned into a standing army? Or are you rooting for the fucking uh, protesters that are burning down their cities? You, you can't back either side. It's a shit show. Who the, who the fuck do you root for in this? It's sure not the, the people saying they're standing up for justice. You know, the people doing the photo ops, they don't give a shit either way. They're just making a buck and a little bit of fame. So what side do you back? Because you're fucked either way. You could say, I back the police, but then you get to live under some totalitarian regime where the NSA is wiretapping your ass and SWAT shows up to your house because you got a speeding ticket. Or you can say you're backing the protesters and then get beaten over the head by somebody robbing you next week because they got upset somebody said a triggering thing. So they're going to loot and burn your fucking hometown to the ground. So what, what side do you align with? 
What side does the least damage to fuck your day up? This country is going to shit by everybody. It's all these sides are fucking everything up. And you're just stuck. You're stuck watching the fucking news. You're stuck at home watching a fucking live stream of insanity take place right in front of you. And you feel just, what, what feeling does it instill in you? It's just this fucking gut-wrenching hopelessness. It's this fucking despair that you know things are getting worse. And you can't, how do you fix it? How do you fix this shit? These people aren't going to listen to you. Either, either side of these kind of things, they're never going to listen to you. So you're just stuck watching them outdo each other, you know, upping the ante to see who can be the most ridiculous. <sighs> Start your own side. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if this country has it in it anymore to start their own side. How are people raised from birth onwards now here? They have shit put in their head by ridiculous school curriculums that make them stupider, that tell them to be in touch with their feelings, that don't educate them in the ways of the world or fucking history, that, that don't care about a good education. They're, they're taught common core. That's what we're taught now. They're told that they're all winners. Nothing they do is wrong. They become narcissists. They have technology at their disposal that makes them the center of the world. And then they argue with each other to see who's the most oppressed and the most special. So we're breeding. What are we breeding? We're breeding stupid, arrogant people that just aren't connected to anything anymore. They don't care. It, it just, I don't know what the fuck to do. I just, I, I can't keep watching this shit. I mean, can you, can you sit and watch this day after day and not become depressed at the, at the direction America's going? It's just, it, it's so big. What you're dealing with is so big. How do you fix it? You, you try to start your, your, your own side. You say, who's going to stand with you? You're going to be standing out there alone. Cry for us. Not yet. Not, not until I've had more alcohol. Well, yeah, it should be sad. It should be sad. Uh, maybe Russia will save us. I highly doubt that. I think, I think Russia's got its own shit to deal with. I don't think they're going to be saving anybody. Uh, somebody said, I'm glad I'm Canadian. I don't know what you're glad about. Uh, you know, I know America's uh, going down a shitty direction. I got bad news for you as far as Canada's going. They had a stand-up comedian that had to pay out, was it a $10,000 fine, a $15,000 fine? And then a restitution to somebody who got offended at a joke he told. Because he had a heckler in the audience. Some, uh, some just bitch that was in his audience. And he just went after her. Just went after her with venom. And the Supreme Court in Canada upheld the decision. Or a higher court basically upheld the decision, making him pay her because he hurt her feelings. And you look at stuff like the the Hollowed Howls uh, episode I did with Dalhousie University. That's that's Nova Scotia. That's Canadian. I've seen where your colleges are at. You're just as bad as we are. I, I wouldn't be celebrating too much. Yeah, Canada, you're, you're going down the toilet along with us. It was $20,000? That's how much you had to pay? Fucking ridiculous. $20,000 because you hurt somebody's feeling because they heckled you. Because they were in your audience and they heckled you. And you told them to go fuck themselves. And you got to pay $20,000 because of hurt feelings. What a fucking joke. Oh, don't don't uh, jump too quickly on talking shit about Canada, though, Chad. We're going down that direction as well. Just just give it time. Look at they went after what was it? They went after God fucking everybody. The most recent one I can remember is Tosh Point oh. Remember that shit show where he made a joke uh, directed at somebody and she threw a huge shit fit. Sure, she can't bring him through the courts to sue him, but she can go to the social media. She can go to the media itself and whine about it and get oppression bucks on Patreon and get people putting up Indiegogo and GoFundMe campaigns because she cried herself to sleep that night and talk about how Tosh Point oh is the you know, cis male white oppressor and have Jezebel write a fucking article about it. China loves you. Is there is there any country left on the face of the earth at this point that isn't a complete shit show? Is there is there anywhere left where people can just be people? Where it's just 
a meritocracy where you're judged by your actions and your character rather than some fucking other factor does that does that place exist the west is fucked space is the final frontier you know i i, I believe that myself i think space is going to be great for people if we get there if we don't end up blowing each other up before we get there before we can get businesses it has to be the private sector that really opens up space travel It'll probably be through i don't know satellite hotels and then maybe minor mining stuff and space flight then you'll see the kind of boom it, that's always the way governments and the military will kind of start something and then the private sector and some businesses will come in and expand on it and then it really goes you know uh, becomes a bonanza essentially yeah I'm seeing people li list a bunch of countries uh, Japan by any chance is Japan going to exist anymore I thought their birth rates were declining to the point where <laughs> are there going to be any Japanese people left in 50 years I, I suppose for us maybe that's the answer but for the people coming after us I, I don't know if it'll be around Texas oh well, yeah maybe Texas Singapore? I don't know about Singapore. Well, you know what? I don't know enough about Singapore. Maybe you're right. Maybe Singapore is a fucking utopia. I don't know. Germany, no. Ger uh, what was the thread earlier today? Uh, they were talking about Sweden in this particular thread, talking about their standard of living uh, and how by, like, was it 2030, they were going to be just, just they are going to be essentially close to a third world country in terms of quality of living. But they were showing lists. Uh, of other countries and what their quality of living was going to be. And Germany's declining. By 2030, they're going to be like 21st, 22nd on the list. Not that America is really that higher, but... Monaco? Maybe Monaco. Yeah, I'm seeing shit like Monaco and Nepal. <laughs> what about Poland? You know, I don't, I, I don't even know that much about Poland. Just uh, the Poland Ball comics, which are funny, and all the, the Polish jokes, but I, I don't know shit about the country. Sweden, yes. Yeah, Sweden did a bang-up job, didn't they? Yeah. Highest rape rate in the world. Second highest. Highest in Europe, by far. Uh, low prosecutions of it. And then, yeah, third world living standards by 2030. If that was true. I don't know. Could be completely pulled out of somebody's ass. Who knows? But with the way Sweden's been doing things, I wouldn't doubt it. Mexico because you can sell drugs. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want a cartel cutting my head off. Oh, this is, this is good. They've got another uh, little news alert. Baltimore police, despite our efforts, criminals continue to assault officers. What, what effort would that be, Baltimore police? Uh, the effort of standing there and letting crime happen? Well, yeah, if you stand there like a, like a fucking post in the dirt, yeah, crime's going to happen. They're going to assault you because you're not doing anything. <laughs> oh, this is good. Uh, Baltimore councilman, young people showing anger in a destructive way. Did you just come to that conclusion? How many, how many building fires did it take for you to figure out this is destructive? And if you've got a problem with that, Councilman, go talk to the fucking mayor. She's the one that okayed it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to jump to Twitter, see if anybody's got some good links for me. <laughs> There's a Craigslist for roof Koreans. Well, you know what? That that should have been a service offered. <laughs> uh, how long is the stream going to be? I don't know. I'm just I, I'm watching the shit as it happens. Uh, I'll keep it going for a while, or as long as people give a shit, I guess. I don't even know. Let me go take a look. See if people want me to continue this or call it a night. I don't know, stream. Should I keep going or should I just cut it off here? 
Uh, of course, it's got to catch up now. Oh, that's what's fucking slowing everything up. All right, give me uh, give me one minute here, Chad. I'm gonna go get a drink. Be right back. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, so <laughs> Fox News has a report in three shot in Brooklyn. And they're saying it might be related. Like uh, with the Ferguson riots where there was shit breaking out other places. Of course. Of course, why wouldn't it just stay contained into Baltimore? Let's just fuck up other places. Besides, wasn't, wasn't Brooklyn where the Asian cop ended up getting indicted on manslaughter for uh, accidentally discharging his gun and shooting somebody? I, I tried looking into that. I'm not sure 100% what the fuck was going on with it. Uh, apparently, he was in a stairwell, and somebody a floor below him uh, opened their door, and his gun accidentally discharged, and it ricocheted off a wall and ended up hitting the guy and killing him. And then they ended up indicting him and charging him with manslaughter. So I, I don't know. Everything about that seems weird, but I, if I remember right, it was in Brooklyn. <laughs> Fox is triggering. Yes, it is. But what, what else am I going to watch? MSNBC? Uh, they've leaned so far forward, they gave themselves a fucking uh, concussion. And CNN, what, what do they have on CNN? They have Anderson Cooper talking about anti-gay bullying. So if I, if I want to watch live shit, usually it's got to be Fox. Uh, you know, I'll switch. I'll take a look and see what else is going on. Oh, the History Channel. You know, I'm sure they're going to have an ancient uh, alien theorist on who's going to talk about how Baltimore really isn't the result of racial riots, but is instead somehow influenced by aliens. That, that's every fucking show on the History Channel today. Oh, MSNBC, yeah. Uh, officers injured during clashes. But they're showing the same WJZ feed that everybody else is. Uh, CNN headline news. Nope, talking about Whitney Houston. Okay, Dr. Drew. That's important. Let's cover that. Oh, here we go. Oh, CNN's actually got somebody on the ground in Baltimore next to a fire truck, away from everybody who's protesting. It, how? At least Fox is up in the ass of the protesters. Sure, they may not be covering it the best, but they're at the scene. CNN, on the other hand, is talking to some guy guarded by 40 different firefighters and 10 different police officers. So it doesn't look like anything's happening if you watch on CNN. But you go over to Fox, and what do you got? You got multiple feeds showing shit just burning to the ground. Uh, WBAL TV 11 is Baltimore's local station. Somebody's saying, what about Al Jazeera America? I don't know if they're covering it. I haven't actually checked. <laughs> you think I'm joking about this, Chad, but I'm not. Go watch the History Channel sometime. All you're ever going to see them talk about is aliens. I watched a fucking. I watched three hours of the History Channel one night, and the first episode was about aliens in Vietnam. The second episode was about aliens during the Civil War, and they actually talked about how Abraham Lincoln 
built the Statue of Freedom in the Capitol because aliens influenced that decision. And then the third episode was talking about the basic shit they always talk about, how pyramids were built by aliens. That is all the History Channel is now. I remember when the History Channel used to show history. I know that sounds weird. Like back in the day when MTV used to show music and the Discovery Channel was about discovering shit. And TLC was really the learning channel and not fat five-year-olds that shake their tits on camera for shows like Toddlers and Tiaras. Yeah, I, I, TV has gone to shit as a whole. But the History Channel, I think, has become the most laughable example of it with their ancient alien theorists. They always have that, some vague statement. They've got some guy who's an alien theorist who will tell you anything. Anything you want to hear has been influenced by aliens. The Civil War, aliens. Submarines invented by aliens. Electricity, really alien thought waves being sent into your house, empowering all your devices. That's how you're under their control, because of aliens. History, what's that? That used to be a channel that was entertaining. Well, you know what? That's not fair. It still is mildly entertaining in a sort of laugh-at-the-retard sort of way. But not like it used to be. I mean, the History Channel for, I'd say, about four or five years was pretty much the Hitler Channel. It was nothing but World War II stuff, which was entertaining. I mean, they showed just tons of shit about World War II with none of the aliens involved. Before that, they... God, what did they deal with before that? Well, everything. They were kind of a, a smorgasbord of different shit. But now it's, it's nothing but aliens. Yes, they'll tell you that Jesus was influenced by aliens. Absolutely fucking everything was influenced by aliens, according to the History Channel. South Park seems to knock it out of the park when they, <laughs> when they do a show. It usually it turns out to be fairly accurate in that Thanksgiving episode where it was aliens, uh, because the History Channel said so. That, that's pretty much how they roll. Yes, I miss World War II History Channel as well. Animal Planet. Have you watched Animal Planet? Do they even show animals on that anymore? I was watching Dirty Jobs with uh, was Mike Rowe. They had that on there for some reason on Animal Planet. Oh, and that's right. I, I, should, I should reiterate, it's not always aliens on the History Channel. Occasionally, you watch fat people in pawn shops. And if you're, if you're really lucky, hillbillies in the bayou, that, that comes up too for some reason on the History Channel. But I'm getting off track here. We're supposed to be talking about Baltimore. Oh, why do they have Michael Brown's family attorney on Fox News right now? Why is, why is Daryl Parks talking about Baltimore? Let's see what Daryl Parks has to say. Yeah, he's a Fox News reporter. Yeah, tell us, why does this keep happening? Yeah, that's a, let me hear the answer to that, Jim. Oh, we're having meaningful, or meaningful discussions about this now. Nobody's discussing anything. They're scared to death to go on to TV and talk about race. Nobody's going to go on television and talk honestly about race. Are you fucking kidding me? If you say the wrong thing, you're you're done. You're 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 over with. You're branded a pariah, and that goes on either side of the fence. Everybody's got this bullshit narrative. They've got to jump through hoops to maintain. Nobody's going to go on television and talk about fucking race in this country in any honest capacity. That's that's suicide. That's never going to happen. Meaningful discussion about race. Are you fucking joking? Yeah, that, that's never going to happen, Mr. Parks. Wait, Daryl Parks is going to be representing Gray's family? Oh, oh, you're taking him back. Okay. Yeah, you know, he, he might. He might. They'll, they'll uh, probably get somebody. You know what? Uh, yeah, I bet that's what this is. I bet every attorney you're going to hear on television for the next week is going to be showing off. You know, like how, um, oh, fuck, how birds show off their plumage to attract mates? That's what attorneys do. They go on television and they give their opinion on a case to try to attract the family so they'll, you know, hire them, they'll retain them, so they can sue the city on their behalf. So I bet you I bet you're right. I bet Parks is probably going on television 
and is putting on a show to attract the family of Grey. So they'll take him, they'll retain him, and use his services to sue. Just like how uh, Sharpton and Jackson will go down there and get some attention. Uh, it's all plumage. That's what, it, that's what it is. That's what national news has become. It's, it's birds showing off their plumage. Yes, it's a mating display. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a fucking mating display. Oh, and here's this dumb fucker. Their Fox News reporter is watering this fucking desolate looking hellscape. It's like somebody took a fucking Fallout 3 mod and made it in real life. Welcome to the city of Baltimore. And he's just wandering around. You can see eviction notices on fucking homes. He doesn't know where he is. He sees lights in the dif in the distance. It's reacting like a cat to a shiny object. <laughs> he's so lost. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, yeah, I showed the police. Okay, let's look at the building. Uh, this dumb motherfucker in the field. He is just out of his depth. <laughs> Lion loose in Baltimore. God, I wish that was I, I wish that was real. I wish there was the Baltimore Zoo. I wish they broke into that and let all the animals out. That would be entertaining. Seeing fucking lions and giraffes running down the street. <laughs> I'd love to see the reaction to that. Now oh, who do we got? We got somebody. Eh? <laughs> the Fox reporter is trying to tell this guy he can't curse on TV as he drops every F-bomb he can. That'll work out well. Yeah, shit. It, sh it sh shouldn't be like that, yo. Fucking fuck, fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. Am I on TV? Well, fuckity fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> they, like, all these news outlets look like they're running around with their heads cut off. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They can't talk to anybody because it's going to go to shit for them in about three seconds. They have to hope they have a live delay on so they can bleep out every curse word that comes out of these fuckers' mouths. At least that's a great thing about the internet. I can swear all I want. We can all swear as much as we want. We're not beholden to people. This guy. Well, this is a great shit. What does his shirt say? It says Neff. Neff? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is. He's pulling his clothes off. He's got a bruise on him. It's not It's not on a stream. I know people are asking. This is actually on television. It's Fox News. Right now on Fox News, the reporter is trying to calm this man down and get him not to swear as he rambles on about incoherent shit. And it's the one lone guy. It just it seems fake as shit. It's the one lone guy wandering around. It's this fucking reporter this manlit white guy with coiffed hair and it looks like he's got colored tips on his fucking hair is standing there interviewing him. I, I think I'm actually watching him shrink on television. Got fit needs to watch this. It's like the birth of a manlet. He's losing inches as, as, as this goes on. He's getting shorter. <laughs> is that a, did he pull out a sex toy? What the fuck is that? It looks like he's got mini flashlights. This guy looks like he's pulling out mini flashlights to show the reporter what he puts his dick in. Yeah, now the reporter, I'm going to walk the fuck away from this. Yeah, I bet you are. I bet you're going to walk away from that. Oh, God, I'd hate to live in Baltimore right now. It's going to be noisy as shit all fucking night. If you're anywhere near this disaster. Oh, we got more people. <laughs> he can't even control the people he's talking to. Oh, these battle lines. What battle lines? The cops are standing there. They're not doing anything. They're just waiting for the National Guard to show up. Is there really a line out in Baltimore? Oh, there really is a line out in Baltimore. I tweeted you a picture of it. I'm going to go take a look at this. I'm fairly certain you're completely full of shit, but I'm going to go take a look at it. <laughs> the 
There's no fucking way this is real. There is no way this is real. <laughs> what, did somebody rob a zoo? <laughs> There's a fucking lion on the loose. How, how do you pull that off? Who thought that would be a good idea? They tried to rob the zoo and the lion drove them off. I don't know. This is turning out to be the best ride ever. Oh, fucking animals wander in the streets. Hunting people. Bottles getting chucked everywhere. Reporters shrinking on live television getting sworn at. A mayor who has no idea what they're doing. National Guard's nowhere in sight. Kids are pa they're passing around flyers talking about purging society. It's like somebody. Uh, it's like a, a, a. It's like the plot out of Batman. It's like Jack Nicholson dressed up as a Joker and started gassing the city with crazy, uh, crazy shit. <laughs> like what the fuck is going on in Baltimore? Uh, people asking about the lion. Uh, if you know what my Twitter is, it's the same fucking thing as the channel, Mister Medicker. I retweeted the guy that sent me the picture. It could be complete bullshit. I don't know, but I, I hope it's not. I hope it's not fucking uh, a bullshit. <laughs> Somebody said Hannity is on. Oh, God, he is. Oh, Leland, you are fucked. This field reporter is fucked. If Hannity's in the studio, he's gonna make this little he's gonna make this little white manlet run right into the middle of the biggest group of black guys he can find and start asking questions. It's gonna get him beaten down. Oh, Hannity doesn't care about field reporters. <laughs> they're, they're nothing but cannon fodder to him. Oh, come on, Hannity. Send this dumb motherfucker to his death. Let's drive those ratings up. Lions fake, zoo concern, or confirmed fake. Well, that's that's kind of what I figured. F-bomb and S-bombs everywhere. Welcome to live television. Oh, shit, what do we got here? Uh, people are lighting fires now in the middle of the street. Oh, you know what, and this is from Leland, too. That's, oh, holy shit, you know where those fires are? That's the same place those assholes with that uh, end police violence sign were. The community people that were talking about, you know, coming together for solidarity while stores were being looted three feet from them. That's the exact spot they were. That, that fucking protesters are now lighting on fire. It looks like they're burning garbage and hucking, I don't know if those are Molotovs or trash cans. Good God. Yeah, the manlet's fucked. Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> they got some black guy stripping in front of the police while the reporter looks him over. <laughs> what is this? Is, this is fucking comedy. What am I watching? <laughs> yeah, Leland, their little field reporter on Fox News is trying to run. Oh, he's getting yelled at by a chick. Oh, I think I spotted an SJW. Everybody's asking where they are. There's an SJW right now yelling at the field reporter on Fox News. He's trying to shoo her away, but it's not working very well. Oh, look at this shit. You guys have to watch Fox. He's surrounded now. He walked out in the middle of nowhere, and now he's got like eight people surrounding him. Oh, here we go, Hannity. Yeah, give him the mic. I want to hear what he has to say. Put it right in his face, you little manlet. Oh, oh, it's great. Hannity doesn't give a fuck about field reporters. This is going to be a fantastic hour of news. Oh, they got they got a black guy on right now talking about uh, being angry at the police, but he's coherent. They actually found a guy who can express himself. 
rather than the idiot they just had on, it was lifting his shirt up and dancing around with a shirt that said nothing. Yep, see? This guy I have no problem with. Calmly saying, what the fuck happened in that police van? Yeah, good question. What the fuck happened in it? They should have a goddamn camera in there. How a guy severs his spine being tied up to a wall, I have no idea. You said earlier, if you've ever been to a fucking Metallica concert, Pantera, any of that shit, Megadeth, doesn't fucking matter. I mean, headbangers aren't severing their spines, so I don't know how hard he'd have to thrash around in the back of that van to do it. And then, of course, now Leland is trying to ask him, what about the protesters? Yep. See, this guy on TV right now, the black guy they're interviewing, no problem with him at all. Both sides are retards, according to him. Did it say Dindu on the back? No, it didn't. It, it was a shirt that said Neff, N-E-F-F. -F. It looked like nothing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just listening to Fox. Okay. Yeah, this is a sh this is the same shit I heard in Ferguson. It's the same shit I've been hearing over and over again. It's This incident was the straw that broke the camel's back. But again, how does this reaction get you any results? You have to know it, it's a media circus. You're, you're, anybody that's actually interested in getting shit addressed is going to look like an asshole because all these people around them are destroying everything. Unless you address that first, I, I don't know what you're going to accomplish. This isn't like some online bullshit where you can do whatever the fuck you want. You're standing in front of news cameras, so the impression you're going to give people in that five-second news clip, it's not going to be good. Yeah, God, it's just... And they did it in the middle of the day. This footage they're replaying from earlier in Baltimore where you got fucking uh, high schoolers. just They're just lobbing bricks at cops, and the cops are just standing there like fucking morons. And they have the live shot, too. One guy gets hit right in the face and goes down, just down like a fucking sack of potatoes. And they don't do anything. They don't run at the protesters. They don't. They don't push them away. They just stand there taking it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the Baltimore Police Department. It's a fucking cuck department. They're just standing there taking it. You're taking it right up their ass. I feel bad for the firefighters. They haven't done shit to anybody. They're still getting fucked with. Oh, fuck, they got SWAT on TV now. The little manlet turned around, and all of a sudden they got 48 police officers kicking a door down. Oh, they're dressed up in their tactical armor. Look at this shit. They got some guy with a grenade launcher. It looks like he came out of a fucking Call of Duty multiplayer session. I wonder what his perk is. Look at them. They're trying to act like they're military. That's adorable. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I don't know what you guys are watching. Whether you're watching on on live stream the WJZ, uh, w, yeah, WJZ feed, or if you're watching on television. But so far, as far as entertainment, bang for your buck, Hannity's on now, and he's going to get this guy killed. I guarantee you that by the end of the night, this little this little guy Leland is going to get fucked up. Oh, they got their helicopters out now. Yeah, did anybody see earlier today? They had uh, the guy, the the Rupley guy, who is uh, streaming with the... He's got like the symbol that looks like uh, Russia Today. He was doing a live stream, and he, he looked up in the air, and I swear to God it looked like a military helicopter. It looked like that fucker had missiles on it. And then, uh, too, on television, they showed a very... Or, yeah, it was the local feed, the Fox 10 affiliate, who was cutting into somebody else's feed, showed a very large... A non-police helicopter. It looked like a fucking military chopper setting down in a field. So I, I don't know if they. I don't know what that is. I don't know who that is. Uh, I've seen multiple pictures of it, but they don't. They're, nobody's talking about who that is. And I know the National Guard wasn't called out at that point. God, yeah, look at that. They got the fucking street blazed up. They dumped trash cans and they lit them up.
Blood for the Blood God. Yeah. Okay, Rupley is back on as well. That was the name, Rupley. R U P T L Y. Yeah, that was the uh, guy's stream. If if you look at his first stream, it would have been, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 minutes into it. He he just pans up into the sky and you see a very large, well armored helicopter fly right over him. And then you see it later on in the Fox 10 um, broadcast on YouTube where they show it touching down in a field somewhere. And they sh I, I can't, it, that, it's just really weird. It was very out of place. Oh, okay, so Rupley is owned by RT? All right, I thought it was just some YouTuber that was using their, like his name was Rupley or something, and he was using Russia Today's logo because he thought it was cool. You, you can't fucking tell anymore. People, people use whatever the fuck they want. It's hard to keep track of what's legit and what isn't. Yeah, people in the chat are posting links to watch the Fox stream, or Fox TV Live being streamed. Uh, somebody posted the police scanner, too. All right. Oh, 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 there's the woman with the... Yeah, okay. So they've got the woman who had the sign earlier at the press op being interviewed by the manlet. See, this goes back to what I was saying earlier. Okay, I know who these people are now. These are the photo op people. That's why they're well-spoken. These are the people that come out and tell you it's nonviolent and that it's about a bigger issue. And they, they sound really good on TV and they look, you know, well-presented, but they're not at all associated with what's going on. It's just photo op shit. This woman is standing in the middle of the street by herself. Nobody else is with her. And look at her just... <sighs> Uh, Attorney General Lynch condemns senseless acts of violence. Well, what was he going to do? Endorse it? Was the Attorney General going to go on and be like, yeah, I love this shit. I hope they burn Baltimore to the ground. It gets me hard. Ridiculous. What a ridiculous statement. It's That's a the uh, technique of saying something without saying something. Oh, this is great. He asked her, do you think this is the beginning of something new? And she's like, I hope so. You, you like this? You like your city being burned to the ground? You hope more of that's to come? You stupid asshole. Yeah, you just wander off. Go back to the other uh, circle jerk of morons. Oh, Hannity's talking about gang threats. Oh, please make your field reporter go ask people about that. Oh, I hope this little guy walks into a bunch of people wearing red scarves fucking do-rags, asking him about another gang, gets himself shot. The Crips, the Bloods, and Islam, yep. Yeah, there are pictures tweeted out earlier today of them all doing photo junkets together. Hey, Jim, Attorney General Lynch is a woman. I, I wouldn't know. I know nothing about Attorney General Lynch. I just know it's a fucking dumb statement to say. Not not on par, though, with the mayor's statement, which is the stupidest thing so far. But give it time with the uh, fucking circus sideshow that's going on right now. They'll outdo themselves. Yeah, he is going to get himself shot on stream. That's Hannity's goal. I think that uh, maybe this is like, you know, uh, maybe that's what they do at Fox News. When you get a job at Fox News, they make you a field reporter for Hannity. And that's their way of hazing you. If you can survive a week working as a field reporter for Hannity, they let you stay on at Fox News as a permanent employee. And if you don't survive it, well, what the fuck do they care? You're just a dead, unpaid intern. And you got them a few minutes of footage. I think that's how they structured the corporate, uh, corporate structure of Fox News. Somebody saying a Code 13 robbery and shots fired at Foot Locker. <laughs> so, you know, mentally picture this in your head of what the protesters, you know, the peaceful protesters are doing right now. They've looted and robbed a liquor store, and now they're working their way to a Foot Locker. Yeah, that makes sense. How's the, uh, anybody can, can anybody give me a status update on the Barnes & Noble, the local, uh, local library, the job center, are those safe? God, I hope so. I know those will be the first to be hit. <laughs> D 
did you see the one police officer with his riot shield upside down? Oh, I'm sure there's more than one of them. He's probably spinning it. He's just bored. It's like a top to him. Okay, let's see. We got something from PZ Feed. Rioters are stabbing fire hoses to damage them, so Baltimore Fire Department can't fight fires. Well, of course. That's that's the smart thing to do. A <laughs> future picture of Baltimore. It's a desolate hellscape. That's more like a current picture of Baltimore. We're watching that live on television right now. Uh, Jim, do you own a gun? Uh, not currently, I do not. But I have no problem with gun ownership. Fighting cops at Foot Locker. Does anybody have a stream of that? Is Are, are there any pictures or streams of the Foot Locker altercation taking place right now? Y again, if you if you if if anybody's got them, post them on Twitter or post them in the, uh, the chat because I'd love to see that shit. Oh, oh, they're okay. I get it. You're getting it from the police scanner. All right, that's the one thing I don't have going right now. <laughs> oh, we're going back to Leland. Oh, come on, Hannity, give us something entertaining. Send him to his death. I think Leland is scared. I think this this field reporter is scared. He's really keeping his distance. He's like five feet away from the police. He won't go near the protesters. <laughs> hey, cameraman, are they looting these stores? You're the fucking reporter, Leland. How about you go find out? What the fuck are you doing? That's what you were hired for. Walk your ass down the street. It's fucking right there. What kind of reporter is this? You're a field reporter, man. Walk your ass down there and take a look. What are you asking your fucking cameraman for? Oh, here we go. Leland's like, this guy looks angry. Hannity's like, go ask him what happened. Leland, go talk to him. The May back. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy talking about? He's talking about his pimped out ride. Oh, this shit is fucking gold television. This is great. Oh, Leland is scared out of his mind. He won't walk down that street unless he's got the biggest black guy he can find walking next to him. Look at him. His little jean jacket. Like a fucking Geraldo Rivera clone from the 80s. His coiffed hair. <laughs> he looks so scared. I wonder how fast Leland can run a mile in because he's going to have to find out real fucking quick in about five minutes. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm entranced by watching this shit. Uh, people keep asking for stream links. Check on uh, Twitter in the chat. Uh, people have been linking it. There are a couple different sites that will stream the uh, live television for you. Oh, here we go. We got some people walking up to Leland. Oh, here we go. Do something. Oh. <laughs> Leland keeps looking over his shoulder. He's waiting to get polar bear hunted. He knows what's coming. He knows what's up. Look at this dumb motherfucker. Oh, all right, I'm sorry. I, I'm watching too much TV. This has got to be boring. 
for uh, stream listening because you have no idea what the fuck I'm watching. Just to, uh, again, it's the it's Hannity on Fox News, and it's his little it's his little itty bitty manlet field reporter Leland wandering around in the dumbest looking outfit with the dumbest looking hair, scared out of his fucking mind. Too much of a pussy to go find out if stores are being looted. Literally down the block from him because they're a bunch of angry looking black guys with fires burning down there. That that's what I'm watching on television right now. Yep, people are posting links to the uh, stream. Bob Smith is so there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, they left Leland alone. Oh, here we go. Come on, Hannity, send him to his death. Yeah, Hannity's talking about Giuliani now. Talking about his uh, response with force. If you huck a brick at the officer, the officer's coming for you. But not in the city of Baltimore. You're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want in the city of Baltimore. God, they're burning shit in the middle of the street. Look at this. Nobody's doing anything about it. Why? Why are they burning shit in the street? What, what the fuck is that going to accomplish? Okay. Oh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to look around for some other streams real quick, so we can find some different uh, different angles going on. Go check out that WJZ uh, feed. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay, that's not stream for the TV. All right, all right. Somebody uh, posted this link. I don't know if it's legit or not, so click at your own. It's your own peril, but there you go. They're saying that's the stream for people that aren't able to watch Fox. Oh, fuck. Chat froze up on me. Let me just refresh this. All right, so if you go on to uh, Twitter, the account's Mr. Medicare. Some guy just tweeted me the stream for Fox, so if you want to watch it, he's saying that's what it is. I haven't clicked on it. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But you can check it out and see if it works for you. Oh, Leland now finally realized the police aren't doing anything to stop this. It's like he finally came. He's been on scene now for 40 minutes, and he finally came to the conclusion that maybe that's a little weird. Oh, yep, they, they robbed the Easy Mart and uh, cigarette shop. That, that of course, makes sense. God, they've, it, it's this intersection. They've robbed, it looks like, every fucking store. It's just in a, a circular, yeah, in a radius, just from the dead center of the intersection. Everything in a fucking 10-yard radius they've, they've looted and destroyed. And the police are up the hill, not more than 100 yards from this, and doing nothing doing nothing about it. What a fucking joke. Yeah, Hannity's just as confused as I am. Just, what, what the fuck is going on? Okay, does Hannity have like a man crush on Giuliani? He keeps bringing him up. Were they in some secret gay love affair nobody knows about? Oh, is that Napolitano? I thought he was slumbering right now. He actually stays awake this late? Isn't the guy like 70 years old? Awaiting press conference with Gray family and attorney? Oh, they got their attorney. And we'll get to finally see what mating call lured them in. Guys, let's talk about the shitty wage uh, gap. Yeah, there you go. Get King of Pole to report. I, I don't know if King of Pole's in the chat right now, but I, I don't know if he'd want to go through this. 
I mean, this is why Leland gets the big money. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is how Leland makes his living. He has Hannity sent him into fucking combat zones wearing nothing but a jean jacket, looking like a, <laughs> just looking like a fucking moron. He's so lost. Oh, I think I think the guys at the studio, all the producers and directors and everybody associated with these shows must just laugh their asses off at people like Leland. Like, can you believe this dumb asshole walked down into the middle of this? Oh, he's watching two men hug. <laughs> There's two guys shaking each other's hands. There's hugging in the street. Leland's looking at shit burn. He looks so confused. Uh, again, for anybody listening to the stream, uh, I said earlier, I don't know if you're joining late, but I think of this as like a, a complimentary stream. So uh, there are going to be pauses while I stare like a slack-jawed retard at the TV. Should probably have something else blaring in the background, watching some good streams, watching Fox. Look at these guys. There are two guys. Okay, these assholes robbed a store. The, these guys robbed a store. Are those stuffed animals? They're burning stuffed animals on live television. Just hundreds of them. Are those shirts? What are they burning? They're just looting stores and then throwing the shit in the fire. Just complete disregard. They just don't give two fucks about anything. Oh, fuck, that's the store they were looting earlier. They just keep going back in, grabbing shit and burning it while these two idiots hug in the street. What a fucking... This, this is a circus. Look at Leland walking away from it. No, you get your ass back down there. Hannity, get Leland's ass back down there. Oh, come on, Hannity. Don't let him go. He's trying to run away from this because he's scared. Make him walk. I want to see that fire up close. Make Leland go take a fucking temperature reading. Tell him to use his fingertips, Hannity. Oh, see, this is you can't let these field reporters off their leash because they'll run. Leland's running now because Hannity's uh, he's busy dealing with uh, Napolitano or whatever his name is. And uh, yeah, Leland is <laughs> Leland is running away. Are they burning toilets? What the fuck are they burning? They look like toilet seats and stuffed animals. Where are they getting this from? What possible store are you robbing that you're getting pink teddy bears and toilet seats from? Who sells that? Oh, I think an associate producer is telling Leland to walk his ass back down there. Please, God. Somebody at Fox, make him go into the middle of this. <laughs> He's shaking his head no. <laughs> he looks like a dog that's being punished. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Leland Vittert is his name. Hannity, come on. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. It's 1030 in Baltimore, and as Leland just reported to us, our sharp field reporter for Fox News, the rioting and the looting is still going on. I guess that curfew the mayor put in place just, just wasn't enough. Hopefully no school tomorrow is enough of a punishment to make them stop. Fucking idiots. They're burning the evidence. It's a good observation. Leland, yes, they're burning the evidence of the shit they stole. Yeah, Leland had one job, and he refuses to do it. I, I'm sure that jean jacket he's wearing is old enough that it's fire retardant. He should be able to walk down there and just kind of lazily, oh, we got somebody jumping in front of the camera. You know, how come that guy who did the uh, fucker right in the pussy thing, completely fake, but you figure one of these protesters or rioters in between looting stores and burning shit would have at least enough of a sense of humor to run up behind Leland and scream that on national television. Because I, I don't, I think you'd catch him off guard. I don't think he could, uh, he could react fast enough to it. Oh, now they're honking their car horns. God, is anybody in the uh, chat? Anybody in the chat uh, in Baltimore right now? Because Mike, I'd love to hear 
uh, what you're experiencing in your your particular area. What uh, what exactly is going on in your neighborhood? Oh, I love this, the civic community leader. You think the police are doing the right thing by staying back there? And then he's talking shit. Oh, they're doing it for their safety. Aren't you the same guy bitching just five minutes ago about how you want the police to stay the fuck away? Is it, so which is it? Which do you want? Do you want the police to be actively engaged and stop these assholes from burning your city to the ground? Or do you want them to stand back there because you don't need them? I, such bullshit. Oh, we hate the police. And then and then you get all uh, you know angry and pissed off when uh, your shit gets burned to the ground. Like, oh, wait, maybe they serve a function. Oh, he's a minister. He's going to tell us to love each other. His people honk in the background. Probably wondering why people are burning shit in the street. <laughs> yeah, I believe that's right. I believe that is one of the Baltimore looters. One of their uh, ringleaders. La Carpetron Duke Marriott. God, Keenan and Kel is great. They, they really need to do a skit on riots. It'd be fucking fantastic. Uh, there's some guy looking like he's conducting an orchestra over the flames. He just does not give two fucks. Look at him. That guy's high off his ass. These, these are the people that they, they wanted to be able to express their, uh, their fucking opinions. Dancing over the burning embers of your city. You fucking morons. The curfew takes effect tomorrow. Well, what was the point of announcing it today then? Why wouldn't you enforce it tonight? Why not tonight? What what is obstructing the mayor from enforcing a curfew tonight? What what would be the issue with her doing that? Because she made that announcement two hours, two hours ago. Oh no, three hours ago, uh, at around eight o'clock. So oh, we got some guy doing fucking uh, donuts in the intersection, waving gu uh, gang signs. Look at this shit. This is just a fucking circus. What a fucking joke. <laughs> There's no fucking way this is real. Please tell me this is real. I'm retweeting this. They stole a train. A little fucking train. Was that from the mall? <laughs> fucking lions and trains and donuts. Oh, shit! Is this guy trying to kill Leland? <laughs> Leland's getting murdered on television! What is this guy doing? Oh, fuck, he just drove through it. His car's on fire. Look at them hugging each other. What the fuck? I bet they stole that car. They stole the car, they're running from it. Oh, we got some angry guy yelling on the fucking... Uh, uh, on Fox News right now, talking about police violence and all this shit, while some guy is driving through flames in a stolen car on live television trying to hit Leland, the manlet. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, Baltimore? Yeah, yeah, you're right. It is just like GTA. He was driving so bad, it's GTA 4 car physics. That's That was his issue. He stole the wrong fucking kind of car. Somebody's car is burning in the street. Nobody's doing shit. Oh, look, they're dancing around it. They're fucking dancing around a burning car. And here's this high motherfucker praying to the flames. Uh, the train is fake. Saw it on Reddit months ago. Okay. Of course. You know, I just, a little bit of humor would be nice, you know? Uh, why do these rioters, they, they could do so much that would be more entertaining than this. But no, they're going to steal cars and whip donuts in the fucking intersection instead of letting lines out of the zoo. Saying fucker right in the pussy behind Leland. Well, if Leland was scared before, he's not, yeah, he's, he's very quickly walking away from that intersection. <laughs> Are you fucking seeing this? God, you guys have to watch this shit. 
there's a guy conducting an orchestra over flames in an intersection while a car burns and shit is strewn everywhere. Oh, we got another car. Oh, another car's whipping donuts. I think they're actively trying to kill him. <laughs> this guy is a dead motherfucker. Oh, what the fuck is this? Hannity sounds angry when he says Leland's still standing by. <laughs> yeah, Leland, explain it to us. God, did, did they hire this guy from the set of Leave it to Beaver? Golly gee gosh, Hannity, they were driving really fast. I was super scared. Who the fuck is Leland Vitters? How did he get a job as a field reporter? You should be running down towards the fire. You're a reporter. What? You're walking the wrong direction, Leland. You're scared you're going to get... Oh, that car is fucked. It is completely on fire right now. That guy's car is fucked. And of course, you know, again, the fire department could have put it out, but they cut all their fucking hoses. So good luck with that. Oh God! Okay, I, I got caught too uh, caught up in this too much. Take a take a small break from Fox. Good God! So I, I, again, I want you to, if you're watching this stream or if you're watching any other stream where they're showing this kind of shit, just remember what the mayor said earlier. Remember what all those civic leaders said: the Al Sharptons and the Jesse Jacksons, uh, all the pundits on the left-leaning uh, news sites or the forward-leaning as MSNBC would call it. I'm sure the young Turks will probably tell us how this is brave individual citizens standing up against oppression. But, you know, look at their comments and then compare it to what you're watching. You're seeing people steal cars. It just in this one shot alone, they've looted all these stores. They've strewn shit all over the streets. They've burned merchandise to create fires. And then they stole cars and drove them through the intersection. Oh, fuck, another car just ran into the car that's on fire. So now we're going to have two cars that are burning. Oh, and people are pelting all the... They're just throwing shit at the intersection now. Oh, some guy just bricked the guy's back windshield. What in the fuck? But yeah, you compare this to all those people saying it's a peaceful... Oh, look at him. Yep, he's just smashing shit. Two cars now are burning. Uh, compare this to what they're saying. It's a peaceful protest. They're angry about a man they're saying that was uh, murdered by police. How does... How does this tie into uh, to Gray? How does this tie into what happened to him? If you really truly believe that he was uh, mistreated, if you believe that what happened to him was wrong, how does burning two cars in an intersection with merchandise you stole from the nearby stores, how does that accomplish anything? What a joke. What a load of shit people are being fed about Baltimore. And it's the same fucking crap they did at Ferguson and all the other places. It's the same line of bullshit we're told on television peaceful protest. You get a nice group of people for a photo op, and they tell you how great everything is. But then you watch the streams, and you watch people covering it live, and all of a sudden you see the fucking reality of it. It's not peaceful protesters. It's people destroying property and running amok and taking advantage of the situation because local law enforcement and local politicians and the media are too chicken shit to call it out for what it is. It's fucking ridiculous that this sort of shit can take place on American streets, and there's no reaction to it. You've got maybe, I don't know, how, how many cops are in Baltimore? A couple hundred, a thousand? They're not capable of handling this? You need the National Guard for that? You're telling me people can't deal with this on their own? I mean, I, I see the firefighters out in full fucking force. They're doing their job. But what, is the mayor's too scared to... This is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, this car is going to explode. You're going to watch... If you like GTA, get ready, because you're about to see what a car looks like when it actually gets on fire and explodes. It's going to go boom. It's just fucking completely on fire right now. Yeah, yeah, up the street. That's, a, that's the most mind-blowing thing about this. Up the street from this shit happening right now are at least, I'd say, maybe 60 or 70 police officers and about four armored vehicles. And they're not doing anything. They're absolutely letting them do this. What in the fuck? 
this has to be the mayor. The mayor and her administration, the chief of police, allowing this kind of recklessness to go on while police stand and watch this. You know, those people who are anti-gun, who say you don't need a gun to protect yourself, look closely at this happening right now. You can see the police doing nothing. You think if these, uh, these protesters went after somebody, the police are going to interfere? Nope. You're fucked. Just like that Breitbart story I said earlier, it was a local businessman with a shotgun that saved that guy's life. You, you, you're not protected when this kind of shit goes down. You better be able to protect yourself because if you're hoping the police are coming, they ain't coming. What a fucking joke. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh, the firefighters are doing more than a job. I, I've never had an issue with firefighters. I, I, I can't imagine anybody that would. Th which is just more mind-boggling that they're fucking with them. Oh, man, this car is going to go boom in a minute. And, and they keep flashing, at least on Fox, what I'm watching, a waiting press conference with the, the Gray family and the attorney. Oh, oh, we got the little uh, the little Oompa Loompa. She was back on screen for a minute there. Covered another fire, apparently. Look at this shit. Oh, I hope, I hope somebody sues the fuck out of the mayor. I hope somebody sues the shit out of her. Are you kidding me? How is this not inciting a riot? How is an official of this city going on television and saying, we want to provide a space for you to be violent and destroy things in? How is that not inciting a fucking riot? If my car got stolen and burned on you know, national television while the cops didn't do shit and the mayor fucking said it's okay, I hope they sue the fuck out of that woman. I hope she's out of office in a week. What a disgrace to the fucking office. Just just a joke. And this isn't a black and white issue. This is this people who are getting their shit destroyed right now, these are just fucking normal people. These are normal people like you and me. Who who knows whose fucking car that was? <clears throat> All these small businesses, whose whose businesses these are. These people don't give two fucks about any of it. But the mayor's gonna go on television and say it's okay. Go ahead and destroy shit burn buildings down, you know, torch senior centers, destroy pharmacies, loot little businesses, burn cars, do whatever the fuck you want. We don't care. Because racism. Because some guy got uh, treated badly or killed by the police. You know who they should be going after? The fucking mayor. She's the one that allowed this shit to happen. The police work for her. She's in charge of the fucking city. Why aren't you protesting her office? Why are you fucking up your own neighborhoods? Go to the mayor's office and bitch at her. She's the one who said it's okay, right? She said that she wanted to provide you with a space to, you know, uh, exercise your First Amendment rights of protest. And even more than that, she allowed you to be violent. So why aren't you outside her office hucking bricks and screaming obscenities? Why are you burning down little businesses and fucking with people's personal property? What a fucking joke. Honor Necris, how is she responsible for this? She went on television as the authority in Baltimore, as the mayor of Baltimore, and said she told the police that she wants to provide a space for protesters to destroy things. That is a quote from her, that she wanted to provide a space for them to destroy things. How is she not responsible for this? She gave him the go-ahead. This would be like Obama going on national television and saying, hey, America, Feel free to burn down the IRS buildings. Hey, go rob some banks. I don't give a shit. So how, how is she not responsible for this? You don't think people are going to use that as a defense? The dumb motherfuckers that are falling into police? Oh, yeah, the mayor said I could do it. you got to let me go. She's culpable. I'm, I'm not responsible. I was listening to an authority figure. A government official told me that I could go commit crimes. Is she not in a position of authority to tell me if I can do this in the city of Baltimore? She's the fucking mayor. Who, who voted for this woman? What was her platform? What did she run on? Hey, guys, watch me destroy the city in under fucking a week. That's my platform. Those are the planks. The planks on my platform are burning cars, looted buildings, thrown bricks, and no more school days. Vote for me. I'm a fucking idiot.
you know what I'd really like to know is what city is going to say no to this? When is the city finally going to say, fuck this? This is our city. You don't get to fuck it up. I don't care what the police officials say. I don't care what the local government says. I don't care what these fucking media crews think. We're going to stand in our streets and we're not going to let you fucking destroy it. When is the city going to have enough of this shit? When are they going to say no more? This is my personal property. These, th this is my life you're fucking with. If you have anger, if you have issues, take it to the fucking police department. Take it to the fucking government officials. But get the fuck off my property. Get away from my house. Get off of my building. Get out of my fucking store. Just... Uh. All right, I'm going back to Leland. I need to lighten the mood up. See if Hannity sends him into the fire. Oh, they're, they're keeping an aerial shot now on that car. They're just waiting for that fucker to blow up. That's going to be their news clip for tomorrow. That'll be their sound bite. Is Leland pissing himself as that car explodes? You think the explosion will be strong enough to blow the wig off his head? Because obviously that's not natural hair. Yeah, if any of you have, uh, you, you fuck it, I'll use Twitter. If any of you have updated uh, crime reports, just just tweet it at me. I'll talk about it on stream. See if we can get uh, get a little thing going. We can keep track of all this stupid shit happening live. Uh, somebody said this is literally what would happen if SJWs got in office. I don't know anything about the particular mayor, but I'm going to guess you're probably right. <laughs> Check out this Hayes comment on the old folks' home being burned or torched by looters. Now let's take a look. Multiple people saying it's unrelated to the riots. Uh, what are the accounts saying it's unrelated to? Probably construction fire. Oh, you know, old people. Yeah, yeah, there's no better time of the day to do you know construction on a nursing home than the middle of the night during a fucking riot. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I would I would agree with you, Sorty. That would be the answer to this urban violence. Yeah, I don't think State Farm's going to be anywhere near this shit. Oh, those insurance premiums are going to go through the fucking roof. Oh, they went to a commercial break. <clears throat> oh, my voice is going to shit here. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, he's saying, or the person they were showing me the account of, which is, I think is a reporter for MSNBC, is it? Was saying that, oh, it's unrelated to the riots, it's a construction fire. You know, the construction work they're doing at 10 at night in an urban fucking war zone. Yeah, that's that's usually when they do construction. That's that's I know that's when I would work on a building, when visibility is low and people are throwing bricks at my head. Uh, is exactly the fucking time of day, uh, Mr. Hayes, that I would want to go work. Are you kidding me? Did I see the picture of the guy? Are you talking about the picture of the guy with the uh, the knife in his hand lunging at the Baltimore Orioles fan? Uh, that was daytime. I think that was yesterday. It was the same day the city paper was making up bullshit about that woman. If that's the picture you're talking about, yeah, I've seen that. Uh, Jim, upload this stream. It should automatically upload after it's done. Uh, that would be correct. Grain alcohol cannot melt what beams. Is Baltimore the new Detroit? Ah, uh, I, I don't know. You're looking at the government administration of Baltimore right now. You're looking at the mayoral office and the police chief and all, all these different departments. And if they're this inept, yeah, I, I'd say give it another 20 years. Where are the conspiracy theories in all of this? Uh, give it some time. Maybe History Channel will cover it 
we'll hear about alien theorists telling us that aliens were responsible. They were the ones doing the donuts in the street. That car wasn't controlled by a human. It was really a gray and a reptilian joyriding because they got high off cinnamon. Because that's what aliens get high off of, if you don't know, it's cinnamon. Have I ever posted IA here? Holy shit. Uh, no, I don't think I've ever posted that. I've said holy shit before, but I, I've never posted that. I'm just, I'm, I'm killing time here, folks, before Hannity comes back on and makes poor little Leland go get killed for our entertainment. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to grab another drink. Just give me a minute here. I've been talking for two hours and 40 minutes. I'm going to take a minute break and go get a drink. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. I'm back. Hopefully the stream will catch up, but we'll see. All right. Let's take a look at Twitter, see if anybody's got some good crime reports, see what the fuck's going on. More on the fire hose. Okay. So somebody linked a story to Blaze <clears throat> about the firefighters having their hoses uh, cut. Oh, the incident was captured on camera during live CNN coverage. CFS, uh, CBS was targeted by looters before it was set on fire. Well, I, I guess that makes sense. It'd be hard to loot a store while it's on fire. But I'm sure they'd try anyway. Okay, let's see what this is. Somebody saying there's a Reddit live blog with updates on new crimes. Fuck it, I'll retweet that. Uh, let's see. What is this? On HuffPo USA front page, their headline is about a cop throwing a rock. That can't be fucking true. You know what? Uh, let's see. Huffington. Let's. Holy shit, that's actually true. Are you fucking kidding me? I'll retweet that too. Huffington Post ran a story talking about a cop throwing a rock at a protester. You're watching television or a live stream, I'd assume, if you're in the chat. But what does Huffington Post cover? Uh, how about the guy doing donuts through the intersection, lighting cars on fire? Nope. Uh, a cop threw a rock. Probably one that had been hucked at his fucking head, and he threw back at the asshole that threw it at him. Great job reporting there, Huffington Post. Oh, it looks like Boston Globe's got updates, too. <clears throat> so if you don't want to use Reddit, there's Boston Globe. Oh, what is this? Uh, basically, police are scared that gangs are going to organize and take them out. Well, then why are they police? They're afraid that gangs are going to organize and take them out. So why did they sign up for the job? What, did they think that being a police officer meant just writing parking tickets? They understand that being a cop means you're putting your life on the line. Uh, you know, that, that comes with the territory. 
what did they imagine that was like some TV show? Like, oh, hey, it's going to be like the you know the TV show Cops. We're going to run after drunk hillbillies and write parking tickets for people. We'll never we'll never get shot at. But now they're scared. They're scared gangs are going to come after them. What 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 the fuck? D- do your job. But you know, I, I can't even necessarily say it's the cops' fault. They're they're probably being told by the people above them, don't do anything. Uh, let's see. Uh, somebody tweeted, protests are also starting in Oakland now. Can anybody confirm if that uh, shooting, the shootings that took place in Brooklyn were related to this? And then, I, I guess if so, if the Oakland incident that's starting is related to this. It's hard to keep track of. It keeps fucking growing. Ah. Uh. And it keeps saying a waiting press conference. When the fuck is this press conference going to happen? Uh, Stephen Daggett, I'd be scared too. Of course you'd be scared. I'm not saying they wouldn't be scared, but that shouldn't hinder them from doing their fucking job. That's what they're getting paid for. Uh, I don't know. The guy that uh, tweeted that at me said there were riots or there was something happening in Oakland, but I can never, I can never tell. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, and somebody's saying, "What about or where in Brooklyn?" Uh, they they showed it on the news for about maybe half a minute and said there were there was a triple shooting in Brooklyn, and they didn't know if it was somehow related to this. So I, I don't know what happened with that. I'm guessing since they didn't do a follow-up, it's probably not related. It's just, yeah. Good God. Yeah, Leland does need to interview the orchestra, uh, a conductor, the orchestra nigga, but uh, he's not going to do that. So I, I, I wouldn't hold your breath. Let's see. Uh, Jim, say nigger. I know you want to. Nigger. There you go. Uh, somebody, that's the real reason for the riot. What is? Your tweet before that, I guess, got pushed down, so. Uh, the Crips and Blood are finally teaming up. Bloody cripples. <laughs> yeah, there you go. People scared in their own homes. People Oakland is protesting. Grassroots activists. <laughs> Bring Leland home. I don't know if they're going to let him. They're probably going to make him sleep in Baltimore on the street at a bus stop because they're not going to pay money to put him in a hotel room. He can keep warm by the car fire. That, that's how he'll stay warm for the night. I don't know what the temperature in Baltimore is tonight, but with that and his god-awful jean jacket, he should survive. What does Tumblr have to say about this? Uh, you can guess what they would think about this. Oh, my voice is going to shit. Lisp. Yep. Oh, oh shit, here we go. Uh, I think the press conference is starting. What in the fuck is that? Is that his mom? There's no... <laughs> Holy shit. I I think that, yeah, I think this is a press conference starting up. They've got footage of it on the left of the screen. But they're they're not doing audio. Why aren't they doing audio? Okay, I'm I'm switching channels. I want to see this press conference. Why is nobody covering this? Oh, 
Uh, okay, CNN's got them up right now. If you switch over to that, they they have the audio of the press conference. No, they're not. Uh, okay. Uh. Wait, what kind of press conference was that? They said two things. They're like, I'll take three questions. That's it. Oh, they're hopeful the intervention of the community has slowed things down. Yeah, we're gangbusters. I watched that intervention live on television. Sure stopped that car from combusting in the intersection. Good, good, good job. What in the fuck is this guy talking about? I love it. If you're watching CNN, there's this guy. They're, they're talking, but there's this reporter who keeps staring into the camera, checking his hair and his jacket. God, these reporters look like dipshits right now. I, I love it. They're cutting to the WJZ feed of cars burning while this guy's talking about strong young men in the community. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, let's see. Is this is this legitimate? No way. Baltimore City uh, from Metro, or what is this? Baltimore Metro News. Baltimore City looting an area of John Hopkins Hospital. Hospital has reportedly been locked down. Seriously? I'm sure that's a construction fire too, right? Like, you know, the hospital locked itself down because of construction, not because people are trying to steal morphine or anything. Uh, let's see, somebody's saying, uh, they're letting it happen to militarize the police. Uh, I don't know if they're letting it happen to do that, but that's the end result. Oh, you, may, or you missed an amazing display on Fox, a long line of cars, turned the corner to see the burning car, and then kept turning. Oh, no, I've been watching that. Uh, they, they have it on, I think WJZ is feeding into everybody. They're like the AP of the area for the moment. So you're catching on the right side of the screen if you're on CNN or Fox or whatever. Uh, you're, you're seeing aerial shots of that intersection. And cars, cars coming up, seeing what's happening, and then turning right the fuck around. Uh, some guy literally just said it wasn't cops killing black people, but black people killing black people. Uh, what guy? I, I guess I missed that. Uh, I live in the Bay Area. I'll let you know if anything starts going down in Oakland, Berkeley. Yeah, I, I don't know if that really was happening or not. but No riots, but Oakland cops riding in pairs to be safe. I don't blame them. Uh, Balter, or what is this, Baltimore rioters were given space to destroy. That's true, they were. Archive version of the HuffPo rock throwing headline. Yeah, I, I'm sure I would find that embarrassing. I can't imagine they're not going to change that. Uh, what is this from Politico? After after party, everybody buzzing. Yeah, I, I don't know why Baltimore's not being covered more. You've got a, a riot going on. Why wouldn't that be fucking news for everybody? Why would you cover anything else right now? I mean, we have a major story happening. You'd think everybody would be talking about it. And God knows this is major enough. And this is just, this is one intersection. So, I don't know. I'm guessing that's the fire department showed up finally. Looks like somebody's shooting off a fire extinguisher. But they're doing it in the middle of nowhere. So, nope, that wouldn't be the fire department. That's somebody just blowing smoke for, for no fucking reason. They're screwing with Le or Yeah, I think they're fucking with Leland now.
Uh, people saying, Jim, you dense fuck. Dense about what? I'm fucking tired at this point. Oh, put it back on Fox? All right, I'll put it back on Fox. Baltimore police officers' injuries include broken bones. Well, of course they would. They were getting hit with fucking bricks. I'm on Fox right now. Yeah, yeah, they're showing previous footage of them looting the CVS store. You can see people fucking breaking cars, riding up to the store. Uh, the Fox 10 Phoenix stream had actual pictures of somebody backing into the, the side of a building to get inside of it. Yeah, people just hucking bricks at cops. They don't give two shits. Uh, what is this? Family attorney Freddie Gray's spine was nearly severed after his arrest. Yeah. Yeah, and Fo again, Fox is just going over the same stuff again. Oh, Leland's back on. Okay. That, that's all Leland's doing. He's He won't go near the protesters, and he won't go near the cops. He, he's scared. Oh, the, oh, they had an armored car go by, so... Who knows? Who knows what that's going to be about? Oh, fucking hell. How, uh, it's been three hours. I feel like I got rocks in my mouth at this point. Uh, somebody saying the mayor's tweets are fucking gold. Uh, yeah, somebody link me to that if you've actually got tweets from her. I'd like to see that. Is he screaming? Listen to Lee Lin. It's gotten increasingly violent and in, uh, increasingly unpredictable. He's scared. But they're not going to let him go. They're going to keep his ass there. Oh, fucking hell. All right, I'm going to take a look, see if there are any more news updates about uh, Oakland. Oh, somebody linked it. Okay. This is their Twitter. This is the mayor's Twitter. Yeah, it's confirmed. Mayor Rawlings Blake. All right, let's take a look. Oh, she's tweeting right now. Are you fucking kidding me? You're telling me the mayor is tweeting right now while this shit's going on. She's not doing her fucking job. She's tweeting right now. Uh, 11 minutes ago, it will take all of us working in partnership. We will do whatever it takes despite the evil we see tonight. This is our home. Uh, 17 minutes ago, this is one of our darkest days, but I'm confident of the goodwill can overcome the destructive interest of a few. Of a few. Uh, yeah, a few. You got like one or two people in the street doing this? They must be really fast to burn down a senior citizen's home, loot a hospital, rob a CVS, uh, destroy cars, and attack this many police officers. That's one hell of a dedicated few you got going on there, Mayor Rawlings. I, I, is she smoking crack? Is she like the Marion Barry of fucking Baltimore? What is she talking about? The, yeah, she, she just tweeted this shit. Oh, God. I would fire her ass in a second. Have recall elections or something. How does this woman have a job? You know, fuck it. Uh, in fact, I'm going to respond to her. How do you have a job? I mean, she's on Twitter, right? While her city burns. Unfucking believable. And people are tweeting the shit they're robbing. Just brilliant.
Okay, let's see. National Guard trucks leaving camp. I don't know how to pronounce that. Fetetered? How do, how do you pronounce F-E-T-E-T-E-R-E-D. Is that a real camp? <laughs> Did somebody have a stroke when they were coming up with that name? Yeah, it's like Nero. Letting, you know, playing her fiddle while the city burns. Except it's the modern version of that. So she's tweeting while the city burns. What do I expect the mayor to do right now? Uh, here's here's an idea, Arch Hippie. How about instead of, you know, tweeting uh, while sitting on her fucking ass, she, I don't know, is a mayor. Maybe is a little more hands-on. If she's got time to tweet, she can fucking organize the police. She can get people in her administration to do something. She can hold a press conference. She can appeal to the citizenry. She can do anything that the fucking mayor of office would expect of her, other than sitting on her fucking lazy ass and tweeting while the city is burning on live television. She's tweeting while cars are burning and stores are being looted and cops are being assaulted. But she's got enough spare time to fuck about on Twitter. Are you kidding me? What kind of half-assed lazy bitch is this woman? She should absolutely be stripped of her fucking office. What should the mayor do? How about be a fucking mayor? What a joke Rawlings Blake is, tweeting while this shit happens. Was she going to Instagram pictures of herself eating Doritos while the cops get their fucking teeth kicked in? Maybe go on Facebook and like a few posts? Maybe post a fucking YouTube video of a Let's Play? What kind of fucking mayor is this? She's trying. She's trying nothing. Oh, hey, look, the cops are walking. Oh, hey, yeah, she, she finally organized some action. I want you guys to march at a snail's pace down the street towards the shit you should have taken care of three hours ago. Now, if you excuse me, I've got shit to do on Instagram. Great job. Great job, Mayor. Really good. Really fucking good. It only took him hours and hours and hours to do this. You know, at 11, 12 p.m. at night. After her initial press conference at 8 p.m. Now they're walking down the street. As Leland stays 40 fucking yards behind them. Because he's a brave guy. The mayor is listening to the stream. Good. I hope she is. I hope you get fired. I hope they recall your ass. You're a disgrace to your office. You're a fucking joke. You're a fucking joke. Oh, oh! Now, now they got her on TV. Now she's talking on TV. Somebody told her, "Hey, hey, maybe get off Twitter and not look like a fucking idiot, and maybe go talk to the press or do something." Oh, now she is. Oh, how brave! Yeah, yeah, hi. I'm the mayor of Baltimore. I'm the person not doing jack shit. By the way, school's closed tomorrow, kids. Have fun fucking with the police. She's live on CBS. Yep. We are responding to incidents throughout the city. Oh, it only took you three hours. Has anybody introduced the mayor to this new technology called a television? Because for three hours, I've been watching cars burn. Maybe somebody should, you know, kickstart that for her. Get her a couple TVs so she can watch that hip new technology and see what the fuck's going on in her city. Oh, yeah, we're, we're conducting um, 
uh, yeah, we're doing stuff around the city right now, except taking care of the fires and the looting and the fucking robberies and the assaults. And by the way, oh, hold on one sec. Can we pause this press conference? I got a tweet real quick, just real quick. Somebody, somebody sent me a cat picture. I got to retweet that and favorite it. <laughs> Are they trying to get Leland to go back out there? Uh, keep doing it, Fox. See if you can get him. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Oh, fucking hell. This hashtag is great. Baltimore loot crew. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Holy shit. I highly recommend reading that if you're in the uh, chat. It's fucking entertaining. Ne Leland is scared. That's why he's way behind the police right now. Yeah, yeah, that's why he's been hiding there ever since that guy nearly hit him with a car. That car that's on fire right now, if you weren't watching, was doing donuts and driving at Leland. I, he probably wet himself. That's why they won't show him on camera anymore. He's probably covered in piss. What what a night it's been. What a fucking night it's been. So to sum up, I, I really want to talk more about Rawlings Blake. But from what I've seen of her, to sum this up, she gives a public statement saying, we want to allow protesters the ability to be destructive. She gives that statement. And then what happens? People go and riot and loot. Then she goes on TV and says, uh, oh, no, I didn't mean that. Oh, you misinterpreted me telling you to go destroy shit and giving you the go ahead. Then, while the city burns on live television and the cops don't do anything for hours as we're watching this. It's been fucking hours. This stream's been going on for three hours. We've been watching this shit for three hours. She finally decides to give a press conference and say that we're going to have the police do something. But that's not before she takes the time to go tweet. She, she decided, hey, let's see, what's more important? The city of Baltimore being destroyed or me getting a tweet out to the people? I know, I'm going to tweet them first. What a fucking joke. Who who the fuck is in her administration? Who's running that shit show? Oh, President Obama has talked to Baltimore's mayor about the riots. Yeah. Did did he say, "Hey, can you look out for my sons out there?" Is that what Balt uh, is that what the Obama said? You know, I'm sure that was a, a inspirational fucking speech. Maybe he told her, "Hey, you dumb you dumb asshole, turn on the television. Your city's on fire. What the fuck are you doing?" Maybe that's what he told her. Oh, SWAT, te uh, SWAT teams are not responding. Beautiful. Only took them forever to do it. Oh. Obama yelled at the mayor. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he yelled at her. <laughs> I'm sure he gave her a stern talking to. Oh, this country is just... What the hell is going on? It's just a shit show all around. I, I wouldn't want to live in a big city at this point. You're fucked. You're fucked. What are you going to do? What the fuck are you going to do living in a city anymore? You, you, you might as well go to the suburbs or to the fucking rural areas. Uh, and just... Just stick to yourself because this, nobody's going to protect you. You're fucked. On one side or the other, you're just fucked. What an incompetent mayor. That just, it's, this is like a how to guide. It's like Rawlings Blake is writing a how to guide on how not to get reelected. It's like she decided, she sat down at some point and said, How can I fuck my candidacy up even more than anybody else has in the history of running for office? I know. I'm going to just, I'm going to drive my reputation into the fucking shit and ensure that nobody ever elects me to any position ever again in my entire life. But before I do that, I better tweet real quick. P 
<laughs> Baltimore 2015. Jim confirmed for white flag. Or, or oh, I'm sorry. Jim confirmed for a white flight. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Minnesota riot. It's too cold in Minnesota to riot. You know, when uh, Chinology was going on, there's a, a Scientology center up in the Twin Cities. And I think uh, at the height of it, when Chinology was really big, there were like five people that showed up in Guy Fox Mass and promptly froze their ass off and went home. So I, you're never going to see a large-scale fucking protest in Minnesota. It's just too fucking cold. All right, I'm going to run back on Twitter, see if there's any more crime reports. Check out Baltimore Police. Oh, well, see, fuck, I should have I should have been looking at this in the beginning. Uh, they have a Twitter account. Uh, we're my, uh, reminding citizens to dial 911 to report emergencies. Media advisory. Our press conference will begin at approximately 11.20 p.m. tonight in front of the police headquarters. It's 11.20 right now, so it should be on, yeah? Apparently, Baltimore Police is doing a press conference right now. It should be starting right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're talking about battling fires and uh, responding to inquiries about injuries, uh, telling people to contact the local authorities if they have a crime to report. What what good is that going to do, Baltimore police? Y they were standing up the street from crimes taking place, and they didn't do anything for three hours. What the fuck is me calling you on the phone going to do? It'll probably take you double the time to do anything. I might as well drive my own ass to the hospital. There's no way. I I don't believe you, but I'll retweet this anyway. Somebody's saying Tim Cass is getting shot at. I'm just, I, my brain is fried right now. I'm taking a minute to collect my thoughts as I watch this dumb shit unfold. Oh, they got a new guy in the field, Rick Leventhal. Oh, no, it's just a guy on the phone. Never mind. I thought they got somebody out there to replace Leland. Uh, Jim, if you want to get cancer, go on to Tumblr and type in Baltimore. I'm sure that's going to be a, a great shit show. That other kin video really pissed Tumblr off. Not not more than usual, though. But I had a group of uh, other kin trying to get the video flagged. They're they're pretty pretty pissed off about it. Some fucking blood tear fuck wolf or some shit like that on Tumblr, talking about how he's triggered because I, I I made jokes about other kin, telling me that Deer Boy in the photo was had gone into fucking protective custody or some dumb shit. Where is Ben Garrison when you need him? He is currently being airdropped over the area without a parachute. His fucking pure hatred for anybody that's not 100% white will prevent him from slamming into the ground. It'll slow his descent. Uh, I, when is your video or when is your radio or Reddit video coming out? I had a bunch of people send me links to really shitty subreddits, so after I have a chance to kind of read through them all. I've just been very busy uh, with a lot of shit. And that guy with the glasses stuff is taking a long, long time to put together. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. There are all sorts of gunshots at Tim's stream. I don't know if that's true or not. You could be fucking with me. I got too much stuff going on. If that's true, I, I retweeted the link, so maybe he's getting shot at, or people are shooting in his area. Uh, 
uh, ETA on the National Guard, I'm guessing by tomorrow. Somebody said they were leaving the camp they were uh, stationed at, Federated or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. You can you can Google it, see how far it is from the this uh, part of Baltimore. I don't know how long it'll take them. jump back here to see if there's any more shit about that guy's stream. Tim got shot at in Ferguson too. Uh, let's see. Baltimore police is a troll account. I don't know. It's verified with 106,000 followers. So it, it uh, probably, I'm guessing it's legitimate. Uh, let's see. No, no, no new reports. Gawker is also spreading the Throne Rock story. Let's, let's go take a look at this. By Gabriel Bluestone of Gawker. And filed today at 9.52. How fucking shocking that somebody posts a story and then Gawker comes up and fucking reruns it and acts like it's new. It's not like they've been doing that forever. I, I think my favorite example of how lazy Gawker as a company is, is, uh, is it Tina Amini of Kotaku, who I swear to fucking God wrote about 20 articles where it was nothing more than a YouTube video and two lines of text. Fuck Gawker. Yeah, look at this article. Baltimore cop photographed hurling a rock at protesters, and it says, this is the entire article. Pictured, a Baltimore police officer protesting the Baltimore protest by hurling rocks at the protesters. That sounds like a tongue twister. Wait. A Baltimore police officer protesting the Baltimore protest by hurling rocks at the protesters. This is what they get paid for. Gawker gets paid money to write this. That's not even... That's a sentence. They wrote a sentence. Image via AP. Oh, if you want to contact the author. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, is, okay, maybe scripts, or uh, stop script is, there's got to be more to this. I'm going to allow all of Gawker because I don't believe this, this can't be the whole article. This is the whole article. What a fucking joke. That's breaking news from Gawker. Protesting protesters by protesting protest. Thank you. Now hand me my check, Nick Denton. Fucking Christ. A family dollar store is being looted now. Riots are a symptom, not the disease. I'm not reading that. Okay. Camp uh, Frederick, or whatever it is, is, as far as I can tell, 30 minutes from the middle of town. So if the National Guard just left about 5 to 10 minutes ago, they should be there by, I'm going to say midnight at the latest. Would be my guess on the ETA for the National Guard. But that doesn't, I, I don't know how many troops left or what they're going to do when they get there. <clears throat> Fuck. Uh, is this freezing up on me? Yeah. Oh, fuck. All right, it's been three and a half hours of streaming. I'll give it another... Well, let's see. I mean, fuck, the National Guard should be there by midnight. I'll tell you what. I'll give it another half an hour. If by midnight the National Guard hasn't arrived, I'm going to shut down the stream. If, however, they do show up by then, I'll keep it going for a little while and see if there's any new fireworks as a result. And it looks like they delayed the police press conference, too. 
I, I don't know by how long, but it's saying it's been pushed back. Uh, according to WBAL TV, one of the buildings they lit on fire was a community center under construction. Oh, can you give it an hour? I've been I've been talking for three and a half hours. My throat feels like shit. Eh, the only thing that's a good cure for that is a nice camel cigarette. But uh, it's hard to keep going. I feel like I'm rambling. I don't know what you want me to talk about. We're, we're watching the most ridiculous shit on television and on live stream. And it, it's just, it's a clusterfuck all around. Nobody knows what they're doing. Uh, the administration doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. The police are being held back and then pushed forward, but then pulled back and then pushed forward, but then pulled back. You've got a curfew that's not going to even be in place until tomorrow. You've got kids having the day off school tomorrow. Stores getting looted. And nobody's doing shit. Leland's hiding like a little pussy in the fucking garbage can. Uh, yes, rod gun. There, there, there very might well be uh, tanks in thirty minutes. That would be great. Be the first time that actually ever happened. Uh, hot tea with lemon and honey. That's not shit I keep around here. My refrigerator is bare except for Kharkov and Pepsi. That's a real man's diet. Crush another can for Jay Owen. I'm too fucking tired to do that right now. I'll crush two of them tomorrow in his honor. Poor little kid. Having cancer and all those streamers refuse to do it. I've already done that, by the way. Because I'm not an asshole. Unlike cam whores. Uh, Lysander, I notice you. There you go. Hopefully nukes will arrive. That would be fantastic. How would Putin handle this? He'd go down there himself, strip off his t-shirt while riding a horse, and then judo fight them. That's how Putin would handle it. Afterwards, he'd go to the fucking nearest aquarium and wrestle a shark. Because that's what he does before breakfast. Uh, somebody said, did you hear about the guy from Pole protecting a whole street? No, I didn't. I'm, I'm bouncing around all over the place, so... Oh, the mayor's back on CNN. Is she is she using the cameras the reporters brought to get really good selfies for her fucking Twitter account or Facebook? Like, is that her whole point of going on CNN? Is like, oh my god, I'll get the best MySpace angles I've ever had before using the fucking national press. Uh, let's see. Somebody, uh, this is a Tumblr post, I'm guessing. Police in Baltimore are amped and ready to tell you about every detail of damage inflicted upon patrol cars, buildings, exaggerated accounts of assault from mobs or threatening high schoolers, but they can't tell you what Freddie Gray did. Can they explain with the same transparency and vigor what Freddie Gray did to deserve being beaten to the point where his spine was severed, or I'm sorry, was 80% severed with his cervical region, within the cervical region? Freddie Gay or Freddie Gay, Freddie Gray was carrying a switch or a switchblade of legal size. Gray's murderers unabashedly failed to provide him proper medical care under their custody. Freddie Gray fell into a coma after an hour of his confrontation with the police. Police officers in Baltimore are ready and prepared to go on CNN to discuss the number of cracks on their windshield, but will not and cannot explain to you why Freddie Gray was targeted on April 12, 2015. What are my thoughts on that? I already said at the beginning of the stream. You're telling me that the Baltimore Police Department can put fucking dash cams in cars, but they don't have one in a police van? I highly doubt it. And as for his neck and spine being severed, and it, there was this uh, 
theory going around that he had done it to himself, that he thrashed about in the back of the police van. I think that's bullshit. Again, if you've gone to any heavy metal concert in your entire fucking life, you'll see headbangers vigorously fucking going crazy and never come close to hurting themselves. So I, I don't know what a man would have to do thrashing about to sever his spine, but it seems like bullshit to me. As for the police going on television talking about the riots, well, what do you expect them to talk about? Uh, this is happening right now. You know, uh, should they talk about the weather? Of course they're going to talk about the fucking riots. It's affecting the whole city. If it had just been targeting the police, you, you might have some kind of argument there, but it's not. It's not cop cars I'm watching burning. It's civilian cars that are burning. It's uh, stores owned by small, you know, small businesses owned by communities, uh, people in the community that are being burned, houses that are being broken into, uh, people being assaulted, bricks getting chucked. And, and you want to talk about that, you know, and make it, this Tumblr post wants to make it seem like it's just the police pitching. Go watch the earlier footage from CNN and MSNBC and Fox News of their reporters having bricks thrown at their head while they were on the ground. Those weren't the cops. Other people getting assaulted weren't the cops. You saw pictures yesterday of a woman having her purse stolen, a Baltimore Orioles fan getting assaulted with a knife, people getting beaten in the streets. It had jack shit to do with the police. So uh, this whole thing is trying to make it seem like, oh, they're whining about themselves. No, they're talking about their city being under attack. So that that's my position. That's my response to that. Uh, the new Purge movie is pretty good. Isn't it like the third or fourth one by this point? H how many of those can they do? Is that going to be the new Saw? They're just going to do one every fucking year? Oh, I'm hitting those camels. You better believe it. Oh, yeah, I'm lighting up. Try to keep myself going here for you. Freddy was given a hard ride. The cops most likely did a lot of sudden stops to knock him about a bit, only they killed him. I, I don't even, but I mean, can a ride in the back of a police van really do that much damage? Uh, I've, I mean, let me put it like this. I've been in a car wreck. I flipped my car on black ice going about 40 or 50 miles an hour and rolled a bunch of times and went into a ditch. But I never hurt my neck. So I, I can't imagine what the police would have had to do with him in the vehicle going 30 or 40 miles an hour. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Hey, Jim, do you still enjoy watching grown men play with Transformers? Why would I not? It's the most entertaining thing you can watch as some 40-year-old plays with a plastic toy that cost him like $800 because it was Made in the 80s. Juggalos did Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, yeah this, that's, people are misunderstanding what's going on. This isn't a riot. This is the 2015 gathering of the Juggalos. They're trying to figure out how magnets work by burning down buildings. Neck was 80% severed, yep. Uh, people have died in 5 to 20 mile an hour uh, wrecks. Well, they must be made out of fucking pudding. Because I, I don't know how you're going to die going 5 to 20 miles an hour. I was going, yeah, 30 to 50, somewhere in there. Flip the car, yeah. Crawled out of it myself, had to kick the door open. Did I hear what Maddow said? No, I didn't. You'd have to link me to it or give me a quote. Uh, Jim, do you think this is mostly people who are pissed about the incident or just looters, pillagers using it as an excuse? It's always fucking people using it as an excuse. 
they pretend to be protesters. The majority of protesters at these fucking things say they're upset about the incident, but they don't give a shit. They just want to go fucking have fun and burn the city down and steal shit. How many times do we have to watch this before we figure out that's what's fucking happening? The, uh, even the, the civic leaders that say they're there for a reason are there for a photo op. And the minute the photo op, the minute the cameras are off of them, they get the fuck out of there. If you were watching the stream from Fox, you, you saw that happen. The stream from WJZ, same thing. They were there for 10 fucking minutes in that intersection, and they left, and immediately after leaving, the protesters came in and lit it on fire, stole a car, and drove it through it until it fucking caught on fire. The mayor of Baltimore was thinking of running for Senate. I shit you not. Well, good fucking luck with that. You know, she's incompetent enough to actually get to the Senate. Somebody that dumb would probably get a job as a senator. Uh, Baltimore Police Chief, this is not about First Amendment rights. This is about actions that have been done to harm the community. No fucking shit. Uh, let's see. All right. Some reports saying the city's calming itself down slowly but surely. We've watched enough of this shit happen, though, in the past to know that's not true. What's They're not calming down. They're just getting tired. You know, lighting all those businesses and cars on fire to really, really takes it out of you. You can only steal so many fucking uh, Nikes before you need to take a nap. So they're going to go home and get some sleep. They're going to crash into slumber. And then once the sun is up, they're going to go and do it again. Because they'll still be angry. Uh, maybe he had his neck damaged before he got into the cop car. That could be possible. I don't know. I really don't know what to tell you. National Guard is on the ground. Well, it looks like they showed up early. Anthony Batts, Baltimore Police Commissioner, is on television on Fox giving his conference. How funny is it, by the way, that he said, we're going to be doing a press conference at 1120, and he's 20 minutes late. Is that, a, is that like a, a thing for the Baltimore Police Department? They're, they're worse than I am. I mean, when I say gym time, at least you're getting a video late. When the police say gym time, your car is getting burned to the ground. Good, good job, Baltimore Police Department. Police changed attitude after protests turned into criminal activity. Really? So after a few of your, your boys in blue got their heads smashed in with bricks, you decided maybe we shouldn't let them run around burning things to the ground. Did that motherfucker say problematic? <laughs> uh, Sven Sorison, he's been doing it for like 10 minutes. Well, he's still 10 minutes late. People keep asking, check, ask FM. I, I have too many fucking tabs open right now. You're just going to have to hit me up in the chat or uh, Twitter. Because I'm, I'm reading through multiple news stories. Like that really brilliant Gawker article that was one sentence long. It takes a lot of effort. Oh, this press conference, what the fuck? Oh, 
all right, what is this? The victim had a backbone to be severed. The mayor doesn't. Uh, Mr. Medicare, why are they covering the vote or the House vote on the anti-terrorism bill, NSA expansion? Oh, why aren't they covering it? I, I don't know. Because it's more entertaining, I guess, to watch Leland run around the streets of Baltimore crying. Okay. Oh, Newsweek is the one saying National Guard forces are on the ground now. I love this police commi or this police commissioner or whatever on television. He looks right at the guy as the guy's asking him the question. And he just stands there for a second and he goes, oh, I'm sorry, what'd you say? I'm completely ignoring you. My head's on a swivel. If I, if I look too quickly, I'll miss the teleprompter giving me the answers. God, I'd pay money for him to stop this right now and go, hold on, I need to retweet the mayor. She just tweeted at me. Oh, these poor motherfuckers. I, I don't know, Chad. Who do you think's at fault here? Huh? Do you, do you think it's the police department? I, I'm not talking in relation to Gray. I'm talking in response to the riot. Do you think it's the police department, or do you think it's the mayor's administration holding the police department back? Who's the who's the one that fucked up on this and waited this long? Was it is it them, or is it her? Oh, God, they're going back to Leland. <laughs> he, he's standing on his tippy toes so the camera can keep him in frame. That's great. This man has to be four foot two. He's pointing down the street. Great reporting, Leland. Don't go down there and film it. Stay by the police. Yeah, seems like most people think it's the mayor. That's what I'd go with, too, by the way. Okay. Well, the National Guard is here. Looks like the police have gotten some kind of control back. People have given press conferences. The family of Gray spoke. The mayor spoke in between her tweeting. The police uh, commissioner spoke. Different press outlets are basically saying that, at least for tonight, it's calmed down. And I think uh, I'm tired of shit and my voice hurts, so fuck that. I said a half an hour, but I'm going to be a little bitch. I'm going to be a little bitch and take out of here or take off in, I don't know, like five minutes. Because I'm, I'm dead to the world at this point. I've, I've watched way too much of the Baltimore riots. And it just, it pisses me off. Just pisses me off. <sighs> Holy shit. Tweeting is hard work. That's why the mayor gets paid the big bucks. <laughs> yes, I am a fucking pussy. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be calling it quits here in just a few minutes. Cause it's uh, it, it's been long. Hopefully it was. Uh, you, hopefully you had a little bit of uh, entertaining night. I don't know. Watching the the streams together has been fun. I really do wish Fox 10 and Phoenix had kept doing what they were doing by letting you watch live television or their live stream while they're on air and reading chat questions. Again, if anybody has the highlights of that and can cut it together, that was pretty great. Watching an actual news crew talk about Ben Garrison and refer to him as an anti-Semitic cartoonist with swastikas was fucking amazing. And then listening to that poor, 
poor female anchor taught, just get fucked with on Twitter and read things that were just just ridiculous and have no clue. And you could hear everybody in the background laughing at her until she finally had enough of it, cut off the audio, and then stopped taking questions altogether because she was too embarrassed. That was the best fucking stream I've ever seen. And I really hope Fox 10 understands that they're going to get viewers if they keep doing it. All right. Well, thanks uh, for coming out, guys. Enjoy the shit show that is Baltimore right now. Uh, fucking ridiculous. That mayor should not have a job. The police should be doing a better job. The protesters, if there are any legitimate protesters, have got to realize that this is making them look like assholes. And it's not uh, getting anything done. Burning cars, looting stores, hucking bricks is not going to make the police or the administration listen to you. It's just going to piss your neighbors off and make your neighborhood look like shit. If you really want to have action and get shit done, go bitch at the people in charge. Which, guess who that is? It's the fucking mayor. It's the mayor and the police commissioner. So why are you in the middle of intersections burning people's shit to the ground instead of the police department bitching? I have no idea. But pull your fucking heads out of your ass. And stop putting on these ridiculous fucking circuses because you're making our country look stupid. All right. Well, take care, guys, and I will see you later. Exert stress when I export beats that exhilarate the hard and exterminate the weak. Execution level next. No way to explain it. I'm XXX, bitch, triple X rated. What is our connection? Who's this Ben Garrison I keep hearing? What, what are they talking about? I don't know. Me either. I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of you are tweeting about this. I don't know what you're talking about. I want to read more of your comments. Kilstifer McDeer, I'm watching the stream and horrified, praying for the people of Baltimore. Hopefully we can get this Ben Garrison on scene to fix this. He's a cartoonist? Yeah, I guess people are just like referencing or, him or something. Anyway, he's I think got, I joking. see some of the swa swastika. I don't know. Internet Probably trolls anti have been attacking. Political cartoonist. Oh, he's an anti-Semitic political cartoonist. Why are we talking about this? Uh, I don't know. Because people keep bringing him up. Okay, well. Uh, Disregard I, any comments. I this has no nothing to do with. Uh, and a guy who does that kind of stuff. Sorry, Ben Garrison fans. Oh! shut down the chat room it's because trolls well now the trolls are coming to twitter to Troy in case you haven't noticed Herschel tweeting us it's a tragedy that this is occurring at times like these we must remember jet fuel can't melt steel beams we're breaking the conditioning ah! Ah! Right, I have, we have a uh, Paul tweeted both of us Troy saying the people who are looting on camera what are they thinking is getting caught part of their pop plan. Paul saying you've got to wonder what the protesters plan is. They're big guys no doubt for you and me. This is crazy. Uh, here we have a viewer all the way from Austria. Robin watching this all the way from Austria. How long has this protest been going on? Is the CIA involved? It's the new to show it. Why does the audio keep cutting? Is someone crashing your stream? I'm in charge. Do you feel in charge? Uh, Tracy P. Would the riots be calmed down by the release of Jim's video? Nope.